Yo, people, welcome back 
to the YouTube channel, already know what time it is. It's time for another watch along. Big up your damn cells in the building. Make sure you smash up the likes. We had a good night last night. Career mode was popping off the transfer window shot and a um, couple wins, a couple wins. So we're, we're looking good on that side. So if you haven't checked that out, you can you can see that's up on, on the channel now. The fi fi I guess finally it's up on the channel because it's, it's it, the gap between the episodes is way too long. So I, I must I must I must do better. But the lineups were on screen. Um, West Ham starting eleven now on screen. Arsenal starting eleven um, on screen as well. I feel like there's a typo there that I got to fix. Um, but yeah, starting eleven is on screen. So check those out. Let me try and see if I can actually fix that typo because I know it's there on the Arsenal side. And then we will go through those lineups. Um, but yeah. An absolute madness for sure. Um, let me see. Actually, I don't even think that Arsenal bench is even any different to what I typed out for the starting eleven. Let's take a look at the Arsenal bench real quick. Did I type that out? Um, nah, I don't feel like I did. So um, Arsenal's bench will be on screen in just a second. I knew I was early. I usually roll in here about you know about eight past. Today it was six past because I didn't do my job properly. That's why. That's that's why. See what happens when I when I come in here early. Things ain't done. <laughs> this is what happens. Um, all right, cool. Let's get this Arsenal bench up because I just had a feeling that that wasn't on screen properly. All right, cool. There's a couple youngsters on this Arsenal bench that I'm not familiar with. Um, I th actually know. Um, yeah, couple couple youngsters I'm not familiar with. So I'm sure Arsenal fans will tell me. What's going on here? Um, if Arsenal fans are confident, I mean, we're going to get the poll up in just a second. Big game, London derby. I did have Arsenal to edge this, just slightly edge this. But I have to say, away to West Ham is a problem. Um, they tend to, I think you, I mean, you guys would know, I think last season after the, was it the Southampton game you lost at home? I'm not, I'm not sure the order, but you definitely think drop points at West Ham. Um and obviously that derailed your title hopes. I'm not sure what order this all happened in because obviously the Liverpool game was there as well. But it was all in the space of about 10 days or whatever it was. Um, that, yeah, that 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 London derby, they always they always turn up, especially at home. Especially at home, they always make it difficult. So I expect it to be a tight game. I expect it to be a difficult game. Um, bench is now on screen. I'm guessing that's now updated how it should be for Arsenal. So that should be looking fine. Um but yeah, not easy. Not easy to come to to West Ham and win. But they got a good team. Not fully strength. Still no Paqueta in that team. Um, ben Johnson seems to be playing right wing, but that could potentially mean a back five. I'm not sure because um, obviously he's played full back a lot as well. But Kufal's back right, at the right back position. Emerson left back. Um, Zuma and Aguero at the centre back positions. You've got Ward Prowse, Alvarez, Suchek in the midfield, and then of course up front, um, Bowen with Kudus back in the side as well. So. It could be a five. If I think they could make it a five if they want to. You know, it depends on the way the game goes, West Ham. If they want to drop off and make it a five and get really defensive in the low block, they can do that. If they feel like they can take Arsenal on, then they can maybe push um, Johnson into this forward position that, that he's listed out on, on their team sheet. But I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it becomes a five off the ball and Arsenal have a lot of possession, as we expect, when West Ham look for the counters with, uh, with Kudus and um, Bowen on the break. So, yeah, no Paqueta. The bench for West Ham is on screen as well. Calvin Phillips is back on the bench. I didn't get to watch his last game, but I heard he didn't do very well. Um, he's fighting for his England position. I think this is now, for the first time, the position next to Rice if Southgate wants to go conservative and he wants to play the double pivot and, you know, that means Phillips or Henderson. Well, now step onto the stage, um, Ross Barkley. Step onto the stage, maybe even Kobe Mino. So there's other players that can maybe play in that pivot next to Declan Rice now, so it doesn't have to be a Henderson or a Phillips. So Phillips is on the bench. Let's see if he if he does well for the rest of the season. So is Danny Ings and Cornet as well, who I've been wondering where he's been for all this time. He's on the bench as well. Um, for Arsenal, it's Raya, White, Saliba, Gabriel, Kivior, Odegaard, Rice, Haver, Saka, Trossard and Martinelli. Um, Jesus and I guess maybe, is Tommy Astu fit? He's back from, he should be back from the Asian Cup. Those are probably the two players I would have thought maybe would have been in the team. Um, but no, Jesus maybe is is out, is he? Not on the bench. So Jorginho is there, Walters, Cedric, uh, Elneny, um, which I'm not confident that that spelling looks correct, so I'm going to have to change that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's how that team lines up their benches on screen. Um, I'm going to run a poll. Uh, Elneny is a typo. Let's just quickly change that. 
Big typo. There we go. All right. Poll's going to go up. So I have Arsenal to win slender 2-1 win. I think I said that on um, Saturday Social because <laughs> I think it was the one of the presenters. He said to me, oh, you just put Chelsea and Arsenal and Liverpool in the same sentence. And I just said, do Arsenal have a Champions League? And then he just looked at me and I was like, okay, <laughs> we're going to move on. Um, and then to kind of balance that out, <laughs> it just said, they'll, I think I had them on big six to win the game as well. So I just gave them their 2-1. Um, and speaking of predictions on the big six, I've got a bone to pick. I'm not happy. I'm re I've am i just checked it because they just posted it before we get to this poll. I, they just posted these predictions, right? And I kid you not, I'm a goal away from a correct score in every single game so far in the Premier League this weekend. I had a Man City 3-0 win against Everton. They won 2-0. I had a Liverpool 3-0 win against Burnley. They won 3-1. And I had a Tottenham 2-2 against Brighton. They, they obviously won 2-1. I'm just, I'm just out of luck this weekend, man. Fuming. And I have Arsenal to win. And I have them actually on here 2-0. Um, which is probably influenced by the fact that someone else went 2-1 on the panel. So, but yeah, 2-0. I'd, I'd say more 2-1, but we'll see what happens. Um, let's get this poll up. Uh, West Ham versus Arsenal predictions. And then we're going into comments. Predictions. West Ham win. Uh, we've got a draw or Arsenal L or well, Arsenal win. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what you guys are saying. Um, no Smith row. <sighs> this is my thing with Smith row, man. This is my thing. Where's Smith row? <laughs> oh, he just is. And he's not even on the bench, is he? Where's Smith Rowe, man? I keep saying it. I'm a, I'm gonna keep saying it. This position is for you. <laughs> this position, if he listen, if he doesn't start playing significant minutes, he's got to go in the summer, man. This position is for you. It's for you, and it's only for you. Do you know what I mean? The position is there. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> oh dear. I mean, party we know is injured. That's no, that's 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 no surprise. We knew that, but no Smith Rowe. I mean, I'm I. I don't know, man. At this, at this, I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's he's he's injury prone now. Um, it's peak. It's because every time he makes a cameo, he shows you that you know this is his position. He he's comfortable here. It makes sense in general play. You know, I think I, I went. I think Havertz is more awkward in general playing his position. Maybe the press is really good from him. Arriving in the box is really good. But in terms of like the general bopping it about, I think Smith Rowe just looks far more comfortable. But the brother is not fit again. So what are we gonna do? <sighs> I can't keep. I can't keep pushing pushing him for this position if you can't be fit, man. It's a shame. Um, no Jesus as well. Yep. Um, Cornet never plays. He's on the West Ham bench again with Ings. He never, he never plays, um, which is a shame because at, when he was at Burnley, I thought he had quite, he showed quite a bit of talent. Now I don't know why Burnley. I mean, maybe they don't have the money, but Burnley could have maybe gone in for West Ham's bench over the January window. Maybe go and take an Ings or go and take a Cornet. Go and get their former players back, give them a bit of a chance to survive at the top end of the pitch. I think that would have been some good moves. Um, but yeah, it's a madness. <clears throat> I come with the lineups. As soon as the lineups are out, I come with the lineups. I'm not really doing post match on these games because, you know, they're not really my teams. I'll be talking about the match whilst it's going on. And then my thoughts are kind of bait from there. You know, they're kind of there. If I was going to do a review, I'll just do a video. But um, yeah, I'm not going to do a video on, on these guys today. Um, let's see. And there's strategy to this, right? Let me explain YouTube to, if you, to, to people that are not YouTubers. Like, if I come earlier, I'm earlier than others. And if I'm earlier than others, then we get the ball ro rolling with the, with, the, with, with the chit chat, with the analysis, with the build up. If I come at the same time as Mark Goldbridge, long day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's, it, it's, the maths is not mathing. Brother's doing um, 20, 20K concurrent. What am, I, what, am I, what am I starting my stream at the same time as him for? What kind of foolishness is that? You got you to gotta be punctual, bro. You got to be early. You got to be, it sounds madness coming from lateness is greatness, but you got to be precise and on time, bro. You got to be early. 
you there's no point coming at the same time as these 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 bigger hitters. It doesn't make any sense. That's some foolishness. Um, do you know what I mean? So we gotta be in here early, bruv. <laughs> um, let's see. Where's Smith Rowe? Smith Rowe's definitely injured. Definitely injured. Um, so no, no Champions League this week. No Champions League this week. I'm gonna be in Italy um for from Tuesday to Friday. So no Champions League watch alongs from me, which is why I've laid on the watch alongs extra, extra, extra thick this weekend to make sure that you're well, well nourished. You know what I'm saying? Well looked after for the week because you're gonna have to go elsewhere. <laughs> so I can't do them this week. I will be back for the next Champions League round and the one after that and the one after that and the one after that. I won't be missing another Champions League. But you know what? It is Valentine's Day. You guys know what happens around the, the, the Champions League knockouts. We we've been here before. It's been a couple couple years now. This guys, you know what this is, guys. Come on, come on, guys. What they can't believe, guys. You know, what they can't believe, guys. You know, we can already please. You know, when it when Champions League. First week of knockouts, guys. You know what? You know what time it is, bro. You know what time it is. After that, now we be here. We be here. <laughs> we be here. So we 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 missing this one. The next, I think it is it next week. Are they are they splitting them in between two weeks? There must be because there must be so many games. And then we be back. I think they are. So yeah, they are because I got BR commitments as well. I mean, Fuad. So yeah, we got we gonna be there. We will be there. Um. <laughs> Um, let's see. I don't really have a second team. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe my second team is Strasbourg because I love them on on the on the FIFA. And now I'm obviously we 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 got that Blues code connection in 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 the real life. So I don't really have a second team. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really have a second team. Um, if I did have a second team, it would probably like be a very 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 small team. Like it would probably be a a team that I've maybe played for locally or something. You know, Sunday League or something. I don't know, but. Yeah, I don't really have a second team. I don't have I don't have the energy for a second team. Or, or Chelsea take too much out of me. I feel like second teams are maybe when you don't have much stress or your team's kind of doing what they should do, what you expect them to. So you can have other, you can have you can you can place your energy elsewhere. I ain't got no energy for anybody else. Chelsea's tiring. They're wearing us down. I ain't got no energy for anybody else. No chance. As an Arsenal fan, I rate this lineup by Teta. I think. We will do well against the West Ham 3 1 win. Um, I mean, based on the options you have, I don't really think he could have done anything else. I agree with you. Like, it looks to be that Tommy Asu's out, um, Jesus is out, Smith Rose out. Um, who else is there? Obviously, we know Timber's out as well. That's another person to add to the list. Um, Zinchenko is out, right? Not seeing him on the bench. I think Zinchenko's out. So, uh, Vieira's out. Arsenal got a lot of injuries. I've maybe it hasn't been mentioned enough. Let me give you give you that. Arsenal have a lot of injuries. I'm going through the names right now. Look how many people are injured. They got so many players missing. So, yeah, with with the players out, you don't really have a choice. You you, you don't have a choice. I don't know what's happened with all these players getting injured for Arsenal. Um, out of out of nowhere, I wasn't expecting all these people to be missing. Um, but yeah, you got a lot of people. You got a lot of people out. Um, all right. A lot of people are and party as well. Exactly. Of course. Of course. Come on. Don't be silly. We've got a big game against Palace. I got a preview to drop in the morning. I wanted to drop it today, but then we did FIFA um, or EA FC yesterday, last night. So I didn't record. So we're going to drop it tomorrow morning, which is, you know, we make a difference. Um, and then we're going to do watch along review. And then I'm leaving on Tuesday morning, but I'm going to try to line up a video for, for, for Tuesday whilst I'm there. And I might even. Depending on the way the game goes, I'm going to try and, you know, connect the dots. It'll be fun. I, 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 you know what I'm like. I'll do something. I'll do something for you guys when I'm out there. Don't worry about that. But no streams, though. There'll be no streams. Maybe a, maybe a little where you can eat Chelsea in the morning. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. We'll try. We'll give it. We'll see what we can do. Um, but, yeah, it'll be just be videos while I'm out there. Um, I'm rooting for West Ham. Of course. I'm probably going with Nigeria. Yeah, I'm going with Nigeria. I just think their I just think their front line is sharpened and ready to to strike. You know, you, you look at obviously Oshiman's not really being prolific at all. He's got a couple of assists, not really prolific. I think he's got the one goal. But Lookman, Lookman has been on fire. He's been very, very good. Um, so I'm kind of and Chikwesi as well is a talent, you know. So I I think they've I think they've got a bit too much in the forward line to I think they'll get through it. I think they'll get through it. Yeah. It'll be a good game. Good game. You know, Ivory Coast got some good players. I like their centre-backs. 
Um, I'm not sure how Diamande's been doing this tournament, but I've watched him. I watched him against Oshiman for that game and a bit of back and forth. I think he gave away a penalty in the end. He was having a good game in the first half, then he gave away a penalty. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes, man. There's some good matchups. Midfield battle is going to be good because obviously Seko Fofana is not Seko Fofana. Um, and you've obviously got as well who was in that midfield. It's not springing to mind for Ivory Coast. Sonage as well. Oh, who's he play for? Nottingham Forest. So, yeah, you've got some options. You've got some options in that midfield. Should be good. Um, Yeah, I've heard, I've heard. Not not the best. Yesterday's football was incredible, guys. If you didn't get to see the two top-of-the-table clashes, we did a watch-along there. By Leverkusen, man. Wow. With players missing, with, with key players out, and out at 11, Boniface and Frimpong, and they just absolutely toyed with, with Bayern Munich. But yet, yesterday's games were two of the most one-sided big games I've, I've I've watched. Obviously, Real Madrid, Girona. Girona have no real um, expectation to be in that position, so that can happen. But the other game, oh my days. It was so one-sided. Both the games were so one-sided. It was crazy. We didn't see nothing from Harry Kane. Didn't see nothing from Leroy Sané. Didn't see nothing from Musiala. And I mean nothing. I don't even need to check their stats. When I tell you we saw nothing from that front three, we didn't see anything. I didn't even rem remember seeing Musiala dribble past two, two players like he usually does, minimum. I don't remember seeing Harry Kane even take a take more than two shots. And I don't remember Sane doing too much either. I think he missed a chance early on. It was really bad. It was, the, the whole lineup was, was mad from Tuchel. Cool. No Kimmich. It was just crazy. Mad. But I think this... Um, Bonnie guy that he was playing, Bowie guy who's playing at left wing back. Apparently, he's not. That's not his position, or he's not. He's not that good. Obviously, Davis was out. It was just all over the shop, all over the shop. I don't know what was happening. <laughs> it was crazy, but yeah, good game though. Too good. And then obviously we had um, if so we had also Roma against Inter Milan, which was just insane. I got a little glimpse of it when we switched channels. Um, I think it finished four two. So Inter Milan, what a what a game as well. I saw the highlights. What a game! So yeah, some mad games yesterday, man. Making me wish I had three screens because that Roma Inter game was 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 wild, wild. Um, so I'm going to Venice for a bit, but I'm not staying there. I'm just like kind of traveling there whilst I'm staying elsewhere. Um, Florence as well. Um, I think those are the two big hitters. So yeah, I'm only going for a few days. I've never been to Italy, so looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um, only Jesus. Anyone else? I'm not hearing any. Um, Zinchenko was a liability. Worst fallback in the little oh, strong Marcus. Strong Marcus. Very strong Marcus. Worst fallback in the league. He's very bad defensively. I'm not gonna lie. He is very bad defensively. Um, opinion on silver reports. Um, I'm not going to lie, I've always kind of like been like this with Silva because obviously what he brings to the team in terms of his, his experience and his know-how and being there and done it, it's very rare. We don't have any of that in the squad apart from him and Sterling so, um, and a couple of others. So it's 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 something that you've got to value and you've got to take stock in. However, we know that tactically, you know, the the... He he makes us have to drop that line. He just he just it's just an automatic thing. If he's in the team, we're not defending in the same line as Van Dijk and and Canate and and um, Romero and Van de Ven, right? So if we're dropping our line, our press is our press is not going to really work because we're going to leave all this space in the middle, and then we're seeing Caicedo left to die and all these transitions, and the defense has been appalling. And the thing is with Pochettino is I know he can at least, this is my thing, I know he can at least coach the press properly. I know he can develop young players and I know he can make a defense look a whole heap more airtight than we have been. I know these things because he did it. At Tottenham, that defense was was proper. Ida Vild, Vertonghen, um, Walcott and um, Danny Rose, I think it was, right? No, no, no issues in that defense. So... Yeah, we need to we need to we need to try and see if this, you know, I think he's still got to play some games, don't get me wrong, but I think you know, we got to see if we can if we can try and play without him some of these matches as well. There's got to be a fading out of Silva to see if we can tactically fix ourselves up. And if we can then fantastic. Um so I'm not really too concerned. I've always said players like Silva, Giroud, Petr Cech, Fabregas when they it's it, it's it's partly 
with us, but it's all also with them. You know, if they want to go, then I'm not going to fight them at all on it. You know, let them go. If they want to go, let them go. Um, they've they've done enough for the club to earn that earn that that pass to just leave when they want um, without any without any aggro. If we're going to keep him, I think it would probably be more in a player coach. Maybe you know, start to move towards your badges and more on the sidelines, and you know, not necessarily playing but if we have loads of injuries then you might step in for a game but most of the time now next season you wouldn't play you'd be on the sidelines more coach you know if, if you if you do the player coach thing then they already start to know that they, they're, they're coming out the team so that's that's the contract i'd be looking at for him if he's if he's not going down that route then yeah you know we'll see but i'm not i'm not um we shouldn't really need need a 40 year old at the center back position starting week in week out put it like that we should we should be moving on um, but you know, there's a lot of things. Don't don't underestimate the things that he's passed on and taught to Badia Shill, Colwell, De Sassi in training and stuff like that. Because this is what the team lacks. You you take him out and you go and purchase a Diamande, and then no leadership again, and no, you know, there's just you got to have a bit of balance, man. Got to, you have a bit of balance. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that he would have been very important. Um with in terms of in terms of helping players alongside him and teaching them things so uh appender hat trick versus real madrid hmm i don't know do you know what listen real madrid's center back uh combo yesterday was mad they had chirmeni and and um Cavajal there so and and uh girona didn't test at all they didn't test that they should have but they didn't so we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Maybe a different opposition will get some change out of them. It's not. A, it's not a great centre back pairing. So should be able to do something. We would have taken Laporte before he went to Saudi. The only thing with Laporte is he's got injury problems. That's the only problem. He's got injury issues. Um. No, I don't. I don't think there's a large gap at all. No. I think the thing is with a Kanji, right? Is Pep's obviously going to make him look better, a lot better, right? He's 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 going to bring him in and he's going to he's going to showcase his ball playing abilities and and hide his deficiencies. I think the only thing I don't like with what he's done with Akanji is putting him in midfield. When he's asking him to go into midfield like Stones, I don't like that. I think he's just got to play as a as a as a wide center back. You know, he, he covers the ground well. He's quick. I just don't. I just wouldn't want to see him in the midfield at all. That and that's not Akanji's fault. That's more that's more down to Pep putting him there. But he is yeah, he's definitely quicker for sure. For sure. Uh, Gusto has been impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been good. Just, we, got, we just got to keep him fit because Reese James is, is out. You know, when they're both injured, it's a long day for us. Um, better version. You cheeky. Listen, no disrespect to Calvin Howe, because when you're at Real Madrid for that long, you must be doing something right. However, Aspilicueta is one of the best, one of the best fullbacks in Premier League history. One of the best fullbacks in Premier League history. This guy played right back. And you know what? Maybe, maybe the conversation of him being a lot closer to the all-time 11, much closer, much closer. I'm not saying in it. But he needs to be right in the conversations more often because this guy, right back, left back, right side, centre back in a three, defensively on point, the main assister to Avaro Morata with the crossing, leadership, professionalism, fitness. He's playing every single game, every single season. He's just quality, man. Yeah, man. Got to give, got to give Aspie some, some more flowers. Cavajal ain't got. Ain't got that that responsibility, you know, the armband, the versatility. Mm, I don't know, bro. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. Listen, I'm not gonna say that he should be in over when it's all said and done. I'm not gonna say he should be in there when it's all said and done, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him up. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna bring him up. Um Yeah, Walker's listen, Walker's 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 top, top, top player. Top player. He's he's in there as well. It's gonna be between him and Trent. You know, Trent's probably when it's all said and done, Trent's probably gonna take the position. But depends how how he how he finishes his career defensively. If he keeps if he if he if he gets absolutely mugged off towards the end, 
of his career defensively. I don't know, it'll be difficult, but just because Walker's not as good as he once was doesn't mean you can turn back the clock and say Walker wasn't wasn't the guy. Um same with Trippier. Like Trippier's been getting a lot of a lot of heat this season, but that you know, that doesn't mean Trippier Trippier is what 33. Like he's his he's had his career, you know. He's coming towards the end. That's what happens at fullback. Same with Walker. But doesn't mean that doesn't mean these guys wasn't wasn't absolutely on point in their prime. Um let's see. All right, cool. So what's the prediction saying actually while we're here? Um oh, it's leaning Arsenal, yeah. It's leaning Arsenal. It's 36% for West Ham, 19% for the draw, and 45% for Arsenal. I didn't expect. I thought there'd be a lot more ops against Arsenal today. What's going on? Has he? That, that's crazy. In a season that he's having, where he's been getting ripped apart at some points and making crazy errors, if he's got the most assists, that's insane. <laughs> Listen, Ashley Cole is... We don't talk about Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole is clear of everybody, okay? So that's the first thing. So we, we don't need to have an Ashley Cole conversation because Ashley Cole is clear of every single one of these brothers that I just mentioned. Ashley Cole is in at left back on his own and nobody talks about it, right? It's just not... It's not a conversation. He goes in and everybody hush up their mouth. So when we talk about right back, that's when it gets interesting. Yes, Ivanovic is in there as well, 100%. Um... He was quality, quality, quality player. He was complete in the in the sense. I listen, going forward, him, Walker, you know, Aspie, they're never gonna be able to talk to Trent, you know, obviously. But defensively, Ivanovic was mad. Ivanovic was insane defensively. But yeah, Cole, we don't need to talk about Cole. We already won that. We already won that 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 side. Nobody now, nobody then, nobody before, nobody after. <laughs> is 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 talking to Cole at this point. Neville clear on the overlap. And Neville, listen, Gary Neville, Gary Neville, do you know what I think? I think Gary Neville has done this to himself because every time he speaks about his own ability, he always downplays it. So now everybody else downplaying it as well. But Gary Neville is, has to be in this conversation. I'm sorry, he does. Like, how are we gonna just not have him in the conversation? That's insane. That's his mad. You gotta be in the convo. Robbo doesn't stand a chance against Ashley Cole. I'm sorry. Don't even, don't even dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. He doesn't stand a chance. He does not even, he does not even talk to Ashley Cole. He just doesn't. He doesn't. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, when we get to the world, then it's, 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 it's you know, then the Roberto Carlos's and the Marcelo's come into this, yeah. But Ashley Cole is better than Marcelo defensively. That's for sure. He's better than both of them defensively. Um, but then, but both of them are better than him going forward. So that's where the conversation is because both of them going forward are crazy. I mean, so, yeah, man, it's it's interesting. It's an interesting one. Um... We'll see if there's anything to this. We'll see if there's anything to this. They, you know, we'll see if there's anything to this. There's um there's talk of Williams, there's talk of Pedro Neto, people keep bringing up, obviously got injury issues. We'll we'll see. Well, we're away from the transfer window, so you know me, I'm not really too fussed on transfers in February, March, April. Wait till the window's closer before we'll see what's actually real. Um <laughs> he need he needs to start fighting for his legacy. That's what he needs to do. He needs to start fighting for his legacy because he's just letting people just talk mad on his name now. It's getting crazy. He's just letting people talk, and he's just put, he's just letting it slide. He's ah, oh, it's mad. <laughs> it's actually insane. No one's getting Kudus now, chat. Kudus watch today. Oh, 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 Kudus. Yeah, but West Ham fans, right? You need to be you need to be aware of this. And I'm sure you are. Kudus was going to go to Brighton 
and his agency wanted to insert a release clause. And Brighton said, no, we don't do that around here. We're not having a release clause in your contract. We decide the selling price. We decide how much profit we're going to make. You come here, step in stone, you do your thing. And then when the time is right, we, we, we will sell. No problem. But we're going to decide the price. And then they said, all right, we're not doing the deal. So then he goes to West Ham. Now, we don't, I didn't hear a release clause definitively like 100%, but I'm assuming if that was his ask at Brighton, that's going to be his same ask at West Ham. Um, but if he doesn't have one, then fair enough. But I, I would have assumed he'd be asking for the same thing. Now, it might not be able to be triggered until 2025, or I don't know, 25 summer or 26 summer, but I'm, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure there must be something there. I just don't see why he would ask for one at Brighton and not one at West Ham because they're kind of around about being in the same positions on the table. Um, he was talking to Lamptey about it, to be fair, but I don't know if he's got one at West Ham. Mm, interesting. Yeah, because they're both um, Ghanaian, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I forgot my bubbles. Oh, God. I was going to blow bubbles and everything today. And I forgot. Oh. FIFA. You know what it is? It's because I, this is, we just started playing FIFA and I just forgot everything about my... I just forgot about the rest of my life, you know? Damn. I just forgot everything else that I was meant to do. Shit. <laughs> Damn. That would have been good. Oh well, is what it is. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna come with the bubble machine, bro. Run to the shops. There ain't no shop around me that's got bubbles. I don't think, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. I've only got a um, corner shop, and I don't, I don't think they got bubbles. There ain't no shop that's gonna be doing all that. Um, all right, cool. Uh... Oh, there's um EFL action as well. I didn't even know. Who's this? Coventry versus Millwall. Millwall. Mad. <clears throat> Come on, West Ham. Come on, the Irons. Whatever the thing is that they that they that they be saying. Come on, you Irons. He has a 60 million release clause available in 2025. What'd I say? If this is true, what'd I say? What'd I say? What'd I say? And that makes sense. Because you man signed him on the cheap as well. You have to understand. When you, the price you got him for, he ain't worth He ain't worth that. We all know he's worth more than that in this market, in this day and age. So he's worth more than Anthony's and Mudrick's. But, you know, because he's not like he's old. How old is Kudus? Because you can't even use the whole he's older, so market value. No. How old is this guy? He's 23. Oh, my days. Why are clubs so stupid? Oh, it's just so annoying, honestly. It's just, it's just infuriating. This brother is the same age as these guys that I'm talking about. And they're double the price. Mudrick, 23 years old. Anthony, how old is this brother? probably older 23 they're all 23 years old but two of them cost double the price are they double the player i don't think so he's injury prone <sighs> yeah that is the only concern is the injuries but if we're talking about quality come on now I'm not sleeping, but I'm not gonna say that he's any he's not he's not actually cold. He's not actually cold defensively. I'm sorry. He's not actually cold defensively. It's not a combo. Going forward now, he's clear. Ashley Cole's clear of him defensively, and he's clear of Ashley Cole going forward. That's that's how I that's how I, I put that one across. Marcelo going forward was stupid. His is his combinations, his skill, his shot, his cross, everything is ugh, he's just, you know, he's mad. Cole will never talk to him. Not even he won't even even dare even sit around the same table as him going forward. But defensively, Ashley Cole was an absolute beast. 
And no Brazilian will be able to defend like that. <laughs> they weren't trained to defend like that. They spent too much time doing kickups to defend like that. He did. They got. They got other priorities. The, the beautiful game is their priorities. You know. But he's a quite unbelievable footballer, though, Marcelo. Unbelievable footballer. What a footballer. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. You're funny. That will never run. No one will ever believe you either. No one will believe you. Um, all right. Let me just check. So we have... <clears throat> getting lost in, in this left-back chat. So today... We've got Villa also versus Man United. <laughs> that's where that's where Saeed will not be even thinking of calling me for sure. Let me see, because I'm sure he's let me just let me just load up that Discord. That Villa with that Villa versus United game. And I said it to him yesterday. Because of what happened to Aston Villa midweek against us, they're gonna come into that game with a bit of anger, you know, a little bit of a response, retaliation. And that's where Manchester United are going to have to potentially have to hold that. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because what they did to Wolves in the last minute, they broke their hearts with that Kobe Mino finish. And then they sent them packing all the way over to us. And then Wolves just took all their anger out on us. So we have to return the favor, I'm afraid. We have to we have to return the favor. Yeah, Z, you're going to have to hold that today. I want West Ham to beat Arsenal, don't get me wrong. But you, you must lose. You must lose to Villa. Because the way that you sent Wolves over to us, I said to you to tire them out. I didn't tell you to break their hearts in the last minute and celebrate in their faces and do all that. I didn't tell you to do all that. We had an agreement. When you went up to when you went up to Wolverhampton, I said to you, if you don't mind, you can tire them out. Tire them out, keep them running, keep them hungry, keep them humble. And you, you just decided to do the complete opposite and go and break hearts and go and make them angry. And now look how look how they come turn up to Stanford Bridge, come whoop our ass. So you have to hold that. You have to hold that today. I'm telling you, watch Villa today at home. Watch, uh, watch, watch Villa. Watch. I'm telling you now, Watkins and and Bailey and everybody. Watch. You gonna have to hold smoke. You will hold smoke for what you've done. <laughs> um. All right. Cool. And um, I'm just looking at the predicted teams for those games. It's looking like Bailey's predicted to start, which he has been. McGinn, Tielemans, Watkins, and you guys got pretty much your full strength team. Um, apart from Martinez, who's injured again, which is a, which is a damn shame. Martinez, <laughs> again, this guy is so, so crucial to Man United. He just came back and then he's injured again. And it's like, how do you even how do you even quantify what's going to happen with him cuz I, I don't know how long he's out for but it looks like the rest of the season is going to be a bit of a myth and Eze and Elise injured as well for Palace so we play them tomorrow and their key players are missing so i mean there was no excuses anyway but now there's really no excuses you know if they've got them two both missing it's it's if we don't smoke them there's something wrong with us Why are the why is it always the ballers? Why is it all the, always the best? It's always the best. It's always the best. It's frustrating. It's always the best. Oh. If we let's see if we find brother Saeed. Out for eight weeks. No, oh, brother Matisse. Brother Saeed. <laughs> brother, you you just enjoying life before before all all hell breaks loose in your game later on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing, man. I'm just enjoying life right now. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm just having a bit of fun, man. Yeah, you just enjoying. Just living. What are you saying? What are you saying? You having a bit of fun today as well, bro? Uh, listen, there's no, there's no Elise and Eze tomorrow, apparently. So 
you know, all the pressure. Oh, yeah, 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 that's crazy. Yeah, we if we don't if we don't go over there and smoke them in front of their cheerleaders, then there's something wrong. There's something very wrong in front of all these all them eagles. Um, we have to we have to win that game and Bro, and comfortably as well with them two missing because them them two missing is is that team is finished. Fin- that you must. relegation team without those two. So. Yeah. Bro, you know what it is? It's, it's kind of mad how they're so reliant on them too. It's kind of mad when you think about it. Like they're so reliant on them too, man. Mm. It's absolutely crazy, bro. Someone people are telling it's me crazy, people man. are telling me no Gurhi as well. My days, it's getting mad. No Gurhi. Okay. Yeah, he's out injured. Yeah, yeah. They wow. said that he's out injured. He's out injured. He's out injured. Wow. Yeah, man. If you don't if you don't win that game, wow. If you don't win that game, wow. you lot, I'm telling you now, it's crazy, man. Mm. It's absolutely crazy. Wow. It's absolutely crazy, man. Yeah. But yeah, what are you saying about this game, man? What this, are you saying about this game, this, man? This game, London Derby, West Ham, home. I think last season, Arsenal dropped points here on the way to the title. Um, the title drop-off. It's, you know, I expect Arsenal to, to win this. I think I have a, a, them to win it narrowly because West Ham, they're a bit... They're a bit up and yeah. down with their with their with what you can get from them. You don't know what you're going to get from West Ham. Sometimes they just they just don't turn up. But they, I think they're going to go like real deep defensive. They might even play a five because Johnson's playing as yeah. well. They might just play a five and then just counter. So I think it, it, yeah, they are. That's what. But you know this Johnson guy, by the way. Yeah, mm. he's like he's he's a bit of a he's a bit of a funny one. He actually can play a little bit as well. No, he was yeah, the one he that can. was getting forward a lot. Yeah, yeah so he basically, can. Yeah, he was going. He was literally behind Kufal, yeah? Mm. But then he was the one that was getting forward and I was like, yo, is this actually Johnson, you know? <laughs> Man like Johnson. He, he, he's hey. he's going to be like a makeshift right winger slash wing back slash back, right back. I yeah. don't know. So... It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, man. It's gonna be interesting. But there's no um Broski. Bro, Arsenal got a lot of injuries, you know. I didn't deep it until today. Oh, a lot of it. A lot they got of players got missing. Jorginho's on the bench today. Got uh, Jesus is out. Yeah. Must be throw is out. Zinchenko um, as well. Party. Zinchenko. Timber. Yeah, Zinchenko's out. Party. <sighs> yeah, Timber. Yeah, they have got a lot of injuries, but listen. Tommy Asu. No excuses, man. Mm. Nobody's gonna be hearing that. <laughs> Nobody's gonna be wanting that. Arsenal get the W. <laughs> You know what I mean, and then we go and win our game. That's a good day, man. You know what I'm saying to you, like, I don't know it's about. A good day. I don't know about like, all that. You're here for a beautiful day, you know. I don't. Um, Your day could be beautiful, though. I, I don't know. Imagine, yeah, United mm. lose and Arsenal lose. That is gonna be crazy for you, man. I, 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 I think it. I you. think it's more than possible. I think it's more than possible. I spe- especially your game. Especially your game. Yeah. Villa, yeah, Villa yeah, away. Yeah, 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 after yeah. what happened in midweek, a little bit angry. Yeah, I can see it. The Arsenal one, if they lose, yeah. if they lose this, it'll be tough to take for the title race because they just. The thing is, they did all the hard work beating City and Liverpool at home, but then if they start to lose games yeah. like this, it kind of starts to rub out all the good work. So they need to they need to keep this going. But we know what we're gonna get in this game, man. It's gonna be West Ham low block counter attack, Arsenal dominating possession, and and what we need yeah, is 100%. we need we need we need Arsenal not to if Arsenal score early, it might become a little bit of a of a long day. You know, bro. You know what if happens. If they score early, mm. and then yeah, it's, I think it's gonna they're gonna lock off the game, man. And then they'll just keep the ball, and then West Ham don't really have anything there. West Ham have to score the first goal. If you want to see an entertaining game, guys, <laughs> West Ham have to score the first goal. But I'm just looking at this Kivio versus Kudos, man. Kivio, Broski. Mm. If Kudos is is any anything wise, yeah, he will go on that right side. Oh, he'll be there. Side was on the left. He he, the nah, he needs to be there. He shall be there. He must be there. He must be there. He must. He must. Him and Bowen double up. He must. Forget the left. We don't need the left wing today. Double up. Double up on the right. Yeah. I need to I need to see yeah. this Kivio cooking. I must. I must be there for this. Kivio, man. Because <laughs> you know what it is. Yeah, you know what happens. When Kiv- if Kivio doesn't yeah. deliver and then Gabriel yeah. gets dragged out there and then Saliba's out of position. You you listen, we saw against Liverpool. They they made a, they made the goal for themselves, those two. Them them two created the Liverpool goal for themselves. So yep. We just need a few people to get dragged out of position in that back line. We might have some fun. Never know. Give yours. Big, big, big day for you. Big day. <laughs> Bro, see, because last week, who did they have a left back against Liverpool? I forgot. Was it, was it, was it, was it Zinni? Um... Was it Zinchenko? Zinchenko, yeah. It's Zinni, Zinni. Oh, we know what's going to happen Zinni, yeah. That. Yeah, we know Zinni. what happens there. Zinchenko, we know exactly what's going to happen Oh, there. you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying, man. In, in the way they play, mm. yeah, Zin, yeah, Kivio might be on the ball decent, but listen, 
Jenko's a different level in terms of how his technical ability is, man. Mm. You get me? That's a whole different kind of spectrum. Yep, true. You know what I was there? So, mm. bro, listen, man. I don't know, but I just look at I just look at West Ham defense uh, attack here. They don't have a lot, man. No, like, there's no Paquetta. You know what I mean? It's Paquetta, bro. There's no Paquetta. It's not. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not there, bro. bro. Paquetta, Paquetta this, is the the one. See, Kudus Kudus is good at creating chances on the dribble and going past players. Yeah, Paquetta's pass when he's on it. Some of the passes he can play are like Man City level passes, Pep Guardiola appreciation level passes. Some of the passes I've seen this guy play, even left foot this season, yeah, on another level to anyone else in this team. Facts. On Facts. another level to he, you can see why Man City were going to come in for him. And I was, I was like, if Man City get him, yep. okay, I see what they're trying to cook. I don't understand the Matias Nunes one. Apparently, he dropped a stinker yesterday, but Bro, I don't, I didn't get the Matias Nunes move. He dropped the stinker, yeah. Bro, I didn't get it as well, man. I didn't get it as well because I was like, yeah, it gives you a bit of power and a bit of physicality, bro. Broski, man, the levels are just too up there, man. What City expect from players now? I just never looked at Nunes and I thought, yeah, he had a good game against Burnley, but come on, man, that's Burnley, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everton, low blocks. But the thing is, yeah, with him, yeah, he's got to be the main star of a team. He's got to be the kind at Wolves. Yeah, he was a guy that went forward, yeah, scored goals. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but also, like the way that like, Wolves, the, main guy. the way that Wolves play, they're gonna have the transitions. They're gonna have the counters. You're gonna be able to stretch your legs as a box to box yeah. and run forward and and throw the screamers. In the City team, it's a lot more yeah. patient and pedantic, and you know, bop it about. Yeah. And, I don't know. I just, I just never, I never understood it. I didn't get it. If anything. Like, going to a Liverpool would have made more sense for him. I still think it's too big of a jump. But if he was going to go somewhere, Liverpool yeah. Liverpool would have made more sense because he would have been more back and forth and showing that box-to-box midfield. You know, I, 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 yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, I don't get it, man. I didn't get it. It's, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Because if you look at it, yeah. Because they got now they've got Sabozla in it in that role. Yeah, but yeah, When yeah. you look at it, Nunes would have probably given you a little bit more yeah, in that yeah. regard. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Give yeah. Nunes a year. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, you got. In, yeah, in you, City, you do have to time, give it time. Man. You do have to give it time at City. Like it always, there, there's usually their players take one season to really get to grips with what's going on, and then the second season they they do a lot better. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Also, Rice Rice is coming back to West Ham today. He's gonna get booed. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna get booed. Did he not play though against? Um, did he not play against the Carabao Cup game? But this is the pr- first Premier League game he's played in. Yeah, but he actually came off the bench, didn't he? Um, came off the bench, I think he did. Maybe, you know, maybe he did actually. I can't remember that Carabao Cup game. Let me think. Did I cover that? Yeah, I can't remember. I think I was playing. Who that. won that? Oh, West Ham. West, game, West Ham beat know. them. West Ham won it. Yeah, West Ham beat them. Hmm. He's never beaten West. And by the way, he hasn't beaten West Ham since you know. Since he's he lost, joined, he lost. Uh, um. Yeah, since he's joined. Oh. Oh, he came, yeah, he came off the bench. You're saying he came off the bench. Okay. Broski. He might be there, you know what I mean? He might be like, yo. <laughs> he might get, he might get, sta- he might get stage fright. Um, might get st- jersey, I'm he might yeah, get stage bro. fright. Mm. Stage fright, you know. Mm. The, bu- the bubbles be going into his it's eyes. Like bubbles blowing in his eyes, bro. Hey. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> mm. it's a Vaseline, bro. It's a, it's, it's yo, a Vaseline, I, and you're, you're gassing me, you know. I think today, you, you, today might be a good day. Hmm. Well, listen, I think it's gonna listen. I don't know about later on here, but right now, I just need to see Arsenal win. Like for the Premier League, what for the title race? You get me like no. yeah, man. No. Yeah, I don't know what, what, what you what you what you saying. No, no. You see, what you this, this is what you always lose me when you start doing this. Come on, man, you're not you, Broski, you're not you you said you weren't involved. I'm I'm not. I'm not involved. Why, why, why are you speaking then? You said you weren't involved. <laughs> you're not involved. Why are you speaking? You said you weren't, you're you not weren't involved. Emotionally. You're not involved. Yeah, but, you, yeah, but the thing is, I am involved because at the end of the day, yeah, like I've got Liverpool and Man City like right there. Bro, next to me. You're, bro so I am involved. Bro, you're used to you, this. You're chilling. You're used to this, bro. You've only seen Liverpool or Man City in the last, what, six, seven years, bro. Just hold that. Hold that, bro. You're going to lose. You do realize this whole 2020 thing that you're doing with Liverpool, you're going to go behind. You know that, right? It's going to happen. Yeah, no, but yeah, I know it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, probably. (laughs) It's going to happen. Well, what you got for me? (laughs) What you got for me? Wait, what, what, what is it now? Man? Are they are they level with you, or can they go level with you if they win this? No, no, they they one, one behind. They one okay. behind. They one behind. If they win this year, mm. they go level twenty times. Okay, so twenty leagues, all titles, all, t- all together. Mm. So that's why it's so key for us to to not lose this game. Like mm. we got, we must. 
We must. Mm. Yeah, we must. We cannot afford to lose. You know what I mean? That's why. But then again, you've got Liverpool right there as well. You know what I mean? Breathing down your necks, man. Yeah. I mean, Man City breathing down your necks with four in a row. So all in all, like it's just a it's a battle of two evils, man. If Arsenal lose, if so, Arsenal right now are five points behind City. Sorry, five points behind Liverpool and points. three points behind City. Yeah, yeah they got to win. Yeah. Who does City play? Yeah. Who's it? It's what City's City game? City played um, Everton yesterday. But they 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 run twenty three games. You know, they run twenty three games. So they they've got a game in hand they've somewhere. Won ten in a row though. They won ten in a row. You, you, do you know how mad it is that City could just win ten in a row and it doesn't even feel like they've won ten in a row? Like they just do it and there's no one. We don't exactly. even we don't even speak on it. Hold no on, one back to Ireland. exactly. That's what I'm saying. One, two. One back to oh, ten in a row in all comps. Uh, must be in all, it must be in all comps. Blowing bubbles, <laughs> <laughs> it must yeah, be. It must be in all comps. It's in all. It's, it's ten in a row in all comps. Yeah, not in the league. In all comps. Yeah, it's, it's, in, all, it's comps. in all comps. Oh, yeah. Then. So three in the league, it's four still, in the league, like, five, six. Yeah, six in a row no, in the no, league. It's still impressive, though. Yeah, indeed. it is impressive. Yeah, six in a row in the league. Long way to go for them. They got. I swear they got you. No, they got you. Oh no, no, no. They got you on the third of March. They got us next. Oh Lord! Third of March, bro. <laughs> oh damn! Oh, no, yeah. third of March, bro. We're, we're their next Premier League game. Oh dear! Oh, so what? So when are you playing them? When is it next Saturday or Saturday five thirty? Oh dear! Oh no! Five thirty on Saturday. Oh no! Yes, indeed. Oh, when are we playing, guys? <laughs> oh, oh dear! Oh, man. Oh dear! Poch better have a plan. <laughs> Poch better have a plan. Hey, you better come with some sort Play of. Like Newton on Sunday, so we shall be there. Hey. We shall be there. <laughs> we shall be there. <laughs> we shall be there. We shall be there. <laughs> Oi, that's, that, that day's lit, you know. You got Brentford versus Liverpool, and you got Tottenham versus Wolves, and you got Man City versus Chelsea. Mm. That's actually a lit day, you know, mm. of football. Damn. Mm. You, yo, you're gonna be centre of attention, bro. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be centre of attention. You know, I've never liked going to the Etihad. There's only two times I remember recently going to the Etihad and enjoying. Um, one under Mourinho and one under Conte. The Conte one with William Hazard Costa, Aye. and then the Mourinho one with Vanovic last minute left footer. The only two times Aye. I remember enjoying an Etihad an Etihad away day. Now, Aileen's. now recently, Aileen's. listen. Outside of them two games, Etihad is a long day. It's always been a long, long day. day. Long. Even in the cup games, long. I'm not really trying but to... But your game after that is postponed. Your, your game after that is postponed, you know? Why? So you haven't got a game after that for two weeks. Yeah, remember Tottenham? Because you've got the Carabao Cup final. Oh, that's it? no problem. As long as we're the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no problem. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Car Carabao Cup oh, final, yeah, yeah, end yeah, of the yeah, month. Yeah, 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 Carabao Cup's the end of the month. Yeah. If we're the reason it's postponed, yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. That's a big week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big week. Yeah, it's like that's lockdown. crazy. Fe February's a big month. Big month. Big month. Grizz, Grizz, Paris, Grizz has got a tweet out, man. Grizz is always tweeting something. He's always something, tweeting man. something. All right. What? So he's tweeting something he's something. tweeting, man. What's he tweeting, guys? What is he saying now? Riz. He can't drop uh, this ITK. Oh, he's oh, he's the ITK's back. Passing of the baton. What's he said? Kloppen Jabby what's Alonso said? handshake. Passing of the oh baton. Oh my god, man. Oh it's brother, man. Oh god, he's this brother, right? He don't here. learn his lessons at all. He don't learn, does he? He, he don't never learn. learns. He don't learn. He's always got to just learn. have to. He never do. learns. Yeah, he, he's just. He, he doesn't even need to delve into it he now. Just, it's not. It's not the start of the season. He can't help. Not, him, you know? He can't help himself. He cannot help himself. He can't help himself, guys. This Sorry. ITK shit is an addiction. He can't help this ITK thing is an addiction. Yeah. I might even film a documentary on it and go and find him in one of these chicken shops and chat to him about it, bro. I'm gonna interview. Yo, him. I'm telling you. I'm gonna interview him. <laughs> I swear, I'm you gonna interview him. Wait, wait, wait. One second. I've got something. Yeah. Yeah, one second. I've got something here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Edson, Elton Alvarez has been low-key good this season. You know, I can't lie to you. Edson Alvarez. Brother. I didn't rate him at the start yet. I export. Fair play. Edson Alvarez has been good. <sighs> Champions League. See, Man City. So, Mark is saying, I don't remember the Champions League. Yes, I do. The Champions League final was in a neutral ground. Man City had never been to the Champions League final before. Oh. They were warned. Every team that goes to a Champions League final for the first time, they lose. But Man City didn't want to hear it. 
they got smoked. I think the other one was the FA Cup semi-final. They lost. But if we're talking about away at the Etihad, yeah, it's a different conversation, brother. Different conversation. Yeah. It's not It's not the same thing. Come on. Come on, Arsenal. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do you not want a little bit of, you know, yeah. cooking on the big six or something? How many times? Oh, I, 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 did, I did say no, no. How many times I got to con- I, I did I say, keep I did convincing say, yeah. you every Even time? If, yeah. Win win. It's a win win. It's a win win. It's a win win. Okay. It's a win win though. Because I gotta keep convincing you about it's a win win. Yeah, it's a win win. <laughs> All right, t- it's a win win. Time is gonna be on the screen, people. What minute are you on? Um, I'm on minute twenty seconds now, so I'm gonna get the timer up. Okay. I'm moving mad slow with this. What's going on? Um Come on, West Ham, Mbappe and Bellingham ain't LFC. And by the way, Bellingham's out, man, for the Real Madrid game, man. So, we stick you on that. Which game? Out for three weeks. What? Bellingham's out for three weeks with that? Oh, that, the ankle weeks. injury that we saw. Yeah. Oh, no. Apparently, they said it was something else, though, but oh, it's, it's an injury no, anyway. No. The injury. Oh, that's just ruined. Champions. Some sort of injury, apparently. Let me see what Fabrizio Romano said. Fabrizio Romano said These it was... They're ruining see. the Champions League. They're ruining the Champions League. Yeah, two to three weeks with a high-grade sprain, high-grade sprain on his left ankle. Yeah, you're right. Time is coming, guys. Sorry, got the wrong color. I didn't say ankle injury, man. What's this high-grade? You know what I mean? Like, relax, <laughs> don't like. <laughs> high-grade school, innit? You know what I mean, bro? I don't get all technical, you know. A-grade, A-star, A-star injury. That's what they're saying. Bro, right, Andy. Yeah. I'm actually on like two minutes. You know what I did yesterday? Yeah, right, I turned my uh, Wi-Fi off last night. You know, do you turn your Wi-Fi off in the night or do you just keep it on? No, I keep it on. How come she turned it off? Yeah, I turned it off last night. How come? I just turned it off. For, let me get a refresh. And now I'm on two minutes and sixteen. So I don't know if it's helped it in that regards. Hmm. Because like I said, the uh, the thing was moving bad yesterday. Okay. I didn't. I didn't even know that was a thing. I grade it. This ain't weed. I <laughs> <laughs> right, big up Daz. Hope you're well, mate. Bowen's away. Bowen. Oh, what a save! It's offside. It's offside. <sighs> Airplane mode at night. Airplane mode. <laughs> What's that song? Burner boy. Oh. Airplane mode. It's burn up. No, it's not. It's not. It's not burner boy. It's um. It's, um, it's a good save. What's some guys called, man. Nah, it's someone else. Yeah, big up, big up, Andy, big up, Andy. He's offside, yeah. As well. yeah how was your uh, FIFA yesterday? I watched a bit of it, man. Oh, it, br- it bro, decent? listen, you got to get on this this nice thing, bro, and come to League on. It's fun, bro. It's fun. Bro. Bro, you, I don't, listen, you, bro, I'm telling you, yeah, when you're managing a smaller team and they've got less resources and you're yeah. dealing with the young players and... I'm 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 losing two 0 to Nice, and then I come free. I come back three two in the second half. I got Jackson, Broya, um, yeah. all these young. I got uh, I signed Nusa, bro. It's good. Oh, I, Nusa, I yeah, got Bacic yeah, yeah, and yeah. Okachuku together. That, yeah, bro, it's good. Bola catch up in the Bella catch up in the centre back position. The Yeah, it's Aye. good. It's good. I got Brandon Williams at right back. You know. I got Brandon Williams at right back, bro. I know, I see now. Yeah. That's random. That is random, bro. <laughs> Brandon Williams, you know. It was out of contract, didn't it? You got him on a free. No, no, no. That's a loan deal. That's a loan deal. Okay. That's a loan deal. I needed to get that done because I was... Bro, deadline day was so stressful last night, bro. We... we we Because cause good bids were coming in for some of the players, right? Even the captain. So we sold and we made yeah, money. Yeah. But then we, we had a thin squad. We didn't have a right back. Um, we didn't have a centre back with pace. Yeah, yeah. So, bro, man, man, for three hours to go is trying to get deals done. Everybody's throwing in their names, trying to, and then, and then we're going to the names, <laughs> we're, and they're like, you know, when you go to a name, you're trying to sign. They're like, recently just joined the club, or we will not loan this player, bro. It was getting, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, getting yeah, yeah, rough, yeah, yeah. bro. It's getting rough. Last three hours was it's stressful. Getting rough and stressful. Yeah, yeah. It's tough, tough. Let tough. me, let me, let me see what Real Madrid is saying. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me, uh, let me enjoy Real Madrid. You got no, 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 no. You got no, to no. You got to days, earn it. This is you. Don't, you got to earn it, bro. You got sacked from Manchester United. You should be going to Nice, bro. Manager. 
You need to Rodney earn Mourinho, it. Man. No, they always want me. No, 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 they, no, they, they always no, want me. No, they don't always want. No, no, no. Maybe, maybe they don't like me no. because I'm too good. <laughs> maybe they don't like me because I'm too good. <laughs> what Ronaldo said. Maybe they don't like me. <laughs> you had them in the relegation zone, just like me. You should have found your ass humbled in Nice. <laughs> Oh, nah, because now we don't do that. We don't struggle, man. Nah, I'm a struggle because we, we, been struggling. I'm a struggle because when that Real Madrid offer comes for me, oh, it's gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna feel much more gratitude for it. I'm gonna be so grateful. So good. It's gonna be beautiful because I earned that shit. Too good. <laughs> yeah, I'm too good. You're, are you gonna get sacked? Did you, I, did you win your? Did you lose your first game? And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I lost my first two games. I think <laughs> already. <laughs> oh, I think I drew. Actually, I drew. I think I've got one point. Brother, from two just, games. I think just I'm 12 <laughs> in the league. Bro, does, oh, no, we're in Brody's just That's repeating the same thing he just did. Bro, ski. <laughs> we're just so dead at FIFA, man. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, you drop right, it. Someone stay there. You got to drop it to Saka, class. Saka ever take on players. Now, Saka's not that guy, man. Saka used to take on players, but now he's obviously more, you know what I mean, like Grealish kind of style, man. You know I mean, yeah. possession based. Uh, lesser players drop the difficulty. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, yo, no Jorginho, no party. Right. Go on. I don't know, man. Oh, the God. We'll have to see, man. It's gonna be a lot of possession. Arsenal now. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you said, Matisse, man. West Ham sitting back. Yeah, soaking in the pressure, and it's down to thinking to break them down. Yeah, Simple. and if the but the great thing is right, Aguerd and Zuma. They they can handle this the low block they can handle this they they got their defensive mind switched oh. on I think they can do this I think they can do this man Zuma Almost. they can defend their box it's literally gonna be like, yeah they can defend it look at that bro look at the low block there man yeah it's man. crazy that's what I'm saying that Hoyland goal. It, it kind of almost like, you know, it, it kind of, you know, they were, they were shook. They were like, what the flip was that finish? You know? <laughs> now, he, he, he's had, he's had some great finishes, both, finishes recently. Up after that. Yeah, he's had some great finishes recently. Yeah, 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 proper finishes. He's had some great finishes. Like, big up, man. Big up Oasis in the chat. Big up everyone here, man. Hit the like button, people. Oh, could us. Oh. It's mad, it's mad, it's mad. Like wire as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, can you? This is what I'm saying. Can you imagine if David Moyes got his hands on Maguire, and then um, and uh, bro, I'm telling you, Crazy. he knew he, he knows what he's trying to cook up. And McTominay as well from set pieces, bro. Yeah, David McTominay as well. David yeah, Moyes yeah. was trying to pieces, cook, man. David Moyes was trying to make the ultimate set piece king team. He had Ward Prowse taking yeah. them, and then he Facts. was gonna have McTominay and Maguire in the box on top of what they already have. He's nasty. Back. He's nasty. I know Back. what he's trying to cook. I know. Oh, I know what he's trying to cook, man. Set piece FC. Yep. It would have been mad. Can you imagine? Man, what is set piece FC? Though? Oh, Rice is getting absolutely bodied here. Oh, <laughs> you know, normally take free kicks as well. What's he doing taking free kicks? See, he's, he's got the main character syndrome today. But top. He thinks this is oh. about him. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. He's like, yo. If it's about him, yo. <laughs> Ooh, that's the yellow card Take already, him. surely. Should he not be in the box attacking the Saka. attacking the corner, if anything? Oh, a big, big yellow card. He should he should be in the box attacking it, not taking it. He's putting a good ball to be fair, but yeah. Silly challenge. I don't know what he was doing there, but he didn't need to make that challenge, man. He didn't need to make it at all. What was the point in that? He's not going anywhere, man. Uh, it's a rush challenge. Saying Jorginho is the glue. In fact, he didn't really. Uh, to be fair, you can't do that. You can't do that, bro. You can't do that. <laughs> Tries to always take the corners. I must be. Listen, I must be watching different. Nah, I'm. I I, no, I've seen. Corners, I've dude. seen. I've seen Saka taking corners. He doesn't always take the corners. I've yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've seen Saka take corners. Yeah. Um, who else have I seen? Surely it's not, it can't be Rice taking no because I've seen Rice mm. in the box to try and put get on the end of these things. He can't be taking them all the time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who else is there, man? That's um, only just started taking them weirdly. Yeah, fair enough. Odegaard must be taking some as well. Odegaard, Tross, yeah. I think Trossard. I've seen take a few on the other side when he plays. Ariola today, man. Ariola, big performance. Gonna today. need gonna need a masterclass. Gonna need a masterclass. Martinelli, yeah, yeah, Martinelli as well. 
100%. Although Martinelli doesn't strike me as a good corner taker, to be honest. No, no. Ball comes in. That's a foul ref. Have man. Come on, man, Keeper referee. Out. Love it. Oh, oh, Ariola's on it today. I can see he's charged. He's charged. Fully charged. Ariola's on it, man. Fully charged. Fully charged. Aguero. Yo, listen, this is literally all Arsenal now at the minute. It's on the edge. West Ham have got 10 players. Oh, they got everyone there apart from Bowen. Everyone's back apart from Bowen. <laughs> and listen, it's a matter of time before they score Arsenal. No. A matter of time. Bro, this kit. Uh, I remember Chelsea used to have a kit like this. Back in... 2000. Which kit? Which kit? The kit that Arsenal have. Chelsea used to have a kit like this as well. This kit here? Yeah, it's very... It's Arsenal kit. The, lolly, the lollipop, the lollipop, kit, the lollipop so lady kit. Mm. It's, it's not too bad if you wear it in the summer though, man. You know when you go to like a like, like a festival and that, you know what I mean? It's not too <laughs> bad enough. But when you're wearing that... <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Yo. like, we had the pink kit. We had the pink kit. Remember we had the pink kit back in the day? Yeah. Everyone was wearing it in festivals. I was like, as a kit for football, I was like, nah, man. <laughs> Yeah, Halimi, big up, man. Big up, bro. I see that. I see Looking it. for handball. Come on, man. His arms were down by his side, guys. Waiting for that. Yeah, Kudus it's not waiting handball. for that one opportunity. Kudus is on that side waiting to the score. Clipped ball, in. Honestly, Ooh. They can't do it, innit? They can't do Got it right clear now. that. West Ham under the cosh. First 10, 12, well, first 11 minutes. All Arsenal. First 11 minutes, yeah. All Arsenal, sure, surely, All Arsenal. Surely, the thing is with West Ham, they should be dealing with anything that comes into the box. They should be dealing with it. Yeah, 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 look at that, poor, poor. My only, poor. my only problem will be if they yeah, if they take anything. shots and get deflected, and then things can start ricocheting and stuff. They if they're too deep, they yeah. might they might get unlucky with the with that. One hundred, one hundred. Yep. Let's see if this Facts. this delivery is good. One hundred, man. One hundred. Saka, bro. One hundred, man. That's a shocking cross from Saka. Jeez. That's a carny kit. Yeah, carny kit, man. <laughs> What's the Arsenal routine on corner? I don't know, you know, man. They're trying to do the short corner. But to be fair, nothing's going to work, yo, with, with, with this kind of, um, with this back line with Zuma, you know what I mean? Like, Suchek. Do you only, too many big man. The only person Arsenal have to hit in the air is, is Havertz. That's the only person. Oh, yeah. That's the only person they have. Even Havertz is not great. Yeah, man. even he's not, not great. great yeah, yeah. He's, he? he's, not, he's nothing in comparison to Zuma and Nguyen. 80 percent possession. Nipping no. hell. Mm. That's crazy. Listen, we just need a counter attack for West Ham and Kudus and, and Bowen to link up, man. We we're not here for no possession. Let's go. Come on, you irons. <laughs> Oi, what is he doing Forever there? Forever blowing like Gabriel bubbles. I can't remember the rest of the song. <laughs> I like Gabriel. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, man. No, nah, 100%. You know what it is? These kind of games, yeah, they need um, they need West Ham to score first. Yeah, they're just to kind of open it up. Just kind of make sure Arsenal then come out Ooh, and then, you know, Gabriel. they force it. And then obviously West Ham then get hey, in there. Hey, Ball's out of play, man. Come on. Ball's out of play. He's out of play, man. God damn. Let's say this is Saka's ceiling. Um, and he doesn't get any better. Would you guys say he's world class? Um, I'm not sure. Listen, I don't know if he's gonna get. He's on. He's on the. He's on the. Level. He's on the edge. You know what it is with Saka? He's on the edge of world class. He's not world class yet, but he's on the edge of it. Yeah, he's on the edge. He's on the edge. He's almost there. He's on the edge. But he's, yeah, he's, he's got. Edge. He's got to have. I feel like he still hasn't had his um, Champions League moment. You know how Bellingham's had his Champions League moment. Yeah, yeah. These yeah. guys have come to Champions League like being known, like in the quarterfinals, semifinals. So, like the, yo, the, the, I'm to be here. to be well, I feel like he needs that kind of moment to be world class, right? You need to do it when your team needs you at the end. It's all good. Obviously, the season's long. Yes, you're putting in the numbers now. But when the team gets to cup finals, when the team gets to Champions League semifinals against Real Madrid, when the team gets to yes. You know, last couple of weeks of the Premier League, that's where your world class moment's got to come. So he's almost there. He's young. Yeah. He's almost there. But once you give it to him, you don't want to really have to take it away. So you got to, you should, you should, you shouldn't want to want, you shouldn't want to give the title. You shouldn't want to give the title to these players before yeah. they, before you absolutely can say they're definitely world class. Because otherwise, class. <laughs> you're going to be stripping them their titles. We don't want that. We don't want that. I said edge class, you know. All right, go on. That's edge it. class. Press, press. <laughs> we should call, we should actually have something called edge class. Such a such a good a good thing yeah, to have. Just class. edge class, bro. Your edge class. Analogy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Drew Bellingham's world class. 
People say Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham is world class. Edge class. <laughs> edge class for Saka. Edge class for yeah. Martinelli. Edge class. A lot of edge class players. Jude Bellingham's not world class. I think oh, man said by definition Galacho is oh. no he's not oh shit no way near now <laughs> come on go oh, West Ham come on boys come on boys come on you irons Jude is world class someone said if Jude is world class everyone is right you might not rate Jude Bellingham say Jude way too early I think he is world class man he did it on the big stages man come on man I hear it though if people are saying wait, wait for the season to end because this is, this is like it's not his breakout season, but we wouldn't have called him world class at Dortmund. Mm. But I hear you as well. Yeah. Like, what he's doing at Real Madrid. Again, he's shown the, what, the, the thing is, the thing is, smooth. right? What he's I don't I don't he's what he's doing at Real Madrid. I don't see him just fading off. I'm not gonna lie. I don't see this brother fading off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I'd be very, I'd be very confident in him, in him, in, in, in him no, no, carrying on not. doing what he's doing. He's gone to the, oh, yeah. he's gone to the right league and he's gone to the right club because he's at, he's at one of the biggest clubs. So you know, Real Madrid and Barcelona players historically in the last 10, 15 years, they always get a little bit of favoritism on the whole. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. one to eleven shouts and whatnot. Yeah. But also, bro, that league, he's too physically imposing on that league, bro. <laughs> La Liga is meant to be a nice league for nice lightweights, bro. This guy's coming in with his big six foot, yep. six foot one, six foot two self. Nah, bro. They cannot compete. <laughs> they cannot compete. Cannot compete. They cannot compete. So they I, cannot compete. Mother, you can believe. Mm, I don't see him fading at all, man. Aye, go on. That was a good ball. Some Aye, that's not a penalty. Unlucky, man. It's not a penalty. It's a check that, you know, guys. VAR check, man. But then also... VAR check. And this is a fair this is a fair comment. We're judging world class probably based off 10, 15 years ago standards, whereas Ooh. the players the players are not as good as they were 10, 15 years ago, technically. So we probably have to redefine our definition of world class to whatever we're doing in doing in this era. Yeah. That's another thing as well. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing so as we well. To, you need yeah. to redefine yeah. the word world class. We have to make it make sense for this era. Do, what do you reckon to that, yo? Is that, do you reckon that was a penalty? Uh, Matisse Which one? Time? What the loss? Let me see. Oh, Let me see I it again. Um, Odegaard, where is he? Shirt pull. Oh, mm. it's too soft for you. Let me see. I'm gonna get a second look. Sue check. Yeah, too soft. Yeah, no penalty there. No penalty. Too soft. Too soft. But the thing is, yeah, that's mad though. You think about it, yeah, because like the player isn't get. He hasn't got the ball. You know what I mean? Like it's weird, man. It's weird. <laughs> Someone says soft, but it's give so it. Subjective. As to what? Yeah, but do you know what, bro? There's always gonna be yeah, physical. Not, there's always gonna be physical yeah. contact. Like you can't. You can't mark your man on a set piece and not not yeah, touch him. True, true, Do you know true. what I mean? Like if you're if I'm marking like if I'm it's like yeah if I'm doing man marking from a set piece, I'm gonna have a hold of my of my of my man. I'm not gonna just let him just um like roam around and and just not touch tight. You have to be touched tight. So yeah, you know. But he's just fallen over. Yeah, because he has to be touched tight. Yeah, no, he, he's, 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 he's just fallen over. He's just weak. He's 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 For me, I could tell if it's a foul with the way that the the attacker is 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 acting up. He just dived, man. He, he didn't need to fall over there. The only reason yeah, why he yeah. fell is because he knew that the cross wasn't coming for him. So he just fell. Oh, go on, break. Yeah, go true, on, Bowen. True. Bowen, nah. please, please, Bowen, Bowen, please, please, Bowen, 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 Bowen. Oh, why, man? Bowen, man, that's selfish. Nah, he did, Calm, too, come yeah, he on, did man. too much. Too much. You should have kept waiting. You should have waited for others to come and help and oh, support him. Oh, Bowen, man. Hella selfish, man. Come on. It's actually about dragging them down to the ground he won't he don't drag them he just hands yeah true yeah when you when you just touching him up and that pause but like when you just kind of like <laughs> you know in that aspect like it's not it's not deemed as a oh, you know dear. what i'm saying a little pat a little pat down you know what i was there <laughs> oh here's um Saka, ben white one Saka. Saka dead <laughs> dead Saka. <laughs> Oh god! All right, listen. One thing about this year is that like, these are these are the worst two teams you could possibly want to watch because you got a team who likes to keep the ball, and then you've got a team who wants to sit back. Like there's some polar opposites. Like it's not even an element of counter attack involved from West Ham right now. It's just literally, you know. This where you got. This where it's all tactical now. It's a tactical game. This one. Yeah, it's all tactical. Yeah, it's a tactical game. And the goals are saying it's a penalty or not? What do you reckon, guys? You're putting it out there. The Where it's gonna clear? No, I don't think so. Come on! I don't think so, man. 
I don't know what happened yesterday, yeah? And I don't know if you've ever had a game like this, but bro, I was m the way that I was pressing on this game at Nice, bro, I've never seen such a good press yeah. on this. Bro, I was in awe of the pressing, bro. I don't know how it is on FIFA if you can really... Yeah, yeah, bro, I don't know what it is on FIFA if you can really construct a press. But there was something about the game I was playing last night, bro. The press was on point, bro. It was actually mad. I was get, I was suffocating watching me press. Are you doing your tactics this time now? Are you doing your <laughs> tactics now this time? I am. I am the, doing more the, tactics, yeah. I'm bro, I was suffocating watching my own team press. Okay. It was beautiful, bro. We were going in twos and threes and okay. I, it was it was orchestrated like crack. It was but now, crazy. But now you need to go up a level though. When do you, when do you go up a level though? When, when um, you go to legendary mode? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that you know everything's all. I said wait, you know. Yeah, because we have to oh, make sure it's nice. have to make sure it's too easy first before you go back up. You know, you have to make sure it's too easy. So we get maybe halfway through the season. Nice football. We'll see, maybe maybe do oh. a whole season one class. We'll maybe do something like that and then go from there. You know, do one season. I said class. whole season. Yeah, one. yeah. Honestly, the people want legendary mode. Nah, I did lose. You talked about being fun. I lost the game to I lost the game to Monaco two 0 on 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 world class. It was, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a bad, it was a bad game. It was my first the, game the, back. The, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. I don't know what was going on. We'll see. I still got to play PSG and Mbappe. You know, it's a bigger test to come. Big test to come. We'll see what happens. Mbappe, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. <laughs> I lost 11 0 last time. Gotta play them. Remember, remember, I lost 11 0 on legendary. 11 0. So <laughs> I'm not sure oh we, have to, we have to wait. Days. 11. Yeah. So against PSG. Yeah. Then. So before we go back to legendary, let's let's see how that game goes first. <laughs> 11 0. Hey, Lisa. Oh, the God. Oh. Hey, Lisa. Oh. Oh. Arsenal. Hey, bloody easy. Arsenal trying. What about you? When are you going to drop the difficulty? I'm not dropping difficulty. We will, we will, we will be there. We'll be on legendary. You will be sacked. <laughs> I'll be sacked, and then I'll go to Nice in it, like you said. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've already got my thumbnail started as well. Yeah, I got my thumbnail. Did Did Nice offer you a job when you when Did well. Nice offer you a job when you left Man United, or no? I don't know how Strasbourg offered me a job. It was so random. Oh, what a miss from Trossard! What a chance! Well, I got offered a job to Chelsea United, bro. Sheffield United, bro. Come on. Wait, man. so what were your, what were your offers? Sheffield okay, Sheffield United is dead. What were your offers? Sheffield United, that's it. That's, that's it. it. You didn't, you didn't, Sheffield United, bro. You didn't have more than that. I, I tried to flick. I tried to flick next or whatever. <laughs> and I tried to find where it was next, but nothing. Oh, my days. I had nothing. I had bare offers, bro. There's all the guards. That's mad. That's actually mad. Man, Saka. Others. Oh, my God. That's peak. Oh my God, what a save. That's actually peak. Oh peak. my days. Matisse, when you see this, oh my God. <laughs> Ariola, take a bow. Oh my days. Mad. Oh my days. He couldn't have hit that sweeter as well. Oh my Whoa. days. The Oh, that's that mad. That's that's what that's got to be. That's got to be one of the saves of the season. That's got to be one of the saves of the season. Has to be. Oh, wow. 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 That is a world class save. That is world class. World class, man. That's what that's what goalkeepers be no, training that's for. Crazy, guys. That's what goalkeepers be doing midweek with the training. Ariola. No, I said Ariola. What a yeah. save. Ariola. Did I say Ariola? What a Ariola. save. Oh my <laughs> days. That is mad. You know, he's listen, he's playing for big clubs, you know. Play for PSG. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's played for Wow. You no, know, Fulham. He's played for Fulham. West Ham now. You know? Wow. That was a save. Now, you know what it is? I've got it wrong. I, I, I thought Ariola was a bomb, man. Like, when I watched him last season and that, I was like, Ariola, the amount of mistakes he does, I was like, yeah. But listen, fair play to him. Like, he's top. He played for Real Madrid as well. Real Madrid. No, nah, he didn't play for Real Madrid. I don't remember him being at Real Madrid. I remember him being at PSG. And Fulham, yeah. But not Real Madrid. Oh, he did play for Real Madrid. But did he play, though? He didn't play. He did. What, games? How many games did he play? No, he didn't play no games. I'm not sure how many games, but he did play for Real Madrid. Nah, he didn't play. He didn't play games, though. That's the thing. He's probably on the. He's probably like bench, bench. Second, he, he might have. He, he might have even been third choice. 
How many games did he play, guys? From Madrid. I don't know how many games he played. He was on loan. He was on loan from PSG. Four, oh, you played four games. Four games. Okay, so he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. Four games. Backup keeper. That's mad. Played for four games. Wow. It's coming with, he's, really he's, he's coming with experience really though. Guys, is it? Oh, Gabriel's got the pass. Odegaard. Yeah, he is. He needs to play that left side somewhere. Still Odegaard. Out to no, Saka. he's not going to play it. Oh, blocked. Saka. Blocked. No. Again, it's so predictable, Saka. Make it, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get us something different, man. <laughs> oh, Alvarez. What a run. Oh, the pass, man. Should have played, played it simple. He can, he can drive with the ball, though, Alvarez, though. He can drive with the ball, Alvarez. Mm. Saka again. One La Liga. Emerson, yes. Yeah. Emerson locking up Saka. Come on, no, Emerson. You know one thing about Emerson? Why did you sell Emerson? That's one thing I never get about Chelsea. Emerson's always been a good, good left back. Like, good, like, you know, like steady Eddie. Never mm. too. It's not like a teller. He's got power. He's got pace. He's got <sighs> agility. He's got a bit, you know. He's all right. I don't know why. He's, was it because he was it because of the Chilwell signing? Well, yeah, Chilwell, Chilwell, Chilwell came signing. in, and we had Marcus Alonso as well. So we had three left backs. We didn't need three. Oh yeah, yeah. he's all right. Look he's at that. Right. Go on, Emerson. Alonso. I mean, um, uh, can he do anything? He's 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 oh, he's decent. Dead, dead. He's decent. He's not. He's not. He's not Chelsea level though. He's, he's decent. He's not Chelsea level. Yeah, it's not Chelsea level. I, it's I not really, Chelsea level. I really bothered about us selling him, to be honest. But yeah, we got you could like you can make a better left back in your academy, really. To be honest, you don't really yeah, you don't, true, you don't true, really need to true, you don't really true, need to keep true. players like Emerson. You should be able to make that in your academy for free. For yeah, you that's true as well. That's that's spot on. Where is Brandon Williams that these is days? Is he still at your club, on. or have you sold him? Brandon Williams at Ipswich. Is that Ipswich? Oh, no, Ipswich. No, no. Okay. Fair. He's not doing well over there. Oh, he's not even. I don't think he's even playing. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, bro, he's not 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 really not doing much over there. So it's a bit of a sticky one still. <laughs> Mad. It's a bit of a sticky one still. Yeah, sucker again. Sucker. Oh, this game needs live. They're not. This game needs a West Ham goal. It generally does. Rice. It's back to sucker again. Taking on Emerson. He's a West Ham goal, people. Shots. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Deflected shots. That could have gone anywhere. Yeah. Corner now. That could have gone anywhere. Corner. Got to be careful, man. Got to be careful. What are Arsenal going to do for me? Arsenal, no, nothing, nothing. Absolutely nada. Nada, nada, nada. Yeah, listen, I, 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 you know what it is with me, yeah? Also, not playing the, the game that you played last season. It's more controlled. It's more, you know, making better decisions. On talk about better decisions. They have, they have, Martin, they have the, they there. have the most goals from corners. So that's what's mad. They got the most goals oh, from corners. What's he done there? Oh, Martin Ellie might be in trouble there. Is he in trouble there, people? Oh, the God, White, Rice, Martin Ellie. Go on. Oh. oh, yeah, that's cheeky. Uh, Martinelli, cheeky. Let's got it back. Cheeky from Martinelli. What's there. he done? What's he done? Get Martinelli out of my club. Rah. What's he done? I saying, get Martinelli out of my club. I don't understand. He slapped him in the face to me. Oh, there. really? Is that what he's done? I didn't yeah, even. Yeah, I didn't, I, I, that's sly. I didn't even see that. That's sly. Let me see. Because he didn't have no complaints. Yeah. Kufa. That would have been a blue card, though. Ah, very, very cheeky. Yeah, and he's done it right in front of the. That ref. would have been a blue card. He's done it. He's, he's done it right in front of the. Right ref. And he's walked away as well. Yeah, he's walked away as well. He's done that, that would have been a blue card. Right in front. That's, of the that's referee. one thing that's a blue card. I always think, yeah, when you hit people on the face or when you touch people on the face, like it's always subjective to the fact that you know, oi, the fact that you know how soft you touch them, how you know, is it really contact? Does he make a meal out of a defender? Blue card would be acceptable there because you've done something. I don't like that. I don't even like that. I don't like the blue card idea at all. I don't I, see that. That that's cheeky, but I don't want to see someone off the pitch for ten minutes for that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Ten it's minutes is like, ten bro. minutes is a long time in football. You know, ten minutes is a long time. Bro, ten minutes is a long time, bro. Ooh. Ten minutes is a long time for that. I'm sorry. You know what it is, bro. 
it, it's the way you get back into shape. Then you have to then start from defending to attack, and it's like your team's yeah, your team's they, weakened team for ten minutes for that. Like, bro, yeah. Kufal's fine now. Kufal's not even thinking about that. Making a meal out of nothing. Martinelli doesn't need to be cycling yeah. on the sidelines for ten minutes for something like that. That's football, man. It's this this sport's becoming too soft, too soft. Yeah, too soft. You're meant to leave a little bit on your ma on your on your man as the game goes on, wear them down, little kicks to the shins when the referee's not looking. That's what that's what the, that's what that's the game. That's the game. Can't be out here giving blue cards for all these things. It's point. It's just mad. Can't be doing that. Yeah, no, nah, I hear you, man. Because then, then you know for the next 10 minutes, Arsenal are basically going to be camping in their box, maybe defending, or if it's a different different yeah. team. And it's like 10 minutes of, of, of defending with 10 men because of that. Like, something that we wouldn't even be yeah. mentioning again. Now, like, a slap in, uh, that's, a slap in the, a slap in the yeah. face like that shouldn't really be a talking point at the end of the game. Yeah, it shouldn't be, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, it will yeah, be. Like, you know with, what I mean? Like, card. And slap me. Mm. When you go to, to school and that, you know, your man slap miss, he slapped me. And then Miss is trying to say, Well, I didn't see it. And then you know, what I mean? like, yo, come on, man. Like, allow it, innit? Ball comes in. And said it will use teams will use it to kill momentum. Yo, that's true, you know. Corner again. Teams will probably use it to kill momentum. Oh, yeah, the, the, the flow of the game will be dead if you do that. Flow. I like Sergio Ramos. I just Sergio Ramos was a, is still around while wow, this is happening. Sergio Ramos. The flow of the game. Ball comes in. Oh no! No oh, dear! Oh no! It is that guy. It is that guy. <sighs> they've had two. They've, is gonna be here soon. they've had too many corners, man. And they've scored. Oh, and they've scored the most. Days. They've scored the most goals from corners this season. It's too many corners, man. Yep. Gabriel. It's, Gab it's, Ga it's, it's Gabriel, now, isn't it? He's... It's Gabriel. Oh, it's Saliba. No, it's not. Oh, it's Saliba. It's another partner. It's Saliba. Saliba. Oh, my days. What is he doing? What? How did he get beat, man? Did man, look, what's he doing? What's his zone of marking? Oh, my God. That is terrible zone of marking. <laughs> Ariola, and then he gets, I think Ariola gets caught in between. He doesn't know where look how, look how, Look how deep everybody is. They're all oh, on top of the, my. they're all on top of the goalkeeper. Terrible defending. Oh, my days, man. That what kind of mess is this? And it's Ben White. Just watch Ben White again. Ben White again, just uh, just a bit in front of the key. He doesn't do anything. You see Ben White, it's clever. You see how Ben White just stands in front of Ariola again, and he just can't move. And then Saliba just comes yeah. in, and and and, and it's terrible. not it's not a foul because it's, it's it's not a foul. It's just it's just intelligent. I'm never a fan of zonal market. I'm it's just intelligent. Ben White, I'm never a fan of zonal market. Never. Ben White's the key. Never a fan of zonal market. I just think for me, pick a man. If 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 West Ham, bro, get Ben White is a man, menace. You're not bro. beating West Ham. Ben Ben White is becoming a menace. Yeah, ben White does it all the time. Yeah, he's though, becoming a bit of a menace time. with this. Someone, someone's, someone's, someone needs to mark him because this Ben White thing is becoming mad. Keeps doing it, keeps doing it, and it keeps yeah. working. Keeps working. Broski, come on, man. Like Rice could have called us. Yeah, fair play. Zonal market. I've never understood the idea of zonal market. Never, man. I just think, what's the point, man? What is the point? Oh, Rice. Rice bursting through the midfield now. Find Sack on the right. Uh, not going to happen, mate. Not going to happen. Yeah, four shots on target versus zero. Yeah, facts. <sighs> Last time I've had nothing. Set piece FC. Yo, might be the situation this year, man. Set piece Arsenal. And you wouldn't um you wouldn't um associate that as well. With well Arsenal, when you the old that. Arsenal, you yeah. Should... But the new the one they're physical now, bro. Yeah, the old Arsenal. They're physical. Yeah. They're like the, the old Arsenal is weak. This Arsenal, they've for the last 18 months or, tw yeah. or two seasons, they've not been like that. Um, even when parties there, you got Mark, Gabriel, yeah. Saliba, White. Yeah, it's quite a tall back line. Now Rice has come in. Tommy Asu, when Tommy Asu's Max. when Tommy Asu's playing as well, that's another one. It's quite a physical. That's another one as well. It's yeah, quite yeah, a physical yeah. Side. Here we go. Zayn Mias is back. He's saying, "Told you, Saliba is better than Rio. Title is ours." Oh, what is he doing, Zuma? There, Saliba's better what than Rio. Is he doing Saka should have scored. Did he just? Did he just say Saliba's better? That's what better? he said. That's what he said. Were you just gonna let that slide? 
Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> when, I know we spoke about it before, but now he's trying to use it now against me, obviously. Saka, oh my God. So because, has to so score so because, has to score so because Saliba scored a goal on, on the 11th of February against West Ham in, in the Olympic Stadium, he's now better than Rio. Lord heavens. Lord heavens. God damn. Yeah, yeah, apparently. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the situation is, there is, right there now. There is no respect going that's on at all around here. <laughs> yes, no respect, yeah, Saka's, Saka's got to score that. Saka, Saka's got to score that, man. Saka's got to score that. Saka's got to score that. Come on, man. That sweet forehead of yours, man. You got to use it properly, man. <laughs> oh, dearie me. What did you go for the big six this week, man? Tobes got two predictions right, bro. I'm one goal away in yeah, every every single thing, game man. so far. I've been one goal away. Fuming. Every single game. What did you pick for this one? What did you predict for this one? 2 0 Arsenal. I think you'll get that one, you know, I can't lie. Mm, I don't know, man. I feel like West Ham will get a goal at some point. I've got the 3-1. I feel like West Ham will get a goal at some point. Yeah. I've, been, I've been one goal away in West every Ham's single one, man. On. It's mad. I can't, I'm, so, I'm so fuming. Nah, that hurts, man. That if hurts. I said 3 no Liverpool, they won 3-1. I said I said 3 no City, they won 2 no, And I had Tottenham 2-2 two, two, and they won 2-1. Yeah. Oh, pain. It's one of the memoirs of the Chronicles of the Legend that is cracked. Oh, you listen. I man like Eddie's going mad. Saka. Yeah. It comes Saka <sighs> again. <clears throat> and why? Oi, right, nice football. Lovely. Saka. Ah, oh, damn. damn. It's a great oh, build up play. Hard, I can't lie. That's a bit. Yeah, good little football from Arsenal. Though, yeah, they didn't, they didn't finish the game up for half time. I can't lie to you. They didn't finish off this game for half time. It's good. This is this would have been a losing 3 0. This would, wow. bro, I actually losing 3 0. That would have been one of that would have been a, one of the team goals of the season if Arsenal scored that. That was, yeah, that was back to front. I actually know they finished. It feels like, do you know what it is with Odegaard? It always feels like he's got bare time on the ball. Odegaard always feels like he's got yeah, so much time. Like Odegaard being in these positions, you think he'd have to be rushing, but he's just slowing everything down and just taking his time. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mad. Lovely. Oh, lovely ball. What is, um, ball? What is, is Southgate? Is Saka. Saka. Oh, my God. That's a penalty. It's, it's, Sa- it's got to be a penalty. It is a penalty. Oh, my God. Uh, Ariola, I told you guys. Ariola. What did I say? He's a bozo. Oh. I told people. Ari- I thought these guys are like, yo, I know Ariola. He's a he's, bozo, he's, man. He's, he's fucked up there. That's his bad moment. He's fucked up. He's effed up. He has... F- what is he doing, Ariola? The man, the myth, and the crazy legend that is Ariola. Why has he done that? Is that not a red card, though? No, nah, no, nah, It's not a nah. red card, though. It's not a no, red card. Just, no. Zuma's playing him on. Oh, my God. You need to do it, bro. Zuma, wake up, man. Why is gonna... bro? Why is Zuma jogging around like as if there's not a whole whole situation going on back there? Look at Zuma. Zuma's... Yeah, what the fuck Zuma's is he doing, not... bro? You've played everybody on side, and you're having a little, little jog, mate. What's going on? What's what's what? what? Never off. Nah, if he, if he goes off, then that's crazy. Man's got all that recovery. Oh, he's taking offside. Offside. Zuma's the one that's played him on. He's onside. Offside, guys. Offside. He's onside, man. He's onside. It's not even close. Zuma's played yeah, him on. He's onside. Zoom has played him on, and then I'm watching him jogging back like this is not a, a not a, a, not a mad well, situation. Kufal as well. Kufal's played him on as well. These defenders. Kufal's on. played him on as well. Yeah, and Kufal. Yeah, these defenders are mad. Honestly, look at Zuma. Just watch Zuma after. Is it off? I'm saying it's off. It's not off. There's no way this is off. I think it might be off. You know. Nope. I do not see this. This is off. No, it's not off. It can't be off. Kufal's. Off. It's offside. No, it can't be. Can't be. Can't be. Can't be off. I'd say blue card, you know. <laughs> blue card. <laughs> it's not off. It's well on side. Easy decision. Shouldn't even be doing a VAR check. That's how that's how easy it is. Well on side. Once they draw the line. Yeah, it's on side. It's once they side, once they draw the line or whatever given. they're doing. Pen yeah, pen's given, man. Once they, yeah, 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 they draw the line. I don't even it's know on, why they're checking, side, honestly. Side, I don't even know why they're even checking, man. I don't even know why they're checking. This is Jeez, so... man. It's 2 0, my Matisse, you know. Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> it's going to be 2 0, man. Oh, my. Look how look how clear, on, look how Saka. obvious it is, man. Oh, my God. Saka, oh, my what are you doing? Jeez, bro. Why are you taking this back off? 
Oh, I remember when Saka missed the penalty in the stadium last time. Lord of mercy. So, Arteta tell him to take this. What is he doing? But did, but but does he want to take what it? What is he doing? Does he now? does he want to take it? Because he doesn't look like he really wants to take he it. He wants to take it. Does he want to take it? Okay, he scored six out of six this season. So, oh no, six out of six. Arsenal have scored this season. I don't know how many he scored. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't he didn't. Saka's look, gonna step up. He didn't look like he wanted to take it. But I'm sure he'll be. Oh, he's taking, he's taking one of the one touch ones. Uh, he's not doing a run up. He's doing the one touch one. You know uh, what he did? One bang. Yeah, touch. one bang. No, he's not, he's not, he's send not. somebody. Oh, there we go. There oh. we go. I. There oh. we go. Pepe celebration. There we go. Game over for me. That's game over. Can't lie to you. Game over. My two no predictions looking a little bit light. Dominate the whole game. <sighs> whole domination. Well, I just say they'd. I, I mean, Arsenal deserve it, man. They will. They do. I did say they'd win this Even game. Yeah, yeah. They, listen, and you know what's mad as well? Yeah, they got it just before half time as well. They needed to get that goal before half time. West Ham have been poor. All right, there's Fringpong. I've right, been at Fringpong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, the celebrations and that. My my prediction. My prediction. Oh, no, listen, my prediction here was that Arsenal would win two one, but my my big six prediction was two 0 Someone, someone else must have said 2-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I'll score more, you know. I'll be honest with you. What's Zay Miassi said now? Oh, that's how champions play. United oh, hands it down. Bro. You're not champions, though. What do you mean, champions that's play? That's how champions play. You better, you're watch, your, you better watch your mouth, brother. You better you watch your mouth. mouth. Man. Yeah, man. You ain't got no experience about that. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> uh. Bro, Paqueta, no party. No Paqueta, no party. Uh. Real talk, man. No Paqueta, Oh, he should no have played party. it into Martinelli. Should have played it, man. Martinelli was right there, free. This could be a. This could champions be a. This third. might be bro, a battery. Champions, man. Let me ask you, hold out the sh- the, the third champions, bro. Hold tight, the third champions. This might be a battery. <laughs> it's a battery. <laughs> it's a battery. It's sit down and watch the real team play. Ninety-three percent champions. <laughs> this is gonna be peak. Bro. Uh, it's Let me ask you, man. That's a big L. My man like Kufa's got a bidara, you know. I didn't know he had a he had a he had a ball head. <laughs> what? It's rare to see Premier League players now with ball heads. Yeah, because they just oh, go they just go to Turkey and get it all get it all fixed and sorted, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but Kufa's like, yo. Yeah, he, I'm, he's I'm just gonna, gonna yeah, he's just it, I'm it, I'm he's just growing old gracefully. He's not yeah. he's not interested in doing all this performative per- yeah, per- man. performative nonsense. <laughs> Wow, Are you talking to your it's nearly a, bro. It's nearly a hundred goal contributions for Saka in 210 games almost, almost 100 goal contributions. He's got 50 goals and 49 assists. Fuck, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Saeed, what, what, what? Nah, oh, man, don't do this. Saeed, don't do what this. are we doing here, man? What are we Little. doing here, man? Oh my days! Gabriel. Oh my god! Wow, wow, wow! Why are we even here, man? What is this team doing? Well, they can't even defend set pieces now. Well, then oh what is the point? God. What is the point? Oh my days! Oh my days! Arsenal have chosen violence. Today. Oh my! They have chosen god. violence today. They have chosen violence is... today. Arsenal. Uh, this is a battering. Man, they're ready to win this Premier League. Oh, shut up, Arsenal Saeed. Shut it. Shut it. We don't want to hear Arsenal this. Here, man. We don't want to hear this foolishness. Stop, this your, stop your, your monologue. Proper, proper <laughs> drumming. This is a drumming, guys. We don't want to hear what this. What you're seeing right now. Jesus. Decker Rice, the one that we... Oi, listen. What a ball from Decker Rice. You know what? Yeah, fair play. His what set piece. His Rice. set piece taken today has been on point. He's he's put in a couple of good corners before the the oh, goal and hey, that delivery is it there. Gabriel? It's Gabriel with the goal. Oh, it's Gabriel. That what are you is, talking about Havertz, man. That is. A, Listen, what are these guys called? Yo, man? that is Gabriel. A, it's Hav- yeah, bro, it's they're always it's trying funny, to yeah. give Havertz flowers for shit that he didn't do, man. Let's allow it, man. I saw someone say that. Oh, this is an incredible moment from Havertz for not touching the ball on the way to the pass to someone else, bro. Just give Gabriel, oh, give Gabriel days. his flowers. Gabriel's been incredible this season, you know. Gabriel's 
Gabriel's knocking on team of the year I door. Lied to you, man. Gabriel's knocking on team of the year door. I'm not gonna lie. He's knocking on he's knocking on team of the year door. He must be. He must be knocking on the team of the year door. Him, Gab him, Saliba, Van Dyke, uh, and Kanate. It's gonna be a fight for that team of the year. It's gonna be a real fight. It's gonna be a fight. Oh my days. I'll be road you, man. Arsenal today played some lovely football. I'll be road you. Nobody can deny that, guys. Wow. Seven minutes added on. What for? Seven minutes. What uh, for? I haven't missed anything. What is now, this? Now, Arsenal, you know what, man? you got to give it to Arsenal, what though, man. What is this? Uh, play the football today. Total domination. I have to admit it. You, man, have smoked West Ham. Bro. Destroyed them. Bro, bro. They've not given West Ham any opportunities, right? Why has not had to make not, a... They, why why, not, why has not had to make a... Not had to make a serious save. And then going forward, they've just been they've they've oh. just stuck to the whole set piece thing. We're gonna just we're gonna keep putting the balls in the box. We're gonna keep putting in these deliveries, and eventually you're gonna fold. You're gonna fumble. That's what's happened. Yeah, they, yeah. they've completely dominated. From, Absolutely, from zero to forty-five. Now it's just been one-way traffic. It's peak. I think West Ham had one yeah. counter attack that I can remember, which they messed up. One counter attack. Oh, one counter attack. This is... This is mad. But this is what I'm saying. It's a different Arsenal, bro. Because how, how are Arsenal here dominating West Ham on set pieces? That's mad. West Ham are the, the team that people look at for set pieces. And David Moyes is the manager for it as well. And Arsenal have dominated them on set pieces yep. today. Twice. Two goals on set pieces. Yeah. So, it's a different Arsenal. Two man. goals. They're you much, know what? The penalty one killed it, man. They're more physical. Killed the momentum, ball again. The penalty. Oh, Zuma. This is, this is... This could be fours or fives, you know? If they keep doing this in the second half... Could, yep. It could be fours or fives. Martinelli again. Fours or fives, man. And they got no chance. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Trossard. What the heck? Oh, my God. It's 4 nil. I might have to leave. Oh, my God. Oh, my. oh, oh what a finish. Oh, what a finish. Oh, what, what is going on? Even as a hater, what even as on? a hater, I have to give you your flowers. That is ridiculous. What a goal that is. Oh my God. Trossard Dino, what that's strike. what you call, man. Oh my days. 4 nil. Hell, bruv. Man's just put it Four right in the nil, top corner. Guys. And uh, bro, I'm gonna tell Saeed, I'm gonna tell you again. Odegaard, 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 Odegaard. I'm telling you again, what Odegaard today. That, Odegaard, I'm telling you today. Odegaard this is man. the he he to Odegaard today has been the glue. He's in everything, bro. He's in all all of the general play. He's the one. Oh. He's the one slowing down time. Them. Picking out the right passes. Have to phone down pass pass time. Slowing down time. I've got damn pots of jumbo, Why you would know? you phone him? 4 0 up. Why would you phone him? Why would you do that? Why? Are you an Arsenal fan? Broski, we have to. What, why? For what? Is it, is, no, I'm so, not damn pots. I mean. Oh, and, Lawless. Um, the other damn man. No, but he's at the, he's at, he's at the game. He's going to be at the game. I might text him. Let me text him, though. Let me see where he is. Yeah, text him. Text him. Say, yo, what are you saying? I think he's at the Broski, game. Broski, is this game normal? West Ham crucified. Oh my days. I'm shocked, man. I can't believe this. This is the stadium's a, empty. This is a battering. It's a battering. It's a battering. It's, this is a battering. It's Anfield. It's a battering. <laughs> this is a bro. This is insane. I can't lie. D man. Bro, how are Arsenal gonna make me actually give them real, real flowers today? Real like real I'm gonna have to go to the shop. I'm gonna have to go to the shop. I might actually have to go to the shop. And get the bro. Do you know what? If I bro, I don't. At bro. Oh my god. Oh bro. This this is this is too much. I can't do this. It's too much. It's too much. Yo. It's too much. They've shown no mercy. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? David Boy's out, man. Get him gone. Absolute dinosaur of a manager. Stadium's empty. And our rice is unbelievable, man. I'll be with you. They're all leaving. Kudos has been non existent. They're missing in Paqueta, man. No Paqueta, no. Look at that. Look at the football here. Matisse is gone. Where's he gone? I just went to get them their flowers, bro. Where's he gone? 
Oh, you went to the flowers? Yeah, I just went to get them their flowers. It's, this is not football anymore, bro. This is not where, football. Where, where? It's not, bro, but bro, bro, this is not football anymore. It's not football. It's not football, man. I can't lie to you guys. Football. It's I not football, bro, man. Bro, this is, this their, is, this their is flowers can't even fit, bro. Bro, their flowers can't man, fit. Oh, imagine their flowers, you know. I'm just watching your stream right now. Bro, I can't fit their flowers, the flowers in on... Bro, bro I can't. The, the flowers are too big. You might have to just hold it. Just hold it for a bit. I'm going to have to hold the flowers. Hey, bro, the flowers are too big. Oh, my God. West Ham fans have left the stadium. Oh, my... Bro, they're, bro, they're firing them. Oh, my God. Remember that, remember that road that we went to? I just remember gave that road David, that we was bro, going walking I just gave David Boyd, he's one of the most disrespected people on, on Sky Sports, and this is how he's doing me. <laughs> <laughs> he's losing 4-0 in 45 minutes. Man is going home, bro. I, nah, no. that's crazy, man, guys. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go home, too. I'm going to go I'm home, too. Dude. And I'm home. Saeed, we go should home, just end man. these streams, you know? I don't know. My, my stream is linked to my second stream, so that's why, I'm, that's why we're here, man. Oh, shit. I can't lie, man. I Fuck. thought, yo... Let me something. I thought, God yo, damn. Look what I was thinking. If West Ham get the first goal, God it damn. might be a good game. Bro, these flowers are dying Absolutely. as well, bro. Hopefully. Nah, respect, yo. Respect today, Arsenal. But these flowers, flowers are needed. Yeah, but... You man have absolutely demolished them. But the flowers are dying, oh, though. Listen, Hopefully, the, you know, Saeed, I purposefully flower, I, I, I purpose, purposefully got flowers that are kind of at the end of their life. Because they're not going to win the title, though. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, you're not. Yeah, you're not going to win the title. I'm gonna give you your flowers, but they, <laughs> but they, but they are still, they are still dying. They are still dying. Oh my days. Yeah. Nah, respect, well, man. I'll update the score. And he said, Nah, nah. Listen, listen. Relax, relax, relax. The AC. <laughs> now you're mocking it. Now you're mocking it. Now you're mocking it. Man said, sing forever Arsenal. You know, you might sing <laughs> forever Arsenal. See, because you're moving like an that Arsenal fan. They, bro. They, bro, they think you're one of them. You're out here. You're out here wishing them well for the uh, title just, and all this I'm foolishness. Shocked, man. I'm shocked, bro. I'm just shocked. Fucking hell, bro. These flowers are heavy as well, bro. 4-0. They're heavy, bro. The title race is going to be sensational. Shit. Shit, bro. First time I've got 0 0.01 XG. Oh, my days. <laughs> bro, is and that is it. Zero, Half time is over. 0 0.01. Is that what you just said? Oh my days. Swear they've not they've yeah. not had bro, they've not tested Raya. They've not tested Raya once. I swear they've not tested him once. Not once. Oh, I, not a shot. My god, guys. Not they a are getting shot. destroyed. <laughs> not a shot. Hey. <laughs> not a shot. Zechariah's got two assists. <laughs> Zechariah's got two assists. Rice shark hunting big oh, Steve. Oh, not a shot. The, the shark, the shark hunting, yeah. Oh, oh no, calling out, big, they're calling out, big, they're calling out, big Steve, the treble winner. You see what's happening? See, big Steve, come outside. Come outside. They're telling him to come outside. Whoa, you see what I'm talking about? Aye. Lawless is so, not. So, so where did it? So I think for me, the second goal killed the game off. Oh. So when the second goal came in. West Ham lost their heads. Oh. Then the Gabriel came with goal, and then that Trossard goal was sensational. <sighs> SC, bro, sensational. Oh dear, oh dear. Sharks are sharking. The sharks, ah, the sharks. Be Boy, sharking. You know what it is, yeah. <laughs> you you can have players out here, but there's no way you go five at the back. Then you play about four man in midfield. Oh. Then you have Kudos and whatever up front. Like, no, no. You don't do that. I don't know what to Away say. Away from home, yeah. Away from home, you can afford to do that. But at home, you have to have a duty for the fans. There's 60,000 people there <laughs> watching your football. Come on, man. Oh. Do better. Bro, check out my stream. I can't lie. These flowers be lined up nicely. <laughs> Yeah, I, I see that. I see that right now. I put them down. I see that. The flowers They're too there. heavy, man. They're too heavy to carry. Oh, uh, Lawless is at the game. I just, I just texted hey. him. He's at the game. I told bro, him, just leave. I'm telling you now. Just leave, bro. Just, bro, see, see if he's about. No, nah, he's about on the phone. No, nah, because the connection is going to be dead. Connection is going to be dead. He needs to leave the ground. That stadium's going to be dead. They got good connection. They, have they got a good connection? Yeah, but you know what it's like yeah, going to you know what it's like going to games at half time. You're gonna have oh you fucking twats, you shit shit bastards, your games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. 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 Come
can't believe that. Yeah, can't yeah, believe yeah, that's you, a penalty. What's going on here? You fucking bug. No, I'm not doing all that. Hey. <laughs> Probably going to drop a couple. Hey. Bro, they're going to be dropping C words in the half time, bro. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to get demonetized. C words, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> it's a madness. Did Greenwood get another assist again? It's a battering. Right. It's battering. Another assist for Greenwood. It's Arsenal. It's Yo, battering. man, what has happened to Antonio? Antonio's man is he's on Sky Sports now. Antonio, Lord. man. Man's on Sky Sports, but he's not even playing for West Ham anymore. <laughs> what is he doing? A pod- man, oh, man, bro, I want to see Antonio do the podcast after this, yeah, he's, bro. He's now joining. Man, no he's, he's doing he's the. Joined through, he's man. doing the podcast, bro. With, with yeah, he's gonna be talking on this. Commentary's gonna be mad. Okay. bro. Are you? Damn. Is he injured? Well, talk, he's, is he injured at the moment? Is that what it is? Bro, if bro, I don't even have. Yeah, the, he's injured. I don't I even have the yet. bubble Arsenal machine. Scored. Arsenal scored on the 32nd minute. Yeah. They then scored. Let me just go look at their goals. Their goals. They all came in the last 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They scored 30, 32, 41, 44, and 47. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's got three goals in less than what? Five minutes? Five minutes? Five minutes, it's got three you in go a row. go through these super chats. Less than Speak. five minutes. Um... Yeah, Zena's Arteta out baffles the mind. Who's who's this? Who's this? Who's Z E I N is Arteta out? Who's that? I'm not sure. Well, Zayn Miasi. That's the, that's the one I'm talking about. Zayn Miasi. Oh right, right, right. Suffering Sunday says Lee Sims Slims. Yes, yeah, bro. I thought it was a sacrificial Sunday. It's a suffering Sunday. I might have to change the art. You know what? Yeah, I'm a, ch- I'm a change Sunday, it. Bro. I'm a change it. It's a suffering Sunday. Suffering Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm a change it. If I've got flowers here, then I've got to change it. Pain, pain. I got oh, my it. Days, oh my god! Oh my god! I got to man. change it, bro. Suffering Sunday. That's that's the West one. Ham baby food. That's the bars. West Ham baby Listen, food. West Ham was still what? <laughs> West. They say West Ham or baby food. West Ham. That is mad. They're still eighth in the league. They're still eighth in the league. Yeah, they're still like, they're still you know, nice. You know, oh. yeah, it's still a nice position. It's still, but they're still there. But it's a the last couple of games have been awful, man. It's Arsenal. It's a battering. Yeah, this this is not good. Oh, someone said, are Arsenal good or are West Ham rubbish? I think Ars- a bit of Arsenal, both, Arsenal, Arsenal are good, man. Arsenal, Arsenal are good. Arsenal are good. I'm just going to just give them their friend. Yeah, they could, they I've got the flowers just, here for a reason. The I've got the flowers here for a reason, man. Arsenal, Arsenal are just good today. I can't lie. People need to just give Wait, people their praise, or, man. Um, West Ham away. We just said it before the game. It's a London derby. It's West Ham away. It's not meant to be an easy trip. And, and and Arsenal have beaten them at their own game. Two goals from two set pieces, and then the other two goals. Nah, it's mad. It's mad. It's mad, bro. The, 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 this game aside, up, run up the goal difference. Yeah, I don't know what the goal difference is right now. <sighs> but I said, but he's put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> like, Arsenal goal difference right now are twenty nine. Oh, you know what? I reckon Arsenal could get a couple of more goals. You know, if this was Man City, Man City would have scored at least. Three more in the second half, or three four, and go for the go for the seven nil or something like that, you know. So don't stop now, don't stop now. But the thing is, do you know why I'm the giving three, do you know why I'm giving Arsenal credit. their credit, right? Do you know why you got to give Arsenal their credit? At no point have West Ham had any control in this game. At no point have Arsenal have been under any pressure. It might have taken them a bit of time to find their way yeah. through and to just, but that's just patience. That's just them being patient, right? But, patience, but yeah, there's patience. no there's no point in this game yep. where Arsenal have not been dominating. So there's no there's no conversation. They've just they've just walked them. They've no absolutely destroyed them. Bro. They finished them yeah. up. They, they've just they've just mashed Simple. them up, bro. Mashed them up. This Mash is up. this is mad. It's up. And West Ham are a good team in a good position at the up. table. It's, up, it's not like they're doing it to like you know Burnley or something. So and they're away from home, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't I don't want to give flowers, but bro, flowers must be given. It's mad. It's mad. Big up for the super chat. Um, Yo, man. Red, uh, he's saying, <laughs> the super chat saying no one cares because the league is cities. It better, it better be. It better be. You know what I mean? <laughs> it better be. It better be. Um, Sunset saying you and Saeed. Said the oh, he's calling you Craid. He said you and Craid need to keep the energy up when like it's at nil nil. Let me hear those hopium tones. <laughs> Come on, you gunners. The rest of this hate people, along man. is long for you, man. <laughs> I told people. 
Yo, I told people though, man. Sunset. I don't mind Arsenal not win the league. Yo, sun, sunset is setting the scene. Okay, I see you, sunset. I'll see. <laughs> sunset, bro. You here, man? Oh fuck! Also missing Jesus, Tommy, Zinni, Partey, and ESR. Fuck, bro. I'm here, man. We there, man. Fuck. Lawless can't leave uh, early because he's got to do fan cams. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, he's got to do fan cams. He's got to do fan cams, man. <laughs> uh, big up Manev, he says, after fun here, big up Matisse and Saeed. Really love you guys, but really think Chelsea have scouted Garnacho's son. What? Oh, oh, my, yeah, that's funny. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> that, what? <laughs> that's funny. What? He has a son? <laughs> I was thinking to myself, Garnacho's brother, but, but yeah, son. Well, yeah, he just yeah, came yeah, out yeah. of the, yeah, he just, yeah, he, just he just came into this world, so he, if anything, we're, yeah, man, we're, we're about, we're right on time, innit, with this scouting thing, yeah? Gotta be, gotta be there early, innit? Yeah, man. Yeah, long day. I, I hear that, I hear that, bro. I hear that. But brother, man, bro, I, I I don't even know how to analyze that game. There is no analyze. A, a, there is no analysis. Madness. There is no analyze. analyze eh? But now, you know okay, so now, yeah, now that you wanted yeah, Arsenal yeah. to win, do you understand the amount of chess that Turkish is going to come on, can't come in on a Monday with now? You see, you see what this is. No, come on, man, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I'm cool. No, cool, man. No, it don't phase me, man. No, I'm seeing Man City and Liverpool first and second, neck and neck. And Arsenal, why would why don't we want Arsenal to entertain the title race? I've explained why don't this. We want Arsenal to, <laughs> to stop, stop this unbelievable juggernauts in Man City and and, and, and and Liverpool. Why don't we like Man City going for four in a row? Slow suffering, you know? man. This has got to like, be. Let them go to the end and then lose it. it has 20. to be. You know, how, you know, you know how you know how mad Liverpool fans are going to be on the timeline and just in general. Like we don't want to see that. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Oh yeah, we're not on sixty-one minutes. Let them let them Sorry go right that. to the end and then lose it at the at, at, at most. That's as far as this can go. Oh, that's, that's, that's that. Listen, I think uh, to be honest with you, who's got the toughest fixtures towards the end of the season? Has anybody? Seen? I'm not even sure. I've not looked into this deeply. <sighs> all I know is that Man United. Um, all I know is that Man. Yeah. I mean, Arsenal have to go to to, to the Etihad. Right, they've played Liverpool twice now. Yeah, but they got to go to the Etihad. Yeah. That's a big game. Whatever, whenever that yeah. game is, Manchester City versus Arsenal at the Etihad. That's a big, 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 big game. game. I agree. I agree. Big game. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming Liverpool and City got to play each other at some point as well. Probably. Where? Yes. I don't know. Yes. Where have they played? Yes. Where they played the season? Where they played the season? Yeah. Pick up JJ Ash. Hold that Matisse. Tell it. Tell everyone in the chat. Hold that Matisse, man. Just have to firm it, bro. Just have to firm it, man. Your team is in the mud, and p- teams in London are doing better than you. That's all it is. Like I have to go through that issue. Yeah, but no, no, no. See, don't issue. mean you are not the same. See, this way, you, this way, you're lost. No, no, this way, you got Tottenham. lost. This way, you, this Tottenham is this is where if Dory the Explorer needed to give anybody a map, it's for you now. You are lost. You let me redirect you. Right, I'm gonna redirect you like YouTube. You have allowed them to do a treble on your own head top. Arsenal have done nothing. No trophies. No no treble. No Champions League. No Premier League. Until the Premier League and the brother, this year. until they if do they that, do the double. Oh my God! Yeah, Chelsea, you, you are the one that are, that is holding that. Finish. You are holding that. I'm holding results. You're holding. Chelsea you're finish. holding. You're holding history. <laughs> I'm holding results. You're holding history, Saeed. You're holding history. Well, if, Chelsea, if Arsenal win the double this year. If Arsenal win the Champions League and the Premier League, you are finished. Double you need my to go ass. Kenya. I went to Kenya. You need to go to Africa. You need to go fly <laughs> Kenya far is in Africa. <laughs> I'm just I'm saying to you. You need to go to Africa. I will. I'll go play with the Lions. I'll be out there. Let's go far I'll, go, away. I'll go Nigeria, Lagos. I'll go have all the jollof rice. I'll be over there pronto. I'll be in Johannesburg. I've been there anyway with, with, with the TV um, situation. Do you know what I mean? I'll go watch the Premier League games over in Je- um, Johannesburg and Cape Town. No problem. I'll be gone. I'll be gone. <laughs> I'll be gone. Safari <laughs> trips. I'll be out of here. Aye. No problem. If Arsenal win the league or the Champions League, no problem. I will. People think no problem. If, if, if Arsenal win Champions League or Premier League, people will think it's a skit. I will book a flight somewhere and I will leave and I'll vlog it. I'll be gone. Me, 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 ex- yeah. I, me, Tobes, me, Tobes, through ad expressions. Mean. We're gonna go on a holiday. We're gonna go somewhere. No problem. We're leaving, bro. <laughs> no problem. It is mad. I big up to Damien Malera. He says, big up Matisse and Cheese. He says, love from Los Angeles, my bros. Arsenal fan here. Second half, I don't want to show these lot no mercy. I'm going to go Madagascar. We want more. <laughs> Listen, go get it. 
Go get them goals, man. Go get it. Oh, uh, this is one of the go this is one of the worst watch logs. I swear, <laughs> it's just no need to be here in the second go half. Deep, man. <laughs> it's gonna watch Arsenal f- bloody. Oh, uh, where's the juju now? Respect Arsenal. Yeehaw. Come on, you gunners. Do you get this guy in your in your chats? Darwin, oh. Darwin, son of the ITK Drunk. Grizz Teto. <laughs> No, I don't get that he's, one. He's I mad. don't get that one. He's mad. Big up Matt and Big Gano. Cheesy. Oh, hey, listen, mad Gano combo. Really mad right now. <laughs> They're still calling you Big Cheesy, by the way. Respect, <laughs> AJ. Yeah, man. It ain't. It ain't easy. Yo. It ain't easy. I've been being cheesy. You, man. This is crazy, man. <laughs> you should use that as a slogan. It, it ain't. Is, it ain't cheesy. easy being cheesy. It ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, they used to think back in the day. You gotta use that, bro. Cheesy. <laughs> If you don't Jesus, use that, I swear. Can you make it easy? If you don't, if yeah, you don't, something anyway. If you do not use that. Yeah, I forgot the, forgot the beat. Oh, you, you got to use that, man. Watch the likes up. Yeah, man, get the likes up, people, man. Over 1K in here, man. I think over 1K in Matisse as well. Make sure you lot like the video on both channels, man. KDB going to teach oh, Arsenal at the Etihad. Yes, he will. That's the thing. KDB going to teach Arsenal. Going to teach Arsenal a lesson at the Etihad. Big up South Africa, man. Look at the stadium, bro. I need to find out what the stadium's saying again now, man. I think you know what, man. It's hard enough coming out when you when you're having a cup of tea and that, and you're you're chilling, yeah. Oh, Broski, the stadium must be empty right now. I I you must I... just get sidemen on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> you say you're, you're saying there was more people. The there was more people in there when Vic Star was kicking ball than when yeah. there's um when there's Kudus. Uh, Yo, Vic Star and them, man. <laughs> it's Oi, t- that is crazy. Yo, yo, look at Emerson. <laughs> Yo. Oh, dear. It is empty, bro. Empty. Yo, I feel I sorry. What I, they do. I feel I sorry for Lawless. Say. I don't know what. Yo, Lawless, yeah. But the thing is, though, do you feel so? Because the guy always gives it, though. He is one shameless brother, you know. I know. I used, to, I used to have guy, him on a weekly show. Give it, though. <laughs> I used to, I used to yeah, have him I on know. a weekly show. He's damn right shameless, that's for sure. <laughs> Second half's going to kick man. off. Oh, this is peak. Play Strasbourg. Can't wait to watch again. Bro, yeah. I mean, if you're talking about a career mode, that thing's up, oh, bro. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. He brought on uh, he brought on someone else on now. A lot of drama. Um, they brought on... Um, is it Phillips has come on? No. Mavropodos is it as well. Yeah, but well, they better because the way they're conceded on the set pieces, they better go to the three centre-backs. Yeah. I don't know why they ended up changing Mavro Why don't managers like, make, he was doing well why don't managers why make changes up... in the first half, bro? Why don't managers just hook players off in the first half? You're, you're getting dominated. It's two, yeah. At 2 0, he should have made change. He should have made change. Why is he waiting? Yeah, bro. Waiting for what? Uh, that's what I'm saying, zero, bro. Bro, 0. 0.01 what XG. I think it's pretty obvious that you're, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think it's pretty obvious you're in some, you're in you're trouble, in some trouble, bro. bro. Do something about that. I think it's Carvin Phillips as well. He he actually made it worse against United. He actually conceded. He ended up passing to someone, and we ended up scoring again for the third goal. So Carvin Phillips ain't even the guy to bring on as well. So I don't know, man. It's a sticky one. It's a sticky one. Stale. Get the timer up, guys. Oh, sticky one. Stale. I think that Tiang Yang says also fixtures towards the end of the season is long. The last ten games is much harder. Yeah, they play United. I think they play. Do they United. Not play Liverpool? They have to go to no. United. After the, no okay, let me ask you this question. They go somewhere anyway. If if Arsenal were playing Man United on the last day, and you, if if they beat you, they win the league. And if you take points off them, then Liverpool win. What are you doing? No, obviously, I always want us to win. So, okay, it, so we. It's just like one of them where we, if we go to get top four. You know, we 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 get top four. Then Arsenal. What, what is it? What hmm. situation then? What's your situation? Um. Your situation is you qualify for Europa League. Because I know you want Champions League. No, no, no. no. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I'm not bothered. Then, You're not bothered. I want Champions League. If it's Champions League, I want Champions League. But then, if it's Europa League, let them have the three points. Nah. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, Raw. You really don't want the Europa League What's like that? Man? It's still Liverpool. Yo. Listen, if Liverpool don't win the league, and ask me, yo, take that three points, man. <laughs> Get the three points. Have that, man. We don't want that. It ain't easy oh, tripping, being man. cheesy. Oh. <laughs> we will be there. Nigeria versus Ivory oh, Coast later days, on. Man. Seven o'clock. Oh, hate along. What's up? Four nil. Oh, man. 
Starboy Saka with the super chat. Oh my god. To be honest, if there's anybody that hey, in, that could probably have more influence in this game, it would probably be Saka, to be honest. Saka's the only one that's not maybe maybe cooking yet. Yeah, Saka, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Saka. Everybody it's else Saka. is cooking. Yeah. We must later on, yeah, man. He got his penalty. We must later on, bro. We must. He got his penalty, but you know we are watching. We must, bro. <laughs> we are. We are. We watching. must. If later on we don't must, we are finished. If we don't must. We didn't must. We are finished, man. If Chelsea beat we didn't Leeds, must, man. If Chelsea beat Leeds. The Chelsea versus Arsenal game is postponed, and Arsenal have 17 days off before they face City. Mmm, Clara Vitsi, a bit of rusty. What was that? A bit of rusty. What's that? Oh, yeah, Lee was saying that, innit? So, so say that again, say that again, then. So, so Clara Bitsy said, if Chelsea beat Leeds in the FA Cup, then the Chelsea versus Arsenal game is postponed. Yeah. And that means Arsenal have, um, I think, what was it, two weeks, she said, off? Before they play City. Oh. Oh, shit. So when do you play Leeds, by the way? Uh, I'm not sure about the date, but uh, I'm sure it'll be soon. Maybe after the Champions League. Okay. Probably after the Champions League sorted. After the Champions League sorted. Okay, okay. Maybe maybe a midweek. Okay. We should okay. we should be, we should be beating Leeds, to be honest. I think we're at home. Yeah, you should be beating Leeds, man. Should be beating Leeds. <sighs> wow. Should be. Wow. Should be, man. Should be. <laughs> this is crazy. And the second half be any more oh, of Arsenal. Do you know what? I yeah, think will stay up. I think they'll stay up. Please. Do you know what? I'd rather Arsenal keep scoring and keep like entertaining than do something which is mad, which is just close the game out and just keep passing it around for the sake of it. Have us try yeah, to, try I know, to I know, I know. Range. Yeah, I know what you mean like you know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you on that one. I'm agreeing with you on that one. I can't lie. If you're gonna, if you're gonna lose West Ham, you may as well get battered in it. You may as well get absolutely battered. No one's yeah, gonna. No one's gonna. No one's gonna get a correct like, score because I don't think anybody predicted Arsenal score four goals today. No correct. No, no correct scores. Did, did, you know what? Did, did, uh, did Chris? Did, nah, he didn't. I think, um, not four. Turkish might pick four. Nah, one, you know, no, got it here. No, no way. Not four. Not four. Not four goals. That's just too many goals. That's just too many yeah. goals. Let me check. Let me just see here. It's, it's a battering. It's Arsenal. Let me see. Yeah, no. Nah. It's too many goals, isn't it? He went with 3 1. Yeah. Too many goals. Yeah, yeah. Four goals is a lot of goals, bro. Goals. It's a lot of goals. He probably went three, didn't he? Was he predicted four? Yeah, he went three. Oh. Grizz, no, Grizz said 2 0. He went three. Grizz said 2 0. Everybody said, know, everybody yeah. said twos and threes. No one said four. No one said no. So no one's getting correct score. But I think everybody Someone's did. did everybody say Arsenal win? Yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone said Arsenal win. Yeah, yeah, everyone said Arsenal win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorted it done. Oh, who's that guy's on the DR spots? He's he coming on DR. He has to come on DR spots, yo. Who? Who? Who's that guy? 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 He must. Long day. Thing is, yeah, oh. West Ham could easily go get Graham Potter, man, and play better football with his team. Because they've got a lot of good technical players in the team. Mm. It's just that they just don't have... Kudus. You know? Ooh. Oh, the guard. Oh, dead shot. Alex. Dead shot. Yeah, man. Mm. Here's what Havertz. can they do, guys? What can they do? Let's go more. Yeah, man. Go for another one. <sighs> why can't there be another? Like why Cal can't there be another game on? Why can't? Why can't? Like yesterday, we had multiple games on at once. Why? Why is this the only game on right now? Why, where's, know, where's, know. where's Inter Milan know, versus Roma? <laughs> where's Inter Milan versus Roma, fam? Yeah, there's not. There's not, man. What's going it's, on? It's one of them where it's... Now, it's this is torturous. Now we just got to sit here and watch Arsenal just win like this. It's torture. No, no. And Lawless in the mud, AMT says. What's Spain saying? Germany? I need that Martinelli dagger. Stuttgart versus Mainz. You feel, oh. you feeling that, Saeed? Stuttgart versus who? Mainz. No, 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 no. no. 
fair, Stuttgart are, are not towards the top of the league. They're doing well this season, to be fair, Stuttgart. Oh, dear. Finished. Arsenal are playing, but they're playing later tonight, though, I think. Oh. You might have to watch this dub. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm cool with it. It's this guy here. It's his... Toulouse versus Nates. Yeah, cool. <laughs> nah, man. PSG, when are they playing nowadays? I've not seen PSG play for a while. Rapid Vienna winning 2 0 in Austria. Big stuff. Wow. Wow. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hold that. One oh, Napoli yes, yeah, was yesterday. No, Roma Inter was yesterday, bro. Roma Inter. PSG won yesterday. Rah. When did P- you know that's crazy? No one though. talks about PSG. How is PSG not spoken about? No one. Nah, it's crazy, though. I, that's mad. They played Lille yesterday. That's a good game as well, you know? Yeah, they're, t- they're top of the French League, 11 points. Not really much to say. No title race there. It's done. What the heck is that league? <laughs> and people have the audacity to say that league is good. I've always said it. It's an absolute bomb league. Hey, listen. Career mode's good, looking good, though. Strasbourg. You know what I mean? You should come to Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean. St. Etienne. Monaco. Lille. Lyon. Good teams. Hey. Strong, strong teams. Good teams. Got to come. What time did they play, by the way? Was it yesterday? I'm joining. Kylian Mbappé didn't even start. Did he start, Kylian? No, Kylian Mbappé didn't even start. <sighs> Kylian Mbappé was on the bench. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's... It's mad. Uber Eats League. <laughs> the only thing about him is this. <laughs> yeah, 8 p.m. Was it 8 p.m.? Yeah. But there was, to be fair, there were some great games. There were some great games on yesterday. Yeah. There were some great games on yesterday. Ain't anybody watching that? Yeah, much better games on than that. Who was there when Arsenal drew to Newcastle? Shout out to Tiote, man. You know what I'm saying to you, but what that game when Arsenal were falling up against West Ham and they drew four four. That's a Premier League classic. Obviously, it's not gonna happen now, but I'm just saying, like four nil down, and then Newcastle came back to four four. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That I sent James. Yeah, that sent James's. That was a great game. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was a that was yeah, a that was a Premier League a great game, Premier League yeah. heritage right there. Classic, classic game. Premier League heritage, man. Saka. I was there. Saka. You were there. Ooh. Wow, big up to Jordan's team for life. You were there, yeah. Okay, <sighs> bro. Yesterday uh... was lit, man. Nah, yesterday was lit, bro. That I that game on Real Madrid game then look oh man what a day that was a sensational football that day, bro. Arsenal gonna but Arsenal gonna have the handbrake on now because they're gonna just be chilling because like they got they got the rest of the season to think about and West Ham they don't have to know they West yeah and anything, West Ham like. have given up because yeah. they know that they can't get back in this game so it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a second half of just two teams keeping a bit of the ball back and forth and waiting for the clock to run down. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, basically, yeah. Because Arsenal, West Ham Arsenal players more embarrassment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. More injuries. Bro, he brought an yeah, extra exactly. centre back. He's not trying yeah, to come back from this. He brought an extra centre back. They're not trying to come back from this. What is Havertz doing? Yeah. Oh, well, no. They just took one centre back off. Did they put one more extra centre back on? Wait, who come off? Who come off? Was it? Wouldn't they didn't take a Guerd or Zuma off? Did they? Wait, did they? Oh, Zuma come off. I think they took. Who did they take off? Yeah, Zuma came oh, off. Zuma right, came right, off. Right. Yeah, to be fair, he did. Okay. But, um, yeah, goal difference is major. Yeah, true. But that's where Man City are different. I think Man City go and win, go and get more. But, I, you know, Arsenal, different with their injuries, isn't it? Now, if you want to win a title, just focus on winning it on points, man. Goal difference is just... A menace. This is peak. It's a vanity, yeah? I look at Toby, man. Toby's getting out. Oh, listen, Toby's funny. What's he saying? I took a picture of the West Ham fans leaving the stadium. He, he put a tweet up of West Ham fans leaving the stadium. Yeah, man. He's... Man had to, you know what they did? They need to stop them like Wembley. They had to stop them like Wembley and hold them. Oh, my God. At his peak. Yeah. He said, um, he said, um, it's, it's a win regardless for him, isn't it? He hates West Ham and he hates Arsenal. <laughs> Then it's kind of ironic though, because he left the Arsenal, didn't he, at half time, didn't he? But it was 3 0 down. So it's a bit ironic, mate. It's a bit ironic, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 100% City would go for another couple. Oh, obviously. Different situations. Different situations.
Fucking hell, bro. <sighs> Saka. Uh, oh, oh, it was, oh it was almost five. Oh, that's a good save. It was almost that's five. That's a good save, that, you know. How we looking proper contenders? Now, listen, you're in there, man. You're in the mix. Just stay there, yeah? Stay in the mix. That's all you got to do. <laughs> I'm just looking at Man City's fixtures. Let me just check Man City's fixtures. So Man City, I've got Chelsea, Brentford, then Bournemouth, then Luton, also then Man United, then Liverpool on the 10th of March. Oh, that's, good, that's Brighton, a good save. Arsenal and Villa. Oh, I see you got some tricky fixtures, you know. Let me check Arsenal's fixtures. Arsenal have got Burnley, Havertz, Newcastle, and they've got Sheffield United, Brentford, Chelsea, Trussard, then Man City. Havertz. Oh my God. Havertz. Oh my God. These, oh. these men are trying to rip them. Luton, oh my God. Brighton, oh my God. Villa, Wolves. Wait. Oh my days. And then let's check Liverpool as well. Oh my days! No, they just, they just, no, no, no. Saeed just can't run. They're taking the piss out of him. They're taking the, no, they're taking the piss. They're taking the piss, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh my days! Liverpool have got Brentford away. Oh my god! They've got Luton Town at home. They've got um, (laughs) Shell. I say they got FA Cup, FA Cup Cup final. Southampton. They got Nottingham Forest. Yeah, they got some dead games. Liverpool. Are you sorting these fixtures out for Liverpool? I can't lie to you. <laughs> they got to come in the favour of fixtures. Oh, to be fair, April's tough. April's tough. Yeah, April's tough. So we'll see. People say Amrabat starts. What? Amrabat starts. What? Swear down. Let me check that. What is going on? Put the leaks out. Please put the links out already. I don't see no Eric. I'm about starting. What is going on? I think it'll be the unchanged team. I think it'll be an unchanged team, people. I think it'll be an unchanged team from the game that played. Uh, I don't think he's starting. Uh, not a joking, man. Anyway. This is this is this is peak. So peak. peak, so Why peak, peak bro? bro. Because this 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 second half is just going to be this this second half is just going to be an absolute walk. There is out. Second half is going to be a what? walk. Yeah. This is going to be a training ground right now. They're taking the piss out of them. Bro. Torres and Tillman out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. This is, this is what you do, man. It's what you do, I'm man. So, I'm, I'm, I'm like, so... You know what I mean? like, you know like... No, I'm so disappointed in West Ham. So disappointed. You're at home. Nah, London. If you watch them, no, bro, you watch them. They were poor. And, this bro, but yeah, you know, but... Yeah. First half were good. But were they at your place? Yeah, to be fair, you know, saying, to be bro, fair, you're at, at home as well. They're That's at why home I said, in a London can't derby, do this at home. Can't do this at home, bro. Uh, you can lose, but in a London derby, four 0 down at half time. Like, what is this, man? It's a London derby at it's home. The manner, it's the manner, it's the manner, it's the manner of the victory as well. And it's not like got, it's, got to, it's not like to. they're a, it's yeah, not like they're a Brighton where like stylistically they're they're they're, oh, they're gonna. Stop it, Amrabat starts. Oh, oh shit. really? Next to, next Amrabat next to, next to Casemiro, Kobe Minor oh. has dropped. It's the minor. I think I think Casemiro's out for the game. Oh. But then he put something on Twitter today saying he's he's ready. He's not ready anymore. Oh my days! I have to change the lineup, guys. <laughs> I have to change the lineup, man. I had the lineup ready. Yeah. Amrabat was on the bench. You bro. thought you were slick, bro. <laughs> oh my. Days. You thought you were we slick, bro. Little. You thought you were slick. Hey. You thought you were slick with them lineups being ready, bro. I thought I was slick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought, yo, I don't want to mess. You thought you were, up. you thought you were ready, bro. Early. You thought you were oh, ready. Look at the football. If this is a goal, oh Saka. my day. Oh shit. If, if this is a goal, this... team goal. This is. Nah. If oh shit. Score from this one. Oh shit. Where are they going with this? 
Where? How many passes is this? Um, bro, where do they think they're going with this? Oh, my days. What, Where are you going, man? Oh, my. What is going on here, bro? Oh, shit. No, oh, shit. Oh, no, this, oh. <laughs> keeper. oh shit. Hey, the keeper. Is yeah. it. No, bro. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. my God. Oh wow. my god. Oh Keep my game. god. Ariola gave up. Oh my god. Ariola gave up. Oh he didn't my even dive. Oh that yeah, because it's too he close. He didn't even dive. It's too close, bro. Yeah. Oh my days. Oh my days. Arsenal. Look at the way. Oh my Arsenal. Oh easy. No. Easy. Oh nah, haram, haram. Oh. What's haram? What's haram, Arsenal. bro? This could be seven or eight. Arsenal. Wow. As Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! Shit. Oh shit! Nah, for real. Oh, nah, this is crazy. Saka today's statement. Oh. This is a statement win. Whether you like it or not, this is crazy. Oh. They're not messing around, man. Oh, yeah, nah, maybe, maybe I bet. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh shit. That bro, we were watching that whole team, oh, that whole team face. move, thinking, yeah, if this is a team goal, it's mad, and it just never ended. And then, oh, bro, what I say about Odegaard? Odegaard's the glue today. Odegaard is the glue today. Man in a match. I'm saying it now. Man in a match. I'm sorry. This guy today has been ridiculous. Or you maybe might give it to Declan Rice on the set piece taken. Declan Rice, or maybe, or maybe Odegaard. But bro, Odegaard today. Odegaard today, man. Old. Odegaard today, man. My it's days. Like a soon. Oh, oh my God, Saka in my fantasy. Oh, yeah, Saka's he's on my a hat captain, trick. My fantasy. He is on a hat trick. Won oh, a... Hey, guys. <sighs> Won a penalty, took it, scored Saka's now. Saka's my captain. Bomba. Bomba. Oh, hey, Look at this, guys. I don't know why I've got Salah in my team, but oh. it's just because it's... I got 72 points. Oh. We might be back in the You're SPL. finished. No, you don't pick your team often enough. You're finished. <laughs> I've heard you say enough time this you, season you don't pick your team no more. Don't try to come back. <laughs> oh, they're in, they're in. Don't go anywhere. They're in here, they're in. Bro, do you get these do you get these emails, bro? No, I'm leaving. No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No, 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 done. Oh no, 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 God, done, guys. done, 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 finished, no, finished, finished, Saeed, finished, finished, yo, Saeed, today. lock off the thing. Saeed, lock off the watch along, lock off the watch along, nah, it's done, lock off the watch along, nah, that's done, wow, nah, lock wow, it off. wow, nah, lock it off, nah, oh, lock it off, God. nah, lock it off, nah, lock it off, lock off the watch along, no, Oh, no, no, no! You can't be doing that. It's disrespectful. You're the captain. You're the captain of West Ham. No, to, you're, no, to. you're captain of the, you. You. He was the bro. He was the captain of West Ham. There's no need for that. There's no need for that strike, bro. You're the. You was the captain of West Ham. What are you doing, bro? Oh, why, 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 why? What's with the it's venom? Crazy, and what's man. with the venom in the shot? What's with, what's with that? What's with oh, that? You have to applaud it. Did you see the celebration? You the flowers, man. Did you see the celebration? Crazy. So it wasn't it's a finish oh, and a half. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my God. Man said, if you haven't left the stadium, man, man, right. said, man said, evacuate the premises. Evacuate the premises. The, bro, and he's being subbed off. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is what. Nah, no, real talk, man. I can't lie. <laughs> Arsenal are scary, man. In no, here bro. right now. No, this is mad. Oi. What are you doing, Matisse? This is your team. Laugh, Yo, London is, is taking wild. over London, man. <laughs> this is crazy. This is mad. You can't be doing this. You are crazy. Oh, my, oh my God, God, guys. Wow. Six, Six nil. Rice, man. 
David Moyes. No, he he scored that. David and then, nah, bro. No, I rarely give a pass. Listen, I rarely bro. give a standing ovation. Bro, oh, Saka's out now. He's gonna get hat tricks. He's gonna get hat tricks, nah. Saka. Bro, I rarely give a standing ovation. I rarely give a standing ovation, man. Arsenal today. Breaking news: My United team is out. Oh. Oh, so yeah, Amrabat is not in the team then. Why are people lying for? Whoever said he's in the team, you are lying. He's not in the team. Yeah, he's not in the team. This guy's lying, man. Have a lie there. Shame on you, man. Shame on you. Shame on you, man. Shame on you. Shame on you. Casemiro is playing. Same team, people. Um, Pambala is not on the bench. Amrabat is on the bench. Uh, Evans, Lindelof. Yep, Ericsson. Yep, cool. There we go. Ah, man. Uh, Yo, Matisse, are you alive? <laughs> Matisse, brother, are you there? Brother, what, bro, what is this, man? Brother, wake up, man, wake up. Bro. This is it, man. Bro. Arsenal's taking over the city, man. Bro, 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 bro. bro. Arsenal's taking over the city. <sighs> I don't know what to You're say. Finished. I don't know what to say, bro. You're finished. That's what you need to say. I don't know what to say. You're finished. I don't know what to say. You're finished. I can't believe this. This could be more. They need to get more. There should be more. Bro, guys. that that rice that for. that rice thing, yeah. That rice thing was hella disrespectful because he's he's licked it top bins. Ah, oh, that's crazy. He's he's licked it top bins, yeah. And then he said, Aye. and then he said this. I'm going now. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, then he said that. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, yeah, he said that. He said that. He said that. No, no, that's just outrageous. That's too disrespectful. I'm afraid. Outrageous, bro. You can't do that. You can't be doing that. I'm afraid. It's too outrageous, that's, my guy. That's, that's that's not on. It's outrageous. That's that's not on. You can't do you, you can't do that, bro. You can't do that, lads. It's a mad thing, bro. You can't you can't do that, bro. Hella disrespectful. Hella eight. disrespectful. They want eight, man. That is, that is, that they is. <sighs> Martin Ellie can't still get in the gosh. What's going on, man? Martin Ellie, man? Do something. Come on, man. If they score again, I'm locking the thing off. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. Se- Anna, you can't lock it. Bro, off, seven man. nil. Do you know how mad that is? <laughs> Bro, have you ever won 7 0? Yeah, to be fair, you've won 8 0. Bro, you've won 8 0 against Villa. If they score again, I'm playing the outro. Dead ass. I'm playing the outro. It's got, it just cannot run. Relax, man. Relax. <laughs> Relax yourself, man. Yeah. Yo. Watch, watch the team in London, the pride of London. This is the pride of London, man. If you don't shut up. <laughs> oh, the pride of London right here, man. If you don't it's shut away. up. Away, have you ever won, away. Huh? Have you ever won by seven goals away? Um, Have seven goals away. Six, seven when goals when away. we won the title under Ancelotti, we were smoking teams, but I don't think we won seven nil away. To be honest, I can't remember that. Nah, yeah, nah. Seven nil away is a bit mad. We done a few sevens we, and we we, we, we we done a few six sevens and eights at home. I think, but I don't think away. I can't remember an away one. We won um, nine nil against Ipswich back in. I think it was ninety five, was it or ninety? I don't know where it was, but it's definitely the nineties. Oh shit. Oh, El Nenny, that would have been a madness if he scored now. My uh, brother, I'm in pain. Yo, where's that? Uh, where's that West Ham fan? I forgot his name, man. He's always on his channel, man. Oh, oh people, who remember that? Oh, this is nasty. We want more. From Australia. They got my guy from Australia, West Ham fan, man. This is this is not nice. Carlos Longley, Moreno, Camaro. Oh, they got the same team. Ramsey's in the team today, though. This is not. This is, this is not nice. Instead of someone else. Yeah. Wow. No, not lawless. No, not lawless. Yo, man, it's crazy, man. I don't know what's going on here. 
Sucked in, in the morning. Yeah, yeah, the mod Lucas. Yeah, Lucas. Yeah, Lucas. Big up Lucas. This is wild. Yeah, yeah the mod Lucas. This is wild. Right, I did not sign up for this, today. Yeah, this is wild. I did not sign up for this today. I'm saying we won the seven United fans, you know. Yo, that, can, that might give me PTSD, I can't lie. I did not. Yeah, that was it. 8-1. Eight, one. Yeah, 8-1. Eight, one, I did not sign up for this, people. I did not sign up for this, people. That's the City as well. Yeah, they beat 9-0. We beat Southampton as well, though, didn't we? We beat Southampton 9-0, didn't we? Who you? I think so. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Southampton were getting smoked by a lot of teams back then. That was um who was in charge that German manager. Yeah, yeah, Hassan Hutel. Yeah, yeah, it was peak. Getting paid absolutely destroyed. Yeah, that was that was long. That was long. Yeah. This is mad. Long thing. I don't think they're done. That's the thing. I think they're gonna Help get a, I think they're gonna get another goal. Yeah. yeah. I think they're gonna get another goal. You got Matisse. And chat, man, you must, yo, bro, we must. When you must, you we must. must. <laughs> when Arsenal musted, they did yeah. must. <laughs> they did must. We heard you, they Arsenal. Did it a lot all right, more Arsenal. Did. All right, no, we, we heard you, bro. Yeah, we see, we see what you're, we see what you said. We see what you said today. <laughs> we heard you loud and clear, brothers. <laughs> heard you loud and clear, man. Oh, they're still having shots, you know. In Ketia now, looking for a goal. Oh, and Ketia's got a score, man. Bro, these West, you know these West Ham. Ketia's got a score, man. You know these West Ham players just want to just have the ground swallow them up. They don't want to be out there anymore. Want to go home? There's a, there's there's losing they six nil away, them. and there's losing six nil at home. It's different. It's different. It's different, man. Bro, fair play to the loyal fans at stadium because, I that is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I would have left by now. I right, someone said I sorted about Saturday social outfit. Man, like, I'm is that, that you, yeah? Is that you, bro? Outfit. Yeah, it was you and Zara, yeah, when I went in there. Love, uh, yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> come on, tiny shook. Now, I'm calm, me man. I'm listen, I'm enjoying myself right now. I can't lie, I'm just chilling right now. I'll be honest with you, I'm just chilling, man. You know, what I'm saying later on, we'll, we'll discuss whoever they're singing sacked in the morning, yeah, man. That's that song there, yeah, is one of them songs where everyone can hear it. The owners can hear it. The, the guy in the dugout can hear it. Like, everyone can hear that, man. It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. This is long. This is just a long day. Uh, kudos today, though. Listen, kudos today, though, Matisse. What are we saying about kudos today? Ah, uh, we haven't said a thing. <laughs> there is no oh, West... He was, he was quiet. There, there was, there's, yeah. there's no West Ham player today that deserves any mention or any praise. Not one, Eddie. not one. I'm sorry, not one. There is no, there is no not one, there is bro. no analyzing like, anybody's generally. performance for West Ham today. They've just been just oh, no, they've been no, atrocious. No, absolutely atrocious today. Everybody, absolutely atrocious, bro. We're non existent, man. That's the, that's the thing about them, absolutely non existent. I hope Man United don't don't try to do this later. Yeah, man. I bet Man United better not try to do this later, you know, because this is not it. Do what later? You try to do this this battering thing. Yeah. You lot better behave yourselves. Oh, listen, man. When it's when it's when it's two 0 yeah, we're, we're always you know there's never a case where you United, United are not it. You're not gonna get the goal. Like we're just we're just always giving a goal away and something like that. So yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. <sighs> uh. Oh my days, man. We need seven. Oh, no one here is on. Is it no one here coming on? Ah, oh, see. Finally, bringing him on for the for the Arsenal fans to kind of get excited about, yeah. You find one here, yeah. And who's the other one? Is that Cedric? Wow, that's when you know they're chilling. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're chilling, man. They're chilling. They've been chilling. They were chilling on. since half time. They didn't even want to come back out. They were chilling since half time. Yeah, real talk. When that third goal goes in, it's done. Yeah, it's over. When that fourth goes in, it's time for you to start packing your bags, West Ham. It's done. Finished. Because remember, Arsenal's, wow. de Arsenal's defence is, is good this season. Arsenal's defence is good. You know what I'm saying? So when they're... Once they've started moving like last season's attack and they've got this season's defence, it's over. Yep. It's done. Finished. Finished. Yep. But like Cedric, you know... 
Rice laughing on the bench. Broski, he's laughing because he's like, yo, man left. Man left at the right time, bro, man. Why are they still there? It's like, yo. These are some loyal fans. Why are they still sitting there for? Left at the right time. Like, what? what I'm, I'm expecting to see more empty seats than I'm seeing. I'm not seeing that many. It, like, it should be more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the ones that left, left at half time. Because, because the thing is with West Ham, their seats are very clear. It's white seats. Aye. It's meant to Aye, be more seats. Happy. Martin Lely is not happy. Martin Lely is not happy at all. He's pissed. He's pissed. You know what? Do you know what, bro? I'd love to hear these conversations because you know these players right now are on this bench talking about how easy that game was. They're like, they're they're talking about, they're talking about, yo, how could they set up like this? How could they have these players in these positions with us moving like this, bro? I would love to hear a player's conversation on that bench after they've just come off because the team is absolutely cooking the opposition because you just know, bro, they're, they're, you know, they're cooking the opposition players. They're cooking them. Don't, all this professionalism yep. interview thing, oh, respecting my peers. You know they're cooking some of these West Ham players on that Arsenal bench. They're like, yo, this guy's a scrub. This oh. guy was dead. Da, da, da. Bro, they're cooking them. Bro, cooking them. This is football, so, you know. So, so what position is he? Is he a winger? Is he a midfielder, guys? Is he attacking midfielder? Is he an eight? Is he a six? What is he, guys? Let me know in the chat. Because we've only seen him once. Where does he play, guys? If I know where he... Cooking. Is that him there now? Cooking. Yeah. They're cooking them West Ham right players. Wing. Oh, here he is now. Yeah, he's on the right. Yeah, here he is. Oh, the God. Okay. Okay. I see him. Okay. Number 10, yeah. Come on. <laughs> we'll, we'll get, get Tony. Tony. No, we'll stop us. Let's see, man. Let's see. Let's see. We will be there. We shall be there. We shall be there. We shall be there. (laughs) Saka has now scored 10 Premier League goals this season and assisted uh, eight. There you go. Odegaard, Odegaard man the match for me. Oh, yeah, Odegaard man the match. Now that now that Rice has come off from Odegaard's just popping it about Odegaard man the match, man. I'm sorry. Odegaard's been ridiculous today. Ridiculous. You want to get your <laughs> side you the haircut. Yeah, trust me, bro. Just be lazy. You one of them ones there. Uh... Man said if on the area the goal would make me <laughs> oh, yo, you nearly made me cry. You need to chill there. <laughs> I knew that was mad before you even finished just saying what you were saying. I knew that was mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Bro, Odegaard's just doing the whole dictating like, thing. Come on, man. Bro. We please get oh, coverage oh. of the West Ham disaster. Oh, he's looking for the cutback. Unlucky. Yeah. Unlucky. 100%. 100%, man. No, no, no. Arsenal, stop it. Stop it, Arsenal. Yeah, the training ground. These men are heading the ball amongst each other. They think this is Rondo or some bullshit, man. No, oh, stop it, man. man. Stop this. Wari. Oh, God. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, shit. shit. What is going on? West Ham can't get the ball. Oh, shit. They're walking it in. Oh, Oh, shit. That's crazy. Oh, shit. Even El Nelly's falling Yo, out. Yo, shut this down, man. Shut this shit down, man. Shut it down. Shut it down, man. Stop this, man. Shut it down. Oh, allow it, man. Stop. Shut down, shut down. Bro, they, they were walking in the box. You know when you receive the ball in the box, it's meant to be a bit of urgency. They just take your touch, look around. Anybody? Nope. Take another touch. Oh, pop it yep. to him. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, 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 that's to stop. Yeah. No. Nope. No, block this game off now. Throw the pad away. Forfeit the ting. Oh, Te- man. Teams, you know away. what? Yeah, teams should be able to forfeit. <laughs> teams should be allowed to forfeit. The yeah, man, yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah. in boxing when they throw in the Put towel. Off. You know, in boxing when they throw in the towel. David uh, David yeah, Moyes. David yeah, Moyes yeah, should be able to. He should be able to like randomly. It's the only time you're allowed to do this. You sing, you, you tell the fourth official, say, listen, I kind of I'm going. Look, this, I'm, I'm doing. I'm box. throwing in the towel. David Moyes should be able to walk onto the pitch randomly as play is still carrying on with a white towel 
and just put place it on the pitch. And then the referee just blows for full time. Done. Finish. Game over. Done. Finish. Play. Finish. Yeah. Finish. Look at that, man. They're all together. Look. That has to be a Look thing. Unity. That should be a thing. I don't get sacked. Finished. Yeah, he might. He might do. He might get sacked. I, I think for me, you know, this is two drummings now. United last week. This one here. You know, yeah. It's mad. Shut down like Skepta Broski. I'm telling you. Shut down. What am I going to shut down? Yeah, but if goal difference matters, yeah, if, one. Goal, if goal difference matters, right? So the way that you can the way that you can do this is you have another um you have another column and you say how many times did teams put the wave the white flag against you? You have a white flag co column and then as many white flags as you yeah, accumulate, yeah, yeah, whoever yeah, accumulates yeah. the most white flags, then they win on goal difference. You see, bruv, I'm telling you, white flag needs to come in. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> nah, for real talk, I'm... white flags, bro, because this real is crazy. This... Yo, it's finished. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> bro, Phillips is actually garbage, you know, like, bro, what has happened to Phillips, man? Bro, you know, when you look at players, like, their careers is kind of like, just, here we go. They got another chance. Oh, dead. This is peak. What goal difference between... Bro, this, this kid's come on and played well, you know. Wow. This kid's playing That's well. Bro. Kudus, what are you doing, mate? Like... You got to clear that. Kudus. This kid's playing well. Oh, my days. Kudos. Is... Oh, nah, that's crazy. Kufal could have got that. Kufal could have got that. Yeah, oh, he, that's crazy. But he, bro, he's up. turning like a truck. Give it up. Yeah, but these brothers are turning like trucks now. They don't want to be out here. Yeah, big up Channel One. Appreciate it, bro. They don't want to be out here, man. Oh, Moise. You know what it is, man? Moise just got to pack it in, man. Just become a pundit, man. Go and talk sports. Bro, man, do you man. Know, no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Man. Don't do that. That's, that's disrespectful. Anymore. No, no, no. He's not Lampard or, or, or Gerard or or Gary Neville or Ter Thierry Henry. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. He won a trophy last year. Don't do that. No, man. Nah, don't do that. No, no, can no. He, can he ever feel yes, a of course. Where people so, 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 No, Moise has capped off, okay, right? Who Hold on. Mo Moise has, every time Moise gets to this position, he caps off. Everton, West Ham, he's capped off. But if you put Moise back into the lower half of the division again, then this is what he does, bro. He takes them forward. It's Moise, bro. He just capped off. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, man. But, but the thing is, though, who right now? Okay, so, so he goes Crystal Palace. Yeah. Where he's got Eze and Elise. Is he bought? No, is you, he yeah, but he's the wrong players. Don't give him. Don't give him those. Don't give him them. You don't give him Elise and Eze. You yeah, give him. Like every you give him what Chris Wood. You give him Chris every Wood. Team, but I feel like for me, yeah, uh, fans, yeah, now don't want to play that. Yeah, but not everybody anymore. can play that way. The, no, not everybody can play that way. No, no. There you go. Not everybody can play that way. There you go. No. No, not everybody can play that way. Yeah, listen, I respect him. But uh, I think no, I'm talking about West Ham now. Just pack it in. Pack it in, man. Listen, let's, let's let the season finish in it. Because if they if they get into the Europa League spot, then no one can tell him nothing. I'm sorry. No one can tell him nothing. If they finish in the top top six or seven, if they get a European spot, no one can tell him anything. Mm -hmm. No one can tell him nothing. They can let him go if they want. But yeah. no one can tell him nothing, bro. He's overachieving at West Ham. Jose Mourinho for the West Ham job, people. Hmm? What are we saying? Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho for the West Ham job. You, you just said you want style of football and you just told me Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho. <laughs> I just wanted to come back to the Premier League, man. Just for the, for the banter. Man. Well, you take him then, innit? We, we need guys like that. You, you take him, innit? You have him. Nah, not for me. Nah, you have him, innit? Not for me. Yeah, you have him, bro. I want, I want, uh, I want Tuchel as manager. Yeah, you do. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> yo, hey, yo, the Bayern fans have had enough. They said sack two show tonight. They had enough. Yeah. Who they gonna, yeah, maybe who, it's because it's flashbacks. Who are they going to bring in? Maybe because David Moyes was in out. Yeah, it's because he was. Like, it's because he. Yeah, but that, right? that that job was too big for him. That job was too big for him. It's like Wilfred Zaha when yeah, he came in as crazy. well. Like he's too young. It's too big. You know, he's capped off. And you not had um. Which manager? A A WB. Remember A W B. That's your A W B. Who? Oh, VS Boss. No, VS Boss was A W B. Villas Boss. VS Boss was trying to do too much, man. He's trying to do way too much. He... Oh, he was trying to do too much, bro. I'm gonna put these flowers away, okay? I'll be back in a minute, guys, because I think Arsenal have received yeah. them. Uh, is it game over? Are you guys going to score again? I think you, you're done now, right? You've received your flowers. You happy? With... I think it's done. I think it's done. You're not going to. You're not going to. They're not going to score again, are they, Saeed? Nah, they can't. They can't. No, 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 no. They can't. I'm going to put the flowers away. They can't. They can't score again. 
they can't. It's over. Just leave it at, leave it at six, yeah. man. Leave it at six. That's it. That's it, man. Leave it at six. So, yeah, six, six yeah. is done. Let's, let's be six respectful, man. As much as we can. Yeah. Be. Yeah, yeah. Respectful, but be respectful, man. Wow. Be respectful, guys. We got one more. Then show it, then, innit? Do it. 71 possession. Let's check the stats in this game, by the way, guys. Let me just... Let me check flash score. I want to see the stats in this game. Uh, wow. Arsenal expected goals 3.25. 72 per possession. Goal attempts 25 to the 5 of West Ham. One on target for us, West Ham. 12 for Arsenal. Um, don't look at the stats. Um, don't look at the stats. Passes. Don't look at the stats. Trust. Passes, it's not. It's not a good look. Don't look at the stats. Don't look at the stats, bro. It's not. Oh it's not good. That, it stats are not crazy. good. The stats shouldn't what even. Did, I'm not even reading the these stats out, man. <laughs> these stats are. The stats oh. are bad. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. Seven give PTSD. Yeah, it does. Anyone that scores seven, yo. It's crazy. Six little Villa in common. Bro, you can relax yourself, man. Oh, we have to talk about Villa right now. <laughs> no, Villa, Villa, Villa. Let's talk about Villa right now before you go. Yeah. No, man. Talk to me. I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> I can't lie. It's, it's do or die. It's top four or, or bust. Like that's it. It's it's we have to win. Do this. you yeah, it's true. Yeah, for this game, you have to win if you want top four. But I don't think you're getting top four anyway, to be honest. Yeah. I don't think you're getting top four. No, that's what I'm saying. If there's any chance of getting top four, mm. it's riding on this. Yeah. Because what is it? 11 you know, points. So 11 point gap win, if you lose. Win or 11, 11 and then 9 behind Tottenham. Mm. So then 9, Tottenham have to score. You know, lose three. It's not, it's not going to happen, oh. man. It's not going to happen. Oh, yeah. Let's end the poll. And then we have to maintain our win. <laughs> Who's going to win this game? Let's to maintain our win. It's got to end that poll. You don't need that poll up anymore. I don't need that poll up anymore. I think it's Arsenal. It's going to win He's the game. Villa, the most playoff game. Saka, career, 101 GA milestone today. Okay. I see. Only, what, 22 years old? Fair play. Three minutes added on. Lots of fans are happy today, man. I can see everybody's... Bro, yeah, chilling, listen. Man. I can see everybody's relaxing so, today. There's no need to overanalyze. Every West Ham play, player has been poor. Every Arsenal player has been great. Simple. Yeah. I ain't even going to go any yeah. further than that. <laughs> I ain't even going to go any further than that. That's it's just paradigm. everybody, everybody's been on point for That's Arsenal. Yeah, it's just simple. I just keep it simple today. <laughs> there's nothing more to it. There's nothing more to it. 6 0. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's wraps. Hey, it's a Mazzalini. It's a Mazzalini.com. Three more minutes. Yep. All the guys are first player to create 50 chances from open play in Europe's seven leagues this season. Wow. Wow. Damn. He's back. You must. Now you watch alongs. Come and get your popcorns ready. I chill out, you lot, man. No, Come because on, I, did that, today, I did say that. I did say that to them yesterday. <laughs> I said to them yesterday, get your popcorn ready because tomorrow's going to be get a madness. Popcorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. I don't know what's going on. Mm. Uh, I need to stretch out before our game, man. You do, bro. This has been... This is this has felt like watching two games. Just the way that West Ham have been blammed. Hey, it felt like... I felt like I've watched two... The second half has been trading, bro. Yeah, it feels like I've watched two matches. Two 3 no wins. It's, it's been tough. It's a long day. Yeah, man. That, that that three or four minutes that we you see in the first half, that blitz. You talk about blitz, yeah? That was a blitz. Yeah, it's peak. No curtains, pictures on the wall. <laughs> oh, the oh God. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Tomorrow, you lot, Monday night, which I think should be, should be an easy game. No as a no. Yeah, no, we, we, have, we have we have we have we have to be we have to walk that man. We have to walk that. We have to walk. Have it. to walk that man. Odegaard again interception. Oh, Odegaard man. Odegaard won't chill. 
Oh. Odegaard will not chill. Yeah. Ketty's out sick. Yeah, no, nah, he's he's just all over the place. And Ketty has come in and he's he's actually made the team worse, man. <laughs> he's just not that guy, man. He's just not got enough game time. That's a problem. He's just so rusty. <laughs> Nice Yo, Inketia Inke is, yeah, is making some mad fouls. Oh my days! Yeah, mad fouls. He's bro, not. He's like, not. In out, he's bro. not in control of his body today. Bad one. You know why? Because he come on. No, he come bro, on. He come on and thought. Today. He come on and thought he was gonna eat today. He was. He thought he was gonna get a goal today as well. He's like, "Yo, I'm coming on to eat." He's pissed now. Yeah. And that is it. I think that's full time. Is it? Bloody yeah. Hell. Full time, guys. Full time. Arsenal, massive, massive win today. Boos around the stadium, people. Massive boos around the stadium. Arteta there. Becca Rice. Yo. Convincing, convincing win. Absolutely convincing win. Yeah, smothered up. West Ham, man. Smothered. They call that smotherhood, bro. He's... That's what, motherhood. That's what they yep, call it. Yep, that's yep. the film. They call it smotherhood. This could be you next week. Yo, it could be. I, I can't wait for that one. I can't wait. We shall be there. We shall be there. Oh. Yeah. Matisse, I'll, this is where I leave you. Yeah. And uh, gather myself. <laughs> chat about United. <laughs> but yeah, man. <laughs> you, notice how the, you, you notice how the tone of the tone of Saeed's voice is changing very quickly now. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I know what's ahead of me right now. I need to get into mode. I need to get into mode. I need to start, you know, do my little breathing exercises. Yeah. Pick up my teeth. Love. And then we shall see you next time. Yes, yes. yes. But good, good luck love, to you, love, sir. Love, 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 love. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, yeah, good luck. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> that brother is nervous. You can just tell. Absolutely shaking, quivering. <laughs> the heart is racing. Um, I'm going to get the Man United teams up on screen in a moment. I'm just going to type them out. I just, I can't believe what I had to watch. can't believe what I had to witness. That was disgusting. That was so nasty from Arsenal. There was no need for it. You could have easily stopped and just, you know, there was just no need. No need. Um, and, and West Ham, to a man today, just horrendous. Every single one of them. Just... They just got cooked, man. I've never. That's a proper one-sided affair. Like it's very rare you get a, you get a game like that in the Premier League. Even when your top teams play, you tend to get a little bit of a fight back from the lower team. You know, they give you a little bit of something. They just can't take their chances or whatever. But West Ham today, they just did nothing. They did nothing. They were anonymous the whole game. It's like they weren't even they weren't even a part of the occasion. They just got destroyed. So. I can't say that I'm disappointed with with West Ham, with West Ham not getting anything because they don't deserve anything. They they actually deserved exactly what they got. If anything, they could have lost by more because um, Ariola put in a save in the first half that was just mad. You know, it's just one of those saves that you just don't expect to keep it to be making. It's a world class save, but he didn't even have a great game himself. So I don't know, man. That was nasty behavior. Um, but we're gonna get the teams up on screen now for this Manchester United versus Aston Villa game. It's exactly the team we expected from Villa as well. So um, no real shocks there. What I love about these these games today is the home team and the away team got the same colours, or close enough colours, which makes the whole process a lot easier when it comes to flipping these teams. Um Right, it's wraps for that game. <laughs> Hopefully they're not going to show bare highlights and crap, but they probably will. Arsenal now, I mean, Arsenal are in it. They're in the race, man. It's, it's obvious they're in the race. Let's see. Let's see how long it lasts, hopefully. Hopefully, whatever happens, Man City will take care of business. That's all that's necessary. I'm going to run a poll, actually, while she's waiting for the teams to come out, but the teams have been out for a, for a bit. That's half an hour till kickoff, isn't it? So you you'd know what the teams are. Um, let's put a poll out. The big six. Somebody needs to lose. Somebody needs to lose, guys, because the big six right now is looking like a big a big problem. 
you know what I'm saying? The big six is looking like a big problem. Everybody's won their game so far this weekend. We need somebody to fumble the bag. And step forward, Manchester United. Step forward, Manchester United. We're counting on you. We're counting on you to handle business. All right? This is your day. You're the main characters. Away at Villa Park. No one will, no one will begrudge you for losing this game. Okay? It's, it's expected. They're favourites. They've got a great home record. Do everybody a favour and hold that. Please hold that because we need we need something today. These are these were meant to be two tricky matches today. They weren't meant to be easy games, meant to be tough fixtures. And um Arsenal obviously didn't get the memo. So now all we've all we've got left is, is Man United. If Man United go and do their thing after Burnley, Man City, and Tottenham did their thing, and then my team dare do anything mad, yeah, I don't know. I'll be in big trouble. I'm just doing the Villa bench. Villa teams are going to be on screen. Um, Tielemans is on the bench for Villa. I thought he might start. Zaniolo on the bench. Just good stuff. Diaby's on the bench as well. So, yeah, this this um, this Diaby-Bailey rotation this season is quite interesting. It's a proper rotation that they're doing. Just guess it depends who's in form he's not he's not willing to play both of them though he's not interested which is a shame because i think it would be fun to watch but he's not interested at all in playing the both of them i was i was always hoping for a front three of bailey watkins and diaby at some point in the season but it doesn't look like we're going to get it unless they're losing a the game and they need a win or something they need to come back but it doesn't look like we're going to get it um right villa teams are going up on screen now and then the Man United sides will be up afterwards. So check that Villa team out. And get your votes in the poll as well, because the poll's up. Get your votes in. Who's your predictions for this game? Anybody? Well, to be fair, Arsenal, everybody thought Arsenal would win. Um, well, most people thought Arsenal would win, and they did. So people got that pretty bang on. I think it was like 64% of you said that. So you put you most of you got that Arsenal prediction pretty bang on. Onana starts for uh, for Manchester United. Dallo, Maguire, Varane, Shaw, Casemiro, Kobe Mino. So there's no um, Amrabat. So I'm not sure where all that um, that news came from. Garnacho starts. We have Bruno Fernandes in the 10, Rashford on the left, Hoyland up front. It's pretty much what you'd expect. Yeah, to a T. That's Manchester United's 11. That's what they've been putting out. So Casemiro is fine then. Don't know where that rumour came from, Saeed was saying. Mad. So that's Manchester United. And we're going to get their bench up on screen as well. And then we're going into it. So 25 minutes to kick off. We're almost there. Bear with. Bench is up next. Do Man United have strength and depth in terms of the injuries? What's going on? Who's out? Who's missing? Big game. Just to give you context, Man United currently are eight points behind Aston Villa. Same game as played. If they win today, they can go five points behind. Um, on 41 points. If they lose, it will be 11 points. And this is between 5th and 6th. So this is where the Premier League could split. This fixture here today, this is where the Premier League could split. If Aston Villa win your top 5 and your 6th your, your down to 11th or 12th or whatever it is, that's where the divide is now. That's where the divide starts. If, if Man United lose this, there's a, there's a significant gap between the top top 5 and the rest of the league. So Man United have to win this if they want to close it. Let's see if they can do that. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty, pretty important game for United. I don't even think a draw, to be honest, is enough. Like If they really want to get back in the, the race, they need to win. I agree with Saeed. You can't really be drawing this if you want to if you wanna come back. You can't really be drawing this if you want to come back. You've got to win. You've got to win. 
Um, McTominay's on the bench. Amrabat's on the bench. Anthony's on the bench. Forson on the bench. I'm not sure who that is. Must be youngster. Diallo on the bench as well. He's not going to get any game time. And Ericsson's on the bench as well. Does This manager doesn't use Diallo. I don't know why. She doesn't even bring him on. He'll bring on Anthony before he brings on Diallo. Every single time. I don't know why. Okay. That's going to be up on screen now, guys. And we can get to chat. Um, ooh. My prediction for this was... Hmm, what was my prediction for this? Hmm. Let me check. Big six. Because I can't remember. I think I might have gone with a Villa... A Villa an upset for Villa to get something. Which is not really an upset, but I think I went with that. Let me check. Um, one one. I've definitely played it safe. Then I've played it safe. One one. I've played it very very safe. Yeah, I've played it safe. Then I've played it safe. I didn't. I wasn't sure because obviously we just beat them. They lost at home to Newcastle as well. Man United have started to get players back fit, so I probably just I just wait. I just went with the safe option. Um, that bench is horrific. Says Z. Seeing some West Ham fans claiming Calvin needs more game time or needs more time when they only have him for half a season. Listen, when you bring in someone in January, it's all about instant impact. There is no time to acclimatise and time to adapt. Brother, you've played in the Premier League for Leeds, Man City, now West Ham. You're English. You speak the language. Brother, get to work. If you're not here to work, then you shouldn't be here. I don't know what all this time nonsense is. They have him on loan. Facts. What's all this foolishness? <laughs> What kind of foolishness is this? 3-1 Villa. Um, Ivory Coast, Nigeria. I've got Nigeria to win that, but we'll talk about that when we when we come back because we've got that watch along anyway. Bailey and Diaby wouldn't work as a wing winger. Like begin play. Yeah, they wouldn't do it the same way McGinn plays. Obviously, I'm thinking like all out. So you got, but then Ra Jacob Ramsey's in there today. So to be fair, it's not like as if they ain't got quality. And obviously, Buendia has been out for ages. We've not seen Buendia for ages for Aston Villa. They got quality. My thing would have been to put, to put McGinn in the 10. And then obviously, you've got the two wingers either side. But yeah, McGinn is obviously completely different to these guys. They're gonna, he's going to do a lot more defensively. His defensive, his defensive contribution is much better than those two. So it's a good balance. Um, 3-2 Villa, high line for life. This is the thing today, man. We've got Aston Villa, who's going to play a high line, as always. They're going to leave a lot of space in behind. And Manchester United, with Hoyland getting some confidence. Rashford might be getting some confidence as well. Um, they've got pace to burn. Ganacho as well. They've got pace to burn in behind, which means they're playing into Man United's hands a bit, Aston Villa. So that's why I went with 1-1 as well, because... I remember I predicted in the in the previous game when these two played, it was Manchester United 3, Aston Villa 2 at Old Trafford. And I had Aston Villa to win that game. And they were winning 2-0, but they weren't playing very well in the first half. It was a couple of set pieces and mistakes, Man United's back line. But they were 2-0 up. And then the second half, they came out and they were just absolutely... Man United were great. They, 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 they turned it around. But Aston Villa were just so complacent and so not asked. I was so annoyed with them. Um, and they just gifted so many goals and they were just poor. So, yeah, this is a tough one to call because even though Aston Villa are the favourites, they're at home, they've got a good record. The way that they set up with the with the defensive line, it's just, it's right for, it's for Man United to take advantage of, to be honest. And and Man United got their players back, man. It's, it's only Martinez that's really missing. Everybody else in that team is pretty much how you'd, how you'd probably want it. Um, I don't think Mason Mount really is a, is a nailed on starter at all. That pivot is the best one they got. Sure, yeah, over Malasia, it's not really that deep. And Dallo over Wambasaka again is calm. Um, if you're talking about what you can give going forward. So it's just it's just Martinez for Maguire, and then that's Man United's strongest eleven. So they got players back. So it's, it's going to be close, man. It's going to be very, very close. We'll just see. We'll just, we just have to hope for some sort of capitulation for either team hopefully Man United <laughs> if an early goal goes in someone might just throw in the towel I don't know um, 
Mount starts. Okay, so if Mount starts, who does he come in for? That's my question. If Mount is starting, when he comes back from injury, if Mount starts, who does he come in for? Because I don't think he gets in over Kobe Mino. He doesn't get in over Casemiro because they do two different jobs. So the only person he can come in for is Bruno Fernandes. And Ten Hag seems to really like Bruno Fernandes and he's the captain and all of this. So there's not really anybody else. He's, he's not going to play on the wing. He doesn't really... He doesn't really come in for me. It's not like as if he's in form as well. We're not talking about Mason Mount of two years ago or three years ago. We're talking about Mason Mount, injury issues, didn't have a good last season at Chelsea, overplayed potentially, struggling to find his position again. So you're, you're looking at a Mason Mount that's probably down on confidence as well. So I don't think he comes in. I think he's on the bench, which is mad. Makes it It makes it maybe... I mean, I've spoken a lot about Havertz being a questionable signing, just still is, um, for the price. But Mason Mount for Man United is just as questionable for, for that signing as well. Just as questionable. Because if he doesn't start, then what's going on? Because it's not like your starting 11 is title, title winning starting 11. Like You could have probably used that money more wisely. You definitely could have used that money more wisely. Not maybe. So... He's, good. he's a good player, though. He's not a bad player, but I don't really know where he's fitting in. I don't really know where he's fitting in. Unless you're going to move on um, Bruno. To spend that money on a squad player with, with the position you're in is kind of mad. Um, so, yeah, it's crazy. Just come here to ask if you enjoyed the game. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh... It was a good game, innit? it? <laughs> it was a good game. Arsenal played some some decent stuff. It was a nice little performance from them, you know, a couple goals. What can you say? What can you say? <laughs> it was a blamming, man. Absolute pasting, as they said in in I think Tope said it. Proper pasting. Did I enjoy it? No, but did I appreciate the so there's there's a I'm gonna phrase this properly. I didn't enjoy it. But I appreciate the performance of Arsenal and I appreciate the quality of the football. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I gave them their flowers. So you missed it. I literally brought in flowers. I went to the kitchen and I brought the flowers in here and I, and I put them on the table and I gave Arsenal their flowers. Not, not verbally. I, well, I did give them their flowers verbally as well, but I, I physically gave them their flowers. So, when I'm doing that, you know it's a long, you know it's a problem. You know, you know something's gone very wrong if I'm doing that. I've never done that actually. I've never actually given anybody their flowers physically finit but like put the flowers on the table. <laughs> I've never done that. And I, I wasn't expecting to do that. But the, the problem was is that the performance was too complete. Like, you know, if West Ham had created some chances and missed them and Raya had made some saves, I wouldn't have given them the flowers. But it's, they just, they just, they just finished them off, man. They just, they just finished them off. What can you do? What can you do? Back to front, the whole, the whole performance was mad. There was team goals. There was long shots. There's set pieces. What can you, what can you say? You can't ask for much more. If you're an Arsenal fan right now, you can't ask for anything more than that. There's, there is no criticism for that performance. Any, there's no individual, no nothing. There is no criticism, none. There's none. So that's where it is. That's where it is, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so my score prediction for this one was 1-1. One, one. I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to stick to that because I want Villa to win. I want Villa to win. But tactically, there's a battle going on. There's a battle going on. Now, if Villa can score early, get the crowd up, and, and they're in their revenge, and they're, you know, if they're in their revenge bag and they want to right the wrongs of what happened at Old Trafford and right the wrongs of what happened in midweek in the FA Cup, and they're really on it at home, and, and we know what they're capable of, then maybe it could be a good day for us. It could be a it could be a big beat down, um, or at least a good win. But if 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 Man United, you know, with with you know basically their strongest team almost, they play the game. And they played the the, the 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 game that Villa want them to play. And they just they just bide their time and then they hit them on the break and they get their chances. It's gonna be a close game, man. Both teams could could do could do something here. Both teams could win. It's a very, very tight game. So that's why one's fifth and one's sixth. It's, it's it's you know, it's a close game. So I think I think I'm gonna to stick to the one one. 
It could be 2-2. I'd probably regret not going 2-2. I think there's goals in this game. Um, but yeah, there's goals in this game. But apart from that, I can't I can't split it. I just think this plays into United's hands a bit too much to just say that Villa will definitely win. Um, Saka hit career 101 goals and assists milestone today. Yeah, I saw the graphic go up. I was keeping an eye on that because I saw it. And the thing is as well, the goals and the assists are basically the same. I think it was 50-50. Um, or maybe now 51, 49 or whatever, but it was it was very close. Um, or 50, I don't know where it's ended up being on. I can't remember what, what he's done in this game because he got the two goals, didn't he? And I don't know if he got an assist, I don't know. But um, yeah, he's um, he's surpassed it, yeah. And just over 200 games, isn't it? So basically a one in two on GA, which is, which is good. Um, yeah, 51, 49, yeah, that's what it is. Or is it 50... No, it's definitely not this. It's definitely not this because he was leading in goals because he scored a couple goals today. So it's definitely, I think he's definitely leading in goals. Um, glad West Ham fans have been silenced after hyping up third world European trophy. Boom, boom. Who are you, bro? Are you an Arsenal fan? Again, you need to have some respect, some grace and decorum. You've not won in Europe. You have to hold that. I'm sorry. You guys don't like this European talk, but you have to hold that. You've not won in Europe. You haven't. As as I'm bruv, I'm gonna do it again. You don't get to bring that body in here talking smack. <laughs> you man are on the jumbo juice when it comes to Europe. Because I was going for the Europa League record. You lost two Europa League finals to Galatasaray, I think in 2000, and to Chelsea in Baku. Right? That was your Europa League history. No wins. And you lost obviously the Champions League final to Barcelona. You don't get to bring that body in here talking smack. Come on now. I just gave you your flowers, but don't take it too far. Don't take it too far, guys. There's certain, there's certain conversations you have to sit down. <laughs> what, what was it called? Name, what was the trophy called? What was, the, what was the name of the trophy? Because if you come with some, if you come with some um, Nokia brick, Yokohama, what are you going to tell me? <laughs> I'm petty. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm still waiting on this name. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Toronto Trophy. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> still to this day, nobody can give me the name. That's that. That's when you know Wikipedia is is now at its, Wikipedia is now in the rolling, rolling on the Wikipedia. <laughs> Still, <laughs> ride, ride a cup, ride a cup. <laughs> this is the cup winner's cup, yeah. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. We won. I think we won that as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you something for that. <laughs> oh dear, the Fairs Cup. Winners Cup, <laughs> the Inter Toto, <laughs> yeah, it's a European trophy, man. Listen, I ain't knocking it. Roma won the first one, West Ham won the second one. That's not a bad start. It's not a bad start. It's not a bad start in terms of like giving it some prestige and giving it some some value and some stock. If, you know, if Roma and Jose Mourinho win the first one, historical Italian giant, and then you've got West Ham coming in next, East London's finest, better than Leighton Orient and whatnot, then, you know, it is what it is. Fair enough. We go again. See who wins it this year. We'll see who wins it this year. Villa are in it this year. Villa have got a lot of European pedigree as well. If Aston Villa win it, that's a really good start to that competition. I can't lie. It's not a bad start. Um... It's not a bad start at all. Just win your game tomorrow. Listen, tomorrow is tomorrow. Tomorrow is tomorrow. 
we don't deal with tomorrow today. We deal with today, yesterday. All right, that's what we do. That's what Fuizzi told me. <laughs> um, nah, I'm not doing Napoli versus Milan. When is that? Is that later on tonight? I didn't even know. I haven't really done much Syria, um, but I'm I'm gonna be there soon. I think Juventus. Nah, so that's later on. Nah, because it's Afcon final today. It's Afcon final. I didn't even know that was on, but I want to. I want to just give Afcon. It's it's at least you know it's a final. You know, let's give them the whole the whole attention. Give them their full attention. I have it. I I'll have it on maybe on the second screen, but I'm gonna focus on the Afcon Afcon final. He bottled the Fuzzy wisdom. I know. I know. He definitely didn't put it like that. <laughs> but yeah, no, there will be an Afcon watch along. It's up on the channel. It's up on the channel. Afcon Nigeria versus Ivory Coast. Um, we will be there. We will be there. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, kickoff is at eight o'clock. So we will be there. Coverage starts at seven. I think this game will probably lock off at half six. So we've got half an hour break. So yeah, man, looking forward to that. That might be enough time for me to get some food. Um, what's the poll saying? Let me get that poll up as well, actually. We got what? We got eight minutes till kickoff, guys. 61% Villa win, 21% May United, 18% for the draw. Let's get that to a thousand votes. Wow, people are going for Villa today. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, of course. You know the rules. You know the rules. You know the rules. I'm looking forward to watching Kobe Mino today. I'm not gonna lie. You know me, I don't want to I don't want to overguess because it's you know it's a very small sample size. Obviously we know he's a talent, it's very obvious. I do think the England squad shouts are a bit premature. I think people should relax on that. I don't even think if you are the club of if you support the club he plays for which is United, I don't think you should even be trying to push that England talk because if once you go to England, the my, microscope goes on you, the media, you know all of that attention. If you make a mistake, it gets amplified. It's already bad enough at Manchester United as it is. This is enough responsibility on his shoulders at, what is he, 18 years old. So then go and put the whole country on his back. but Not on his back, but you know what I'm saying. And then, now the thing is with him, he might be able to go to the tournament and not really play or maybe make cameo appearances off the bench because he's not, he's not, um, He's not going to be a main. He's not be a main mainstay in that team or a starter or anything. So he could go there for the experience. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But you know, England is another ball. It's another kettle of fish, man. England is always. You've seen it, Sterling. You know, we've seen it, Deli Ali. We've seen it, Sancho. We've seen it, Saka. We've seen it, Rashford. You have a bad moment or you don't have a great tournament when there's a lot of pressure on you. It's, you know, it's, it's not good. So, Kobe Mino. He could maybe go, but I don't really feel like I don't really feel like it's the priority right now. He's got a long career ahead of him. He don't need to go right now. He just got to focus on United. He's now a starter at Man United, so that's that's a lot. That's a lot. So I wouldn't even really be asked about the England thing if I was you lot. Yeah, yeah, and all them players I just mentioned played for for big clubs as well. They had quite a lot of eyes on them, but. The thing is, right? England is a different. England is England is divisive. I don't need to tell you this. Man United is, you know, everybody's meant to be supporting the team. They're excited about Kobe Mino. You know, they like him. They love him already. He can go in there. He can shine. You go to England now, bro. It's long. It's long. The pressure's different. You got rival fans coming together to support one nation. One slip up, they're not gonna give you a little pat on the back and say go again next time. They're gonna crucify you, bro. It's not the same. It's not the same. There's been many players to do interviews to talk about the pressure of playing for England in comparison to the clubs. Even David Beckham spoke about it, and nothing ain't changed since then. It's not become more of a. It's not become more of a um, a calm environment. I mean, the, I think the players get along better, but we just saw with the whole Sancho Saka situation in the Euros final, bro. There ain't no, there ain't no freebies being given out right now for England. Beckham went there. And that, that ball game was different. And that was David Davide Beckham, bro. So, yeah, if anything, go play for Ghana. What's enough of this England talk? Let's go go play for Ghana, man. They could do with someone like you in the midfield. You could progress it to Kudus. Think big, big picture. Think big picture. Um... 
yeah, in terms of talent, I think that's that's a fair that's a fair comment. But Ganacho, I don't know what I don't know. I'm not going to say Alanga because that's I, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to compare the two. But I'm just saying like when you got a young player like that who didn't cost anything, and he's coming in and he's at least providing and contributing at a young age. I don't really feel like there should be that much heat. I don't think there should be that much heat, man, because you look at the senior players on the big money on the big wages who come in for the big fees when they're not delivering I wouldn't be I wouldn't really be wouldn't really be getting after Ganacho if Ganacho if Ganacho has to start that's Manchester United's problem that's your recruitment problem that's the senior players problem that's not Ganacho's problem Ganacho will go and sit on the bench and won't won't have no problem with it if you got your team on point where it should be at Ganacho will go and sit his ass on the bench no problem he ain't getting paid that much. He ain't coming for loads of money. He ain't. There's no politics around him. So he can go and sit on the bench. The problem is, is you haven't got a good enough team to have him sit there. So that's that's not his problem. That's not his problem. Sancho, Sancho really should have been the guy in that in that team. You know, Sancho should have been in that team starting ahead of him on 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 that on that fee he came on in, in for. So that's that's really that's where one of the issues lie um is the way that whole transfer has gone um right players are walking out now i'm rolling over to watch along settings i think you guys have got the lineups already ingrained in your brains so we're moving over and i ain't even got the score ready you need to change that let's get that removed have i even got the other option I must do yeah, we do. See, look, we come prepared, guys. This is very professional. We come very much prepared. Everything's good. Everything's ready. Um, right. Oh, thank you. Um, right, guys. Oh, thanks. Ugh. All right. So... There we go, left side. So the timing is changing, and then we're good to go, guys. Let me just let me take that off the screen. There we go. The players are just out there now. <sighs> so time is going to be up on screen in a minute. Game's kicking off in about two minutes, two and a half minutes. <sighs> Can you imagine if we got a 6-0? <laughs> Can you imagine... If we got a 6-0. Yo, these Arsenal fans. <laughs> I'm not going to hear the end of this. It's going to be a long, long, long Monday for me. I bet all, all my team better do is just win in it. Because if we don't win, yeah, I'm I'm in big trouble. I'm I'm finished. I'm fleeing the country. That's why I booked. I was prepared for this. Arsenal now 6-0. If my team don't handle business, I've prepared. I fleed, I'm fleeing the country on Tuesday morning. I've already I've already prepared for this. I'm have, I'm 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 putting the Champions League I'm putting the Champions League nights into practice. I'm going abroad. I'm going away to Italy, bro. I'm out of here. I'm go, I'm 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 out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm out of here. So trust me. Um all right, let's see. It's not not game kicked off just yet, so we're still we could still be on time with the timer. Professional streamer. Yeah, when you're doing these doubles, yeah, it's it's you gotta have you gotta have a little snacky or something on 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 the go because otherwise you're gonna just pass out in the chair. And ain't nobody wanna see me um hyperventilating for 45 minutes. Um right, let's see if I can get this timer on. There we go. I think I'm I think I'm ready, people, for once. I think I'm ready for once. All right, come on, let's kick off, man. Let's kick off. I'm ready. This should be another great game. That's that's the bare minimum. It should be another good game. I'm not expecting no rubbish here. Give us good good entertainment. Bare minimum. I think Bundesliga games on at the moment as well. Us. <sighs> This is it. All right. Jacob Ramsey's on screen. Looking like a long day. Mm. 
Kobe Mino, that goal against Wolves, one of the goals of the season. I'm gonna be real. It's gotta be. It's gotta be in the highlight reel when we get to it at the end of the season. That goal was that really did that really did shut me up because <laughs> I was I was celebrating Wolves getting a result, thinking that it was gonna be all pretty, and then he just picked up the ball and said, "I'm done. I'm done with this team. I'm done with the foolishness. I'm done with the nonsense. I'ma just I'ma just do it all myself, and I'ma run off, and I'm gonna push Anthony away and say, "Don't touch me." <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to me I'm going to have my celebration cold I'm very very cold have to respect it you forget how young these players are man and what, what it actually means to be 18 years old playing for Manchester United away to Wolves in the dying minutes and to pick up the ball and do that like it's not a normal thing we normalise it because we've watched a lot of others do it over the last 10, 15, 20 years, however long you've been watching football. So we normalise it. But think about what you were doing when you were 18 years old and think about that pressure and then think about the moment and the timing of it. And it just it's just mad. It's very mad. It's very, very mad. And he's not even looking like a Makeda where he's just going to just do it and then dip. He's actually going to stay and um, keep playing. So it's mad. He's very mad. If Man United, if Man United destroy another talent, dot dot dot, bro, that's a whole conversation in itself. I'm telling you, Man United have had some. They've had some. They've had a couple players come through, and they looked like they had something to them, but then they just disappeared. A couple of midfielders as well. I can't remember all the midfielders' names, but I remember thinking a couple of midfielders coming through and thinking, "Yo, they might have something here." Yeah, it, this really goes all the way back to Yanazai. Yanazai, when he got those couple of goals at the Stadium of Light. That left foot first time finish, cut across the ball, Ryan Giggs-esque. I thought, wow, they got a star. And I'm pretty sure he had a good couple of games as well. It wasn't just one game. And then, so I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what happened. Yanazai was, was, was really, really strange to just see him just disappear like that. Didn't see that coming. I really thought he was going to be something special. Belgium as well. That was part of Belgium's golden generation as well. They were producing quite a few good players. <clears throat> Free kick, cash. So foul. Yeah. Man, oh, is it in, in injuries? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really that affected about the whole academy thing. Because like Inketio, Inketio was like with Chelsea's academy as well. He did an interview about this and then they released him. He's now playing for Arsenal. Um, Elise was at Chelsea's academy. Now he's at Crystal Palace. I don't really... Like, at that age, like, players be going from academy to academy and you wouldn't even really clock it because that's just what happens. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't really feel no type of way. I don't really look at him and see him as a Chelsea, a Chelsea boy or anything like that. You know, it's not like he actually played for the first team and... Doing all that, so nah, I don't really. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't bother me. The only thing that bothers me is he's a good player, he's a great player, he's doing very well, and Arsenal are in a good position. That's all that. That's what I'm concerned about. I'm not really bothered about the Chelsea stuff, to be honest. Go on. Oh, go on, man. Villa. Douglas Louise. Kobe Mino. Oh, taken off him. It's been taken off him. He's at Rio Sociedad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. He is. He is. He is. He's at Rio Sociedad. Yeah. <clears throat> Four minutes gone. Villa having a bit of the possession. Playing it down the channel. And Villa, we, we spoke about Man United's perspective, but Villa needs to understand the, 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 like, I'm sure they do, but, you know, we need to talk about this from a Villa point of view. Villa have the opportunity, right, to go 11 points clear of Manchester United and pretty much seal off top five. Like, to, to have that swing after today, if they were to win today, and then if it was to swing back, that would be one of the biggest fall-offs in terms of, you know, you've you've pretty much laid down the 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 you know you've laid down the foundations for a top five finish now after beating United. So 
they've got they got to be looking at this as an opportunity to just completely separate themselves from the rest um and just guarantee that they're in a champions league race and they're not going to be inviting other teams to the party it's just them versus spurs and that's it so it's a big game for villa man they know what they can do today if they win this match they got a real chance here to just make this champions league race between them and tottenham and i think that's Depending on injuries, that could be anybody's anybody's guess who gets that one. I think the only problem with it is Villa's um, got Conference League, so they're gonna they might have a distraction. Most Tottenham don't have that. Oh, good header, Watkins. Oh, unlucky. And and by the way, Man United play some really good football out, um, against Wolves. You know. They play some really good football in the first half. Here's Hoyland. Oh, he's offside. They play some really good football in the first half. So now that the team's back, full strength, it'll be interesting to see if Man United can keep that keep that up and actually play good football. Because, yeah, the, 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 the stuff they played against Wolves in the first half, they should have been like three and a lot. They played some very good football. I can't lie. Maybe it was injuries. Who knows? I don't know. Nah, nah, I'm not doing Super Bowl. That's too much. That's too much. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I got, I got a lot, a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Big tomorrow's a long day for me. I gotta go. Um, let me check. Do I even have F1 stuff? I don't think I do. Um, let me check. I have F1. Uh, I don't think so. No, nah, I don't. Okay, right. But I still got um, DR. Got um. Because I missed the last one because of the trains. So what happened was is um bro, the trains were tapped, bro. Someone, I think someone, I think someone jumped. That's what I read on um the website. So I think someone jumped and the whole Elizabeth line got shut down. And there was another issue anyway at Paddington, some signal failure or some some shit. So I did not I did not get get um out of my house at all. Well, I went to the station, that was shut down, tried to get an Uber. I don't know if anybody knows Southall, but once Southall station's closed. And if you try to get an Uber from around there, yeah, no, you're not doing it. It's not happening, bro. <laughs> Everybody was calling Ubers, so it was long. It was long. But got that. Then I need to go find some more clothes, buy some more clothes because I've gone away. Then I've got a sick, um, Palace game to cover, watch long, review. Um, and I've got a preview to record tonight. So for that game, tomorrow morning, upload. So yeah, hey, no time for Super Bowl. And I don't know what's going on in Super Bowl anyway. Like I don't, I don't really follow NFL like that. I'd be there for the halftime show, and I'll be watching all the ads. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I would go to. I've gone to a game in person. I don't mind doing that. I think if you're trying to get into a new sport, you got to go in person and trying to watch it that way. I think watching it on TV is long. If you don't know what's going on, it's too complex, too um, too confusing. But even then, I I, I wouldn't really get into it because the time difference is just messed up. And there's too many stoppages, man. That 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 Super Bowl is gonna be on for like five hours or something, which is just crazy. Villa breaking through left side. Oh, that was looking like a counter. Oh, bro, I'm excited. I'm gonna get all my Ferrari gear. I got all my Ferrari gear lined up. No, it's not about it's not about not having the license. I just I just I just refuse to drive in London. I just refuse, bro. Like for me, it's just a waste of money. I can't lie. Like we having a financial crisis as it is. I don't need to be spending putting money down on a car, paying insurance, petrol, bro. It's just it's just not worth it. Stuck in traffic. Fuck that, bro. I can't lie. It's not it's not the goal. It's not the goal. I'd save up for a house before I get a car in this in the city. Now, if I go somewhere else. Where they got the country roads and you can really, you know, put your foot down, get into fourth gear, and there's no bicycles running up on the inside of you, then we can then we can get the car. But here, parking, traffic, nah, nah, nah. I'm not all this long, long, long. Not doing all that. Inconvenient. Uberting. 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 Not doing all that, bro. I don't need a car, bro. Man, man's not man's not man's not on the flexing thing. Man's on the convenience thing. <laughs> Oh, because say you get the car now 
and you leave, you get stuck in traffic or there's a road accident on North Circular, you're going to be late anyway. So what then? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's not, you having the car don't even guarantee that you're going to get anywhere on time because there's traffic everywhere. So it don't really make a difference. You're still, you're still going to get shagged. It doesn't make a difference. Um, and then you got the emissions and the rules and the regulations about the carbon dioxide, bro. <laughs> ah, it's just long. <laughs> it's a long, long day. It's a long day. Now a motorbike. Now, now that might make more sense. I've, I have thought about it. A motorbike actually makes more sense, but I don't know if I'm a motorbike person. I'm not going to lie, but that's the one thing I have thought of. Cause then, you know, you're whizzing through the traffic or you're trying to anyway. I don't know, but I don't know, man. I don't think I'm a motorbike person. Don't think I'm a motorbike person, to be honest. But that, that probably makes the most sense in this city to get a motorbike. But I don't know. I'm not sure about it. Um, corner kick. Got a corner. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I know, I know, I know. Corner's gone over the bar. I know. It's only it's only when I've deeped that we've got City next week, next Saturday. It's just that fixture just crept up on me, bro. I wasn't I wasn't really focusing on that. I'm not gonna lie. I don't I don't look at the calendar and look for City. So, in our times of need right now, so that fixture kind of crept up on me. So we're gonna we're gonna deal with that after we deal with with the Palace game. Do you know what I mean? Congestion charge, bruv. That's what I'm telling you, bro. Congestion charge, everything. Letters coming through your door you don't even know about. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. And you see me, I'm um, I'm in a good spot. Like... The buses around here, are, are, there's loads of options. They're frequent. Train station's not that far. So I've got a few stations around me. So yeah, it's calm. It's not too, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. If I was like in one of them um, parts of London where the bus only comes every half an hour, it might be it might be a different conversation. If I was in um South London or something as well, that nasty connection that they got down there, southeast, pff, then then you might need a car. <laughs> if you go and live in southeast London, you might need to get yourself a car. You know what I mean? If you want to live in Sidcup or something like that, yeah, you might need to get a car because over there, long. It's a long day. Oh, Ratford, Bruno, switches on. I clear that. Come on, get that clear. Them man that live in Sidcup. Oh, that shot, you know. Yo, Ganacho, I didn't know you had that in you with your left foot. Not a bad effort. Let's see the replay. That's not a bad effort. Not a bad effort. Not a bad effort. I've seen Anthony do worse. Not bad. We saw the vision. Garnacho looks like he's kind of being constructed in um, Madame Two Swords, you know. He looked like Madame Two Swords. That's what Garnacho looking like. He looked like Madame Two Swords. Oh, they're in behind. Oh. Let me see. <laughs> Where is Anthony? Anthony's on the bench. <laughs> yeah, don't get killed on the motorbike. That's the problem. That's the problem. If you get knocked off one of them things, finished. This year's Super Bowl going to be boring. Okay. Bro, they be patting to Taylor Swift every time someone scores. I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> is that the same? Is that That's the sport I think I'm talking on. It's mad. They're looking for her celebrations. Ball in, headed away. Oh, that's cleared. 14, nil, nil. Mm, nil, nil at 14. Slow burner, this one. Slow burner. Teams figuring out, figuring each other out a bit. 
and just figuring each other out. Smash up the subscribe button as well if you haven't already. We're not far from 75k. I think we're going to hit that in the next next day or two for sure. And then we move. Nice flick on. Come on. Oh, he tried to do it again. Casemiro. It's not got enough loft on it. Oh, not bad. It's basically just helped that ball over to Rashford. Oh, Rashford was bot. Yo. Yo. Rashford was Rashford was gonna leave Kamara for dead. How can you complain? You know what? You know what you had to do. There's no, there's no, there's no debate in it. You know exactly what you had to do there. Man gave him a little shove, said you're not going anywhere. Southgate. Is Southgate at the game? Is Southgate at the game? Because if he is. And he's not at Ajax's game, then fair play. <laughs> fair play. Well, no. Fair play. Offside. Yeah. Mm, well, I think one's offside. The other one's not. Casemiro's offside. Varane's not, maybe. I don't know. Oh dear. Corners coming in for United. Ball in. Maguire. Oh, Hoyland. Oh, Hoyland again. Oh, there he is. Oh, my days. Hoyland again. Hoyland again. Wow. He's getting chances now, he's getting opportunities now. He's feeling confident now. Oh, shit. What is going on with the defending? Ball comes in. They lost the first header, and then nobody's on Hoyland. No one's touched tight with the striker. That's crazy. They just let the striker run off him. Look, McGinn. Why is McGinn? Why is McGinn marking Hoyland? No. Don't, don't, don't turn around and put your hand up for offside. Why are you why is McGinn marking Hoyland? Look, 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 ball watching. Ball watching. Oh, McGinn. Ball watching, man. As soon as the ball goes over his head, he think it's done. Finished. Long day. And then he, by the time he turns around now, he's already lost Hoyland, and that's a tapping. Why you got McGinn marking Hoyland? What's going on there? Striker stayed. The striker was, you know, alert, alive to the second ball. McGinn was sleeping. Ball watching. Asking for offside. My days. Here's Cash. Ball over the top. Sure. Man United won the luck, man. What's going on at Villa Park? What is going on at Villa Park, guys? Nah, 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 nah. The days of the days of the Hoyland meme is over. But even when people were asking me what do I think of Hoyland, I was saying, obviously he's got no goals and he cost a lot. So, you know, there's going to be scrutiny. But at the same time, I don't really remember him missing loads of chances. I was saying that. I was like, I I, I want to lay into him, but to say I'll banter, but I, I, can't, I can't really get onto him because I'm like, I'm watching Man United. I'm not seeing him missing loads of chances. I'm just not. You know? I just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing him missing like Nunes' chances or something like on a plate and then it's not happening. So, 
He was just in, he was just in like no man's land. He's not really missing big chances, but he's not scoring. And then the rest of his game, obviously, he's, he's still young, so he's still improving all of that. So he might not offer enough. And then, but then he's got people around him that are shooters, shoot on site merchants like Anthony, who don't want to pass the ball. So I was just looking at him like, I mean, it's 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 bad to have zero goals. So you, you, good luck to you. But <laughs> at the same time, what can you say? But it's another player that, again, Man United have bought at a high price. That again, probably is worth half the price, and that's that's the, that's the end of that's the end of it. You know, it's another player that costs seventy million, seventy five million. That probably should have cost thirty five. You know, so that's the kind of that's the kind of sweet spot for a player like him. You pay thirty five million, and it doesn't. You pay Jackson money, and it doesn't. It doesn't kill you. You know, it doesn't doesn't put you in under any pressure to to start him every game and all that stuff. So. That's the kind of price he should have been. That's the price he should have been going for, especially with again a lack of a lack of evidence to say he can put up a 15, 20 goal season in this team or that team. He's not done it. So, but that's what Man United and Chelsea do. They be overpaying, putting pressure on shoulders that that shouldn't really have it. Here's Onana. If Man United were where they should be at, if Chelsea where they should be at, Hoyland and Jackson, you know, these guys would be second choice strikers. They'd come in, get a couple goals, chill, get a couple goals, chill. Chikorito roll, you know, Chikorito Hernandez roll. Um, they'd have someone to learn from, experienced striker, learn the ropes, all these things. Both, both of them, funnily enough, are in similar situations. But obviously, your your guy costs double, so it's even more more difficult for him. But that's what it is. But yeah, he's moving in the boxes. I mean, that, that was a good example of the moving in the box. Bailey almost there. Just didn't really get the whip on the shot. Goes wide. Um, yeah, he's moving in the box. has been good, man. It's been good. Fair play. Um, yeah, duh. bro. Chikorito gave me nightmares, bro. That guy... I don't know where it was. when when Whenever he played Chelsea, he just wanted to score. Old Trafford, Stamford Bridge... Such a mad player, man. Just always come... Like, he would sometimes start as well if you had some injuries. Old Trafford, I remember him starting and scoring inside, like, three minutes or five minutes, whatever it was. But this guy just... Yeah, he doesn't... He didn't really care how he scored the goal. He'd get a goal. If he had to bend his neck backwards, he'd get a flick on it. If he had to 1v1 someone, he'd do it. Get a header, whatever. Throw a body. Bro, he just... He was annoying, man. So annoying. He's one of the most annoying players. Honestly, <laughs> it's just, yeah, just, just very jarring. Very jarring. Yeah. I don't know about other clubs, but for us, he was, he was a menace. Every time we played against Man United and Chikorito was involved, he usually, he usually had something to say with the result. He usually was involved in something with a goal or late winners as well. Yeah. Long day. And he wasn't tall, but he was good in the air. You know what I mean? So he's, yeah, he's, he's just a, he's a pest. Best way to describe him is a pest. McGinn, oh, what a save from Onana. What a save. Rah, what a save that was. What a save. It started from Onana coming out of his box to head the ball away, and then it just fell to Villa, and they just almost, oh, oh, just wide. Come on, Villa, man. Come on. We're getting back into the game now with this with these chances. That was a good save. Getting back into the game now. Onana doing the clearance, the headed clearance, and then McGinn, who owes he owes Villa a goal after that lapse of concentration. I'm afraid. I don't understand why he's marking him. Oh, they're through. Oh, Monana again. Watkins. Yo, that was laid. That was laid on a plate for Watkins. It just felt like he took too long to take the shot. It's like he wanted all the time in the world. And then the, 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 the more time Watkins took to take the shot, Onana just got closer and closer and closer to just shut down all the angles. 
Oh my days, man. Aston Villa, what are we doing? Should be level now. What are we doing? McGinn, again. Split the whole United defence. Yeah, I don't know, man. It felt like Watkins was waiting for the ball to come to him. I don't know. He wasn't really running onto it. Now Onan is down. Oh, they should be. They should at least be. They should at least put one of these these chances away. Yeah. Twenty five minutes, but at least at least they've responded anyway. At least they've 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 responded. It's a Mazzolini. Twenty five minutes gone. Good game. People trying to get me on nights out today, bro. I'm busy. Trying to get me to go Soho. I'm busy. Got AFCON final. What preview? See how the people try to take me away from you guys? God damn. Soho. What do I look like? A ho? <laughs> Joking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Villa. Oh my God. Yo, what? How many more chances? How many more chances? How many more chances? I'm sick of this shit. How many more? I was starting to get angry now because you lot, you lot are not, you're not taking this game seriously. This is an opportunity. Putting these shots wide. Twenty-seven minutes gone. Fucking hell, mate. <sighs> oh, guys, 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 guys. What is going on? And this is the thing with Man United, right? They do have a tendency to give you give you a way back into a game, which is why it's always fun. They'll give you a way back in. So you gotta you gotta hope that you know Villa will at least take advantage of one of these chances. That's a great ball. That's a I don't know if that was meant to be that precise, but that was a decent hook over the top for Bruno almost in there. Now Villa are going to clear the ball forward. Twenty eight minutes gone. <sighs> Twenty eight minutes gone. Villa Park was a fortress, now a brothel. Rotted. Yo. 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 <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Karma. Man said a brothel. What? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not that bad. Come on, it's not. It's not that bad. Now, to be fair, this will be the third straight home defeat because they went Sheffield United last last week and won five 0 They lost to Newcastle at home, and that was a battering. That was a battering. And then we went there and battered them in midweek, 
And then now Man United are winning as well. So yeah, it would be three defeats in a, at home in a row. It would be very un, uncharacteristic of them. Very uncharacteristic. Um, but yeah, let's see. Hoyland, oh, Hoyland almost got at the end of that cross. He all, and this is, wait, listen, almost. Because if he gets on the end of that, I'm sorry, it's 2 0. He's, he's too close. He's too close to the goal. The cross had too much whip on power on it. If he gets his head on that with a connection, I'm sorry, it's over. Martinez, you may as well just, you may as well just go and do what the, the Sutton United keeper did and go and get a pie or something because you ain't, you ain't saving that. Oh, what a pass. Good, good interception from, um, yo, Dallow's playing football on the floor. Okay. Yo, Dallow's playing football on the floor, yeah? Okay, okay. It's a good interception, though. Yeah, you may as well go and get a pie, man. Just go and get a pie because you, 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 you're not saving that. You are not saving that. You're not saving that. Here's cash. Thirty minutes gone. Thirty minutes gone. Out wide. Ganacho. Cross. Thirty one minutes gone. Here's Rashford. Bailey. Playing it. Watkins, hunt that down. Hunt. Oh, Onana again. Come on, Villa. Come on. Come on, Villa. Come on. I need something. I need to leave with something today, man. This is meant to be Sacrificial Sunday. I had to change all of the brand into Suffering. Suffering Sunday. I'd like to change it back to Sacrificial Sunday at some point today. Because, you know, this is this is not what this is not what we're here for. You know what I mean? We came here for a sacrificial lamb. Yeah, Villa on the ball again. I expected so I expected Villa to have a bit of a drop off, but I didn't think it would be now. I thought it'd be when the the first day football came back. So this is a little bit early because they're they're overachieving. Everybody knows that. So most time. When a team comes and shocks us like this, whether it's a Newcastle, it's a Villa or a Leicester, Leicester did it, obviously. Not I'm not talking about title winning Leicester, I'm talking about Rogers FA Cup winning Leicester. Um, and they missed out on champs. There's usually a little bit of a drop off, but I thought it's a little I thought they'd gone a bit longer than but listen, this you can't even call it a drop off yet, because what was it? What's their what's their recent record? I don't think it's that bad. They obviously lost against Newcastle, but I don't think um they, they smacked up. Sheffield United. Let me see. What's the... Oh, what pain. Uh, it is... Okay. Mm. It's a bit sketchy. Two wins out of the last five. Two defeats, one draw. It's a bit sketchy. It's a bit... It's a bit... Knee-jerk. Here's um McGinn. Lou, Douglas Louise. Left side now. Douglas Louise again. Still can't believe Arsenal won 6 0 earlier. I'm actually shocked. I'm actually shook off. I can't believe Arsenal won 6 0. Do you know how stupid that is at West Ham? Oy vey. Here's Kamara. Go on. Go on. Play it. Play it. Play the pass. Play the pass. Oh my days, this guy. What's he? Where's he going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Release the ball. Rashford. Oh, dummy. Oh, that was good play. That was good play. Not going to get the free kick, but that was good play. That was very intelligent. That was, that was very intelligent. Referee is not interested in none of this nonsense today. <laughs> Bro, because Saeed's there just... Talking, I don't know what he's saying. I'm just sitting there in silence, just like pissed. 
<laughs> I'm just sitting there in silence, just pissed that Arsenal are doing well, and he's just talking about I don't even know what uh, fucking um, Amrabat making the start at eleven or something. I'm just sitting there. Well, and then I was I had to go stand up, bro. That performance winded me, you know. That performance winded me. I had to stand up. I had to stand up, bro, because I couldn't sit. I couldn't. I couldn't just sit there and take it. Literally, I couldn't just sit there and take it. I had to stand up because that I had to stand up and fight, man. <laughs> when the sixth goal went in, I had to stand up and fight. Go on, finish. Oh, it's blocked again. Listen, Villa are getting in some dangerous positions. These, these, these passes, these passes into the box. These passes into the box. I don't know what they want to call it on the on the statistical sites. Pass entries or I don't know. What do you want to call it? I don't know. I think it's just passes into the box. But listen, these passes into the box are... I was trying to think of a more fancy word. These passes into the box are dangerous, man. They're really, they're really finding their way into some nasty areas. I don't know if it's the protection in front of the defense. I don't know. Kobe Mino... If he's if he's struggling, let me check what's going on statistically for him. I don't know if he's struggling off the ball. Him and him and Casemiro today. No, he's got he's made one interception, tackles, dribble past. No ground deals, one. No aerial deals, one. Yeah, Kobe Mino, rough rough day, rough day, rough day. Um, Casemiro, three tackles. Bro, fuck. <laughs> Yo, Casemiro needs help. Casemiro, five out of five ground duels, three tackles. Dribbled past zero times. Kobe Mino, dribbled past once. No tackles, no ground duels, no aerial duels. Shit. 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 Help, help that man. Help that man, Kobe. Help that man, Kobe. Help him. You got to help him, Kobe. Damn. I knew I knew Casemiro was putting in putting in a lot of work, but I didn't realize it was like that. <laughs> and now Casemiro is on the yellow. Now Casemiro is on the yellow. <sighs> now he's on the yellow. You need, now he's really going to need some help cuz he's on the yellow card, so Smash up the likes if you haven't already. If you haven't already, people, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to do those things. If you wouldn't mind. Nearly at half time now. Nearly at half time. Here's Rashford. Rashford cutting in. Rashford. Oh, he sent a few man. Rashford still going. Rashford out the side. Cross comes in, headed away, and cleared by Douglas Louise. Must be the most calmest clearance you'll ever see. I think he rolled his foot on top of the ball and then cleared it. What kind of madman is this? <laughs> what kind of madman is this? Honestly. Oh. That's what I said, bro. <laughs> What's this guy talking about? Mino is the one not helping Casemiro stop. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. 38 minutes gone. That brother's in the wrong chat. <laughs> you got his live chats mixed up right there. Here's Martinez. Here's Douglas. Louise in midfield. Nope, they've bypassed him. Watkins. Kamara. Looking for the ball over the top. It's not a bad ball, but it's not a great one. Onana's, Onana's alert. Yeah. <laughs> It's 
So here's Onana on the ball now. Oh, nah, nah. He's taking his time. He's not interested in playing. Here's Casemiro. Rashford. Cash. And Clid. See, Maguire should really be able to take a touch there, turn and keep the ball, but he just cooked out a play. <laughs> He's like, I'm not even, I'm not even here to. I'm not even here to do a madness today. I'm just no nonsense. No nonsense defending. That's the setting. I hear it. Play it. Oh, Hoyland now. Hoyland. Hoyland. He's still carrying it. Corner. Not bad. Got a corner out of that. Oh, sorry. You talking to someone in the chat? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Fair, fair, fair. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> someone in the chat. Fair, fair. You might have had a bit of a debate. <sighs> Five minutes half time. <sighs> Ball's going to come into the box. Maguire. Hooked away. <clears throat> Looks like Man United are going to go in at the break ahead. There has been a response from Villa, which is which is encouraging. As this half's gone on, they've they've definitely started to play a lot better and create some chances and lay a, lay a glove as well on Onana, make him make a few saves, make a few decisions. So if they just keep that momentum in the second half, they can, they can get back in this, but they've got to be careful that second goal doesn't go in sucker punch. Oh, that's a great ball. Is it mm, cash deals with it? It's too much, too much loft on these passes. It takes too, too long to get down left side. Keeps it in. Carp yes, you've come inside. We love that. Play it. Lovely. Ah, uh, McGinn. McGinn. Oh, oh. Bailey. Oh, you should have struck it first time, Bailey, man. Bailey. Why take the touch, bro? That sat up for you so nicely to just whip down your left foot. Take a touch for what? Should have just put your foot through it and just slapped it. Oh, my days, man. It was on his stronger foot as well. What are we doing? Could have just slapped that. Even if it takes a little deflection. Oh, my days. Is Bailey again. Bailey. Oh, he's doing well now. Bro, he's got like four people around him. Jeez. He's got a foul as well. Wow. Wow. That's a Bruno, that's a foul, bro. Come on, man. You basically just hacked him down. What are you complaining about? There was four of them around him. Should have been able to get the ball cleanly, man. Didn't need to foul him there. It's four of you. Oh dear. Very good close control. Very good close control. Bro, what is Bruno complaining about? Bro. <laughs> Bruno. Bruno. This brother will complain about anything. You can't just you can't just be like, yeah, fair, fair play. I fucked up. You can't, you can't just do that, can you? Man has to complain about everything. Clearest foul you'll ever see. Man goes flying in, doesn't get none of the ball, gets all of the man, and he's still complaining. I don't understand what goes through his head. <laughs> Man sent you to the cleaners and you're still complaining. What's going on here? Should have booked him just for lacking humidity. Humidity, bro. Crazy guy. Ball in. Oh, he's tried to catch Onana out. Oh, it's a corner as well. It's a corner. 
That's a corner. Fair enough. Tried to do the Fabio Aurelio at Stamford Bridge in that Champions League game against Petr Cech. Oof. Yeah, bro. Just accept you found him and just go, bro. You know what you did. <laughs> like, you didn't get none of the ball. You can't, you can't get the ball and it go that way when you tackle from that angle. Acting like there ain't cameras everywhere watching this game. Mm. Oh, dear. Another corner for Villa. Four minutes of injury time, guys. Four minutes of injury time. Ball's going to come into the box. Headed away. Back to the keeper now. Martinez is going to launch it back up there. That's going to be... What's the referee going to do? Nothing. <sighs> Rashford. Nope, couldn't get a touch on it. Bruno is still arguing. He's going to get booked for descent. He would be get a blue card. Oh, that pass back was a bit risky. Oh, Villa. Come on, guys. Nearly half time. Perfect time to score. Mm, he's looking for the ball in behind Bailey. Nice back in possession. Cash McGinn. Cash again. Cleared. Goal. Yeah, go on, go on. McGinn. Line up. Left side. Overlap. Oh, it's just a bit over hit. Oh, you're not going to get a penalty for that. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Dairy, dairy me. Is Rashford. Hmm. Here's Ganacho. Out for a corner. Probably last chance now. Got a minute left, probably last chance of the game. Well, last last chance of the first half until we take that break. Hmm. 48 minutes. Ball's going to come in on the corner. Sent him packing. Oh, chested down. Oh, Mano. Free kick. Oh, he knows what he's doing anyway. Oh, is he gonna, is it, they're not going to book him, is he? He's going to book him. Oh, shit. He booked him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Right, he booked him. He booked him. That's two, two players on the yellow card in the midfield now. Damn. He, sh he shut down the counter. Rotted. Did not think he was going to book him. Hmm. 
half time. <sighs> wow. Well, there's a lot more. It's got to be a lot more to come from from both sides. I think um, second half, if they want to leave with three points, Man United kind of nicely set in their in their sit and counter situation. Oh, Villa. Nope. Jesus, that's an absolute mess in that box. My days. <sighs> oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. What are people booing for? Um, don't know. Don't know. Maybe the referee. Um, a bit scrappy, yeah. There's been a couple of openings, but... No one's really taking full advantage. Hoylem is the one that separates the two sides of his goal. And um, some good movement from him and some poor ball watching from McGinn. But there's been openings for Villa, but the, the, the strike at the end of it has either just been not good enough or Anana's had to make the save. I think there's there's more to come from both teams. There's probably changes to be made for Villa. I think DRB probably could come on for Bailey. He's not really doing anything too much on that right-hand side. Could probably bring bring DRB on and see what he can what he can offer. Um with both yellow yellow cards going on in the Man United midfield, that's not a great situation with uh players that want to carry the ball and McGinnon is in there as well. Doug Suiz likes to carry and dribble with the ball. You, you you can't really put a tackle on these people if you're gonna be on yellows. So yeah, I'd say someone in I'd say I'd say probably Kobe Mino could be in a bit of Bit of bother. I don't know. I don't know. It could someone someone in that midfield at some point is probably gonna have to come off and they're gonna have to bring on Amrabat or maybe it'll be McTominay or whoever. But they got a you know, yeah, two 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 guys on a yellow card in there is not not good, not good. It's not gonna go very well in the second half if you don't change that up. Or they, those guys don't play perfect games. Um it's been a bit of a struggle. Midfield's getting overran. Yeah, it is. Um, what is it? I mean, maybe it could. Do you think maybe Bruno? Maybe Bruno could tuck in a bit more, drop in a bit more, and help out in the midfield in the second half. Make it a three v three um, because McGinn's in there. You've got Kamara and Douglas Louise as well. Sorry, um, Ramsey as well. It, it just feels like. It just feels like Aston Villa are just outnumbering you in midfield, to be honest. You know, McGinn is going to tuck in. Even though he's playing on that left wing, he's, he's not really, though, is he? He's just tucking in. The left back is the one. Um, Moreno is... He's the one that's going to obviously overlap and give the width, but he's tucking in. Him and Ramsey are interchanging. Sometimes it feels like it's a 4v2 in there. It feels a bit... It feels like you're just getting a little bit outnumbered, so... Yeah, I don't know. You need to need to look at that. Yeah, Buendia was cooking before his injury. Yeah, Buendia is a good player, man. He's a nice player. Um, should get more goals than he does, but he's a he's a nice nice dribbler. He's a he's a he's a decent nice player, but he's been out for ages, man. I've not seen him at all this season. Is he is he out for the season? Is Buendia just is done for the season or something? What injury did he get? Is this long term? Definitely a long-term injury at this point. I ain't seen this brother in months. I don't feel like I've even seen him this season. I think the whole season he's been out. I don't know what he's out with. Let me see. Um, Villa needs to step up. Hmm. Watkins. Watkins. Watkins as well, man. When the chances come, come on. You got to bury them. Watkins had a couple chances today. He's not taking them. Who else have they got on the bench? Tielemans is on the bench as well. Lucas Digne, Pau Torres, DRB, Zaniado. Mm, not sure. Uh, Buendia had an ACL at the beginning of the season. Okay, that makes sense now as to why he's been he's been away. ACL. So he's out for the season, really, isn't he? All of the big six have won this week. They have. Bro. So far, that is the case. 
It's not good for me. It's not good for me. It's not good for me at all. We must do something. Something must happen today. I'm telling you. I didn't sign up for this Aston Villa. If I said, I actually said it at the top of the show, I said if there's, I said it's Saeed as well. There's one team that, you know, I'm kind of expecting you to look to be dropping points is Villa away. A little bit of revenge from what happened in midweek. I'm expecting something from Villa. And um, it's not going according to plan. At Arsenal, I had a little feeling they'd win. I had a feeling they'd win. I predicted a win. But this game, I, I, and I think on the balance of the game, you could easily have it have it be a draw, and I don't think there'd be too many complaints. Like Villa have had, they've had quite a few chances. So I think on the balance of play, if this was a draw, I don't think Man United fans would have any complaints. They're not they're not playing well enough to really be leading the game, to be honest. But they are leading. They are leading. Marcus is saying awful performance from from who? Man United. Raw. I mean, you're not playing great, but you're winning. You're not playing great, though. I'll say that. You're not playing great. Like I said, I don't think you should be ahead, but... Hoyland's doing his thing. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. There's no need to wish wish these things. There's no need to wish for these things, Charlie. It really isn't. But yeah, Emery again, man. At home, come on. Fix up your shit. Um, did I close that poll? I never did, did I? I shut it down now. People are going for Villa wins. <sighs> if that was Chelsea winning... With this performance, the stars and the moons would be falling. Oh, we'd be critiquing for sure, hundred percent. I'm not emotionally attached to Man United, so I'm not really, I'm not even really, I'm not even really going to get onto them. I still think Villa Place is a tough place to go. I didn't expect Man United to come here and dominate, so that might be the reason as well. Like I expect Villa to have a bit more possession. I expect them to create a bit more chances. I expect them to be more threatening for for more parts of the game than United. I just think United are going to get Villa on the break. They are going to get chances as well because of the high line and they are going to score and they have. So I'm not really... Um, now, it has been a bit of a a bit of a open sesame in that midfield for sure. And um, that can't carry on. Like I said, I think I think someone's got to come on. I don't even necessarily say that one of those guys have to come off, but someone's got to come on or someone's got to drop back. It's, it's, it's that simple. That's got to become a real... That's got to become a real midfield free, not a... Not a pivot and a 10 who's sometimes there, sometimes not. It's got to be a free to stand any chance of not conceding in the second half. Um, and at some point, probably 60 minutes, he's going to have to sub off one of those yellow carded guys as well. Um, so, yeah. It's tough. <clears throat> we'll see what happens in the second half. Yeah, I just play it on Insta because I just play it in my own time because I've tried to stream it and it was just bare glitchy. So it's not the same as when I'm streaming the FIFA because I've not got it on PlayStation. I've got it on the PC. So it's not coming through the um, capture card and then into the PC. That way it's just going straight from PC into StreamYard and it's just not the same. It's not the same. So... I don't know, but I don't know if I if I even want to stream it to be honest right now because it's a long it's a long one. Football managers is tif it's difficult. It's a long long process. You could spend half an hour in Colombia trying to find someone. <laughs> so it's I don't know I don't know. We'll stick with EAFC for now anyway. We got that. Um. They're playing straight for us. <laughs> Z and Marcus arguing. We haven't even looked threatening on the counter. It's true, you haven't. You you haven't really. You haven't. You haven't. You you you've really had your threatening moments, maybe on like set pieces and stuff. You're not really. 
you're not really doing much on the counter. Rashford, every time he gets the ball, he looks pretty isolated. Um, Shaw's obviously not getting forward. Dallo, Dallo and Ganacho, I've not seen, I've not seen the same um relationship as I saw in the previous game against Wolves. I'm not seeing the same chemistry. Well, not not even chemistry. I'm just not seeing the same commitment from Dallo to get forward and help Ganacho, which maybe is an instruction because Villa are obviously a better team than Wolves. Um he Chan didn't play that game on that left wing. Um, so that maybe gave him a bit more license. So yeah, it's just kind of been long balls up to Bruno, long balls up to Hoyland, trying to find them in behind. Hit and hope. Not really anything. Nothing's patterned. Nothing's nothing's on purpose, it doesn't feel. <laughs> Villa having difficulty breathing in the top four battle. Mad. I'm not sure what that is. No, DLS. I'm not sure. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother Liam. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. That was fun. That was a lot of fun, man. I'm glad it went well. I'm glad it went well. Um, you know, because when you get when you get when you get that call, you know, you know you got to be on point that day. So, thankfully, everything went went great. And it's one of those things. Once you do it once, once you do it once, you're you're good for the second, third, fourth time as well. You know. Just getting the first one out of the way. I think that was the first time I've done Sky in person. I've done um I've been on Sky over the over the Zoom and over the over the computer and then just kind of plugged them. They plugged me into Sky Sports News there and then they have you on screen um that way. But I haven't done it in person. But yeah, man. It was good. It was good. <clears throat> Let's see what this second half brings. Let me get that timer up so I'm ready. But let's see what this second half brings. Um, hopefully it livens up a bit more on the goal front. I feel like if Villa get a goal back, we've got a spicy, spicy end to this game. The crowd will be up. They might, they might really go for it. Maybe try and completely flip the script. But yeah, May United get a second. Oof, I feel like it might just end up becoming a bit of a nasty game. Might just finish that up. Might finish off the game then. Uh, timer. There we go. Let's get that on screen. Uh, what else is going on as well? There was um, is there another game on at the moment? I don't. I think the games on today are a bit dead around Europe. There's not. I think Bar someone said Barcelona is playing later on today. Oh yes, the game in Italy. There's a good game on in Italy. To be fair, Milan versus Napoli at seven forty-five, and in Spain, Barcelona playing Granada. In the late kickoff, eight o'clock as well. Yeah, that's about it. There's only one good game there, Syria. That's it. Nothing more. They're gonna have that nine. They're good. They're nineteenth. They're gonna. They're gonna lose that, aren't they? They're gonna lose. God damn. All right. <clears throat> Looks like second half's about to start. We will be there. No, I actually haven't. I, didn't, I haven't had any time yet. I haven't spoken to him since yesterday. I haven't, spoke, I haven't spoken to him. Oh, I don't even know who's the favourite for that game. To be honest, I was kind of surprised to see them both there. I thought, you know, your 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 usuals, your your kind of mainstays, your Japan's, your South Koreas. I thought they would have been there, but um, yeah, I was a bit surprised to see Jordan versus Qatar in the final. Hmm. Um. Nah, too late for me. Too late for me. Uh, if I if I do that, I'll be finished because tomorrow morning I got to put the preview out, which I still have to record. Um. Then I got DR. Then I got to go do a bit of shopping real quick, and then I got to come back here, Palace, Chelsea, do that watch along, do that review. And then the next, and then I'm literally leaving at 5 a.m. to catch a flight. So if I do it all night or watching that, my whole my whole next two, three days will be finished. <laughs> so yeah, no, no Super Bowl for me. 
and today, today has been a long day of streaming as well. We're only halfway through, so yeah, not for me. We ain't beating Chelsea's super team next week. You are funny. Yeah, you got jokes. Man City fan. Allow it, man. How dare you call anybody else a super team? You've got... Have you seen your side? <laughs> you, you, don't get to, you don't get to call nobody else a super team. I don't care how much money we spend. You, man, you man the real super. You the real super team, yeah? We see your options. Don't try that around here. Harlan Alvarez. Alvarez starts for most Premier League teams, if not probably all of, all of them at this point. 90, 99% of Premier League teams he starts for, apart from yours, once, once you bring Foden and Bernardo all back into the middle. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we're not having that. Man's got Vardy all 90 million playing left back. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. <laughs> we're not having any of that. Can't catch a break with injuries. Shaw's injured. So the substitution has been made. So who's going to go in at left back? I'm guessing Dallo. Who, who's on the bench for right? So wan is on the bench, I think. So wan could go right back. Dallo goes to left back. I don't think Malassi is available, is he? So it's going to have to be Dallo. Or he's going to bring on Lindelof, is he? What's going on here? Lindelof at right back. And then Dallo goes left back. That's, that's what he's doing. All right. Lindelof is going right back. And Dallo's going left back, I'm assuming. I thought wan would come on. We ain't got no time. It's full time, bro. Being full time. Full time. <clears throat> full time out here. Ain't got no time for nothing else. No time for nothing else. We full time. Got streaming, got videos, got big six, got DR, got BR, football, got bruh. We 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 full time. <laughs> we full time. Full time. 46 minutes gone. And of course, I'm not ready with the timer. Oh dear. Forty six minutes might be able to catch it. All right. That's gonna be set. Ten seconds. Rashford left hand side cutting in. Rashford, oh, that would have been mad. That would have been mad. Wow. Oh, wan is injured. Oh, fair, fair, fair. Damn. Um, Big Six prediction table is about if you get the correct, if you get the, if you predict a win and you get a win, you get one point. Predict a draw, predict a defeat, etc. You get one point. You predict the right score, you get three points. If you don't get nothing, you don't get nothing. That's it. So it's pretty simple. So right now we're leaving with nothing because I didn't predict a Man United win. I predicted a one-one draw, so I'm leaving with nothing. <laughs> time is on screen. Yeah, time is on screen. Yeah, Tobes is Tobes is walking away with this league. Walking. Absolutely walking. <sighs> walking away with this league. Oh no, no. Ball in. Oh what? Come on. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my days. I can't believe that. Oh my days. <sighs> 
Watkins, I just it's not maybe it's not his day today. Maybe it's not Watkins' day today, but I just don't know how. I do not know how. I don't know how. I mean, he kind of just stood there, made himself big, and and thankfully he was in the right place, right time. But I just don't know. I don't know how when I was not one one. Villa. They've had so many. They've had enough chances to be level at least. Should probably be ahead, but to be to be losing this game now is just it's just insane. So many opportunities. Switch play now. Dallow heads away. Wait. So Dallow's staying right back. Oh, cutting in. Go on, go on. Free kick. Come on, come on. Ah. Oh. So where's Lindelof? What's going on with this back line? If Dallow's not gone to left back, then I don't understand what's going on. Is he playing Lindelof at left back? I think he is. Because obviously, oh, so Leon Bailey cutting in on his on his left foot. Oh, Ganacho. Ganacho. Oh, you should have shot. You should have shot, Ganacho. You should have shot on your left foot. You should have trusted yourself. Oh, my days. You should have just shot, man. Ah, it's mad, you know, professional footballers not trusting their weak foot, man. Come on, you're in the Prem. You are in the Premier League. How are you not trusting your left foot? It's mad. It's actually mad. No, it's, it's, it's nuts. I'm sorry. It's actually insane. Oh, my days. Bro, you're, you're a Premier League player, bro. Why? Are you, what, how are you not at least going to just give it a go on the left foot? You just He just whacked one with his left foot in the first half. He literally slapped it in any top bins. What's he cutting in for? Here's Dallo. Ganacho again. Still going. That was poor. I can't lie. That was poor from him. That was poor. Could have killed the game there. Really could have killed the game for Man United. Corner's going to come in. Mad. Corner's going to come in. <sighs> 50 minutes gone. Fifty minutes gone. Ball into the box, headed down, cleared by Cash. Dallo. Switch in play. Here's Madawake. Come on, ball in. Minor, sorry. Come on, Bruno. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on, guys, man. Villa, step up. Step up. I hope Dortmund buys Sancho back. How much is he going to cost, though? I don't think you guys put a buy option on that deal. I don't think you put a buy option. So if they're going to pick between Sancho and Matson, it's going to be a lot easier for them to do the Matson deal because the Matson deal has literally just got a... Um, it's literally just got a release clause on it. And he's playing really well as well. If anything, he's probably playing better. I don't know. So, I don't know. And Sancho's wages are really high. Matson's is not. So, Matson's deal is probably going to get done. I don't think... I think if they're picking between the two... I mean, Sancho's not going to go for 35 million, is he? And his wages is not going to drop to whatever Matson's is. Or it's going to be way more. It's be triple, quadruple more. So, yeah, man. I don't know. I don't think they're going to buy him, to be honest. I don't think they got that money. Oh, Martinez clears. Here's Martinez.
Watkins, they found him in the channel with Varane. Cut back from again. Who's going to take responsibility? Oh, fucking hell, guys. Bailey. So it is Lindelof over here. So Lindelof is doing a Tommy Asu role today. He's doing the Tommy Asu role at left back. Okay. <laughs> Referee does not care, bro. I, I rate it. Just letting the game play out. Watkins, spin him. Oh, he was too predictable. He knew he was going to spin it on your right foot. Fuck. God damn. When are the emergency streams coming back? For who? For which club? Because I don't have a, I have a feeling you're not talking about Chelsea. Who are you talking about? Emergency for which club? I know you're not talking about Chelsea. Because we've been running emergency streams. Emergency stream for who? For Arsenal? <laughs> oh, dear. When I see an emergency, you will see the emergency. It's not an emergency yet. If you're talking about Arsenal, it's not an emergency. I'm telling you now, it's not an emergency. Everything is under control. It will be an emergency when we see it's an emergency. I can't fake the emergencies. The emergencies are panic stations, alarm bells ringing, sirens, settings. You know what I mean? Last season, you were top of the league. It was an emergency. It was an emergency. Man City... We needed to motivate them. They needed to understand that this is not a joke. You man were set in pace. You had a gap. It was a it was a it was a problem. This season you're chasing, everything's under control. The two teams that are ahead of you need to be ahead of you. I'm easy. I'm easy breezy, bruv. No emergencies. No emergencies. So you're gonna have to wait a lot longer potentially for that that Arsenal one because I'm not stressed right now. I'm not stressed. Great performance, though. Here's Watkins. I trust in um, I trust in the Manchester Cities and the and the Liverpools with the Pep and the Klops to handle their handle their business. You know, there's two of them this time, which makes something even. This makes it even more difficult because there's two of them. It's not just one team. I'm relying on it's two teams. So. Yeah, panic stations. I don't think they're going to be... I don't think there's going to be panic stations. But I'll let you know if I change my mind. <laughs> I'll let you know if I change my mind, mate. <laughs> 56 minutes gone. Ball comes into the box. Oh. Come on, Villa, man. You lot are... You lot are taking the mick. Cash. Please don't shoot. Oh, my days. I was going so wide. Galacho. Galacho again. Good play from United. Ooh, do you know what? Fair play, Galacho. You did what you had to do. It's unlucky. I'm losing my patience with Aston Villa now. I'm losing my patience with Aston Villa Football Club. I'm losing my patience. Cuz I'm 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 starting to be I'm starting to get worried about this this performance. I'm not seeing the I'm not seeing them kicking on right now. I'm seeing foolishness. I'm not impressed.
corner now. This is this is it. Man United, I'm seeing the percentage of aerial duels won today. It's very, very highly stacked in their favour. If they if they score that second goal, this game's dead. This game is going to be dead if they score this second goal. Dead. Ball in. Oh, no, they've decided to go a different route. Short. Now clipped in. Bruno. It's a poor cross. Didn't even beat the first man. Villa on the break. Great ball. Come on, Bailey. 2v1. In between them two. Yes. Take out one. Take out the other. 3v3. Lovely ball. Oh, my days. Oh, Villa. Villa, man. Oh, Villa, 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 man. It's just so frustrating. So frustrating. Oh, dear. Fifty-nine minutes gone. <sighs> These men are not serious, <laughs> bro. Villa, man. I don't know. They just never thought I'd say they're toothless, but they're looking very, very toothless today. It's not something you really associate with them, but they just—they don't seem to be able to have the cutting edge. Ball in the box. Oh my! Oh my God! That was so close, Maguire. Man United have had a couple chances to just kill this game off and they're not taking them. It leads me to believe that Villa will get their goal and Man United will pay. But Maguire there just didn't commit to the cross. I don't know why. I feel like if he fully went for it, could have easily just smashed it in. Now McGinn. They're still... I mean, they're only going to get more open in midfield United with these two yellow cards and then the legs are tiring as well. Oh, they've cut back. Oh, the deflection. Of course, Dallow just had to be there, didn't he? Of course, Dallow just had to be there, ready to clear off the line. Because it's going in otherwise. Onana would have been nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. Nowhere near it, guys. Would have been nowhere near it. Left hand side, Rashford, Bruno, Rashford, Cash, here's Watkins, 61 minutes gone. Douglas Louise. Come on, Villa, man. Just at least get a point so I can get a correct score. Even a 1-1. One, one. Come on. Do something for me, bruv. Oh, fuck. Bro, bro, bring on Lucas Digne, man. Bring on Lucas Digne, man. This guy's on serious. Bring Lucas Digne on, man. My days. Here's Hoyland. Ganacho to his right. He's going to play him in, I'm sure. He does. Ganacho. Delivery. Cut back. Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Oh, Bruno. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's in the perfect position. You could have even taken a touch. You had that much time, you could have took a touch. Nobody around you. No one near you could have took a touch. Oh, my days. This is what I'm saying. May not have had their chances as well to just kill the game. It's just it's just mad. Something's going to happen at the end of this game because May United, 
I don't know, man. Well, I can't even say that because Villa are just as bad. <laughs> Both teams are just as bad as each other right now in the final third. Both teams are just as bad. Bro, Varane's deflection. Was that deflection going in off the shot? Oh, I don't know. I can't tell from this angle. It's going to be close. Dallow composed. Very, very composed. Sixty-four minutes gone. Chelsea Palace coverage from six thirty. I think we're at eight o'clock kickoff. Are we tomorrow? Yeah. It will be a live review as well, straight after at 10 o'clock. Sixty five minutes. DRB. Come on. Surely this change has got to make make this game better now. So we got DRB and we got Leon Bailey out on that side, doubling up. So surely there's got to be something. Watkins as well. It's the front three I've been waiting to see. Go on. Oh, you didn't you're not you're not catching that. They're not catching these strikes cleanly. Come on, DRB, man. Now there's enough firepower, surely, for Aston Villa to get an equaliser. Loads of firepower. Is McGinn still on? Or is he off? I think he's on, isn't he? No. Duh. I think it's Jacob Ramsey that... No, Jacob Ramsey's still on. Go on. Go on, hook it. Oh, my fucking God, man. Seriously. Yes! Yes! Douglas Louise! Come on! Douglas Louise! That's what I'm talking about. Come on! I love this guy. We love this guy. Yes! We love this game! <laughs> we love this game! Oh, my days. Finally, man. And go on to win it now because you got attackers on this pitch. More than enough attackers on this pitch. I think McGinn might be the one to come off because I see Jacob Ramsey still there. So it must have been McGinn. Come on, man. Come on. The celebration. Shameless. Man did the shoulder shake. <laughs> man did the shoulder shake. <laughs> look, look, look. He reacted quick. <laughs> Yo, that celebration is so shameless. He's mad. He is mad. Yo, Douglas Louise. What a player. <laughs> Yo, what a player. What a player. Bro, look at... So, I don't know who that is behind him reacting. I don't know who's in front of him reacting, but he's like, yo, why did you, why did you have to do that, bro? Why do you have to do that? Why can't you just go and celebrate like a normal person? Why you got to go and dance in front of me? I think it might be in Varane. Man's looking at him like, why? Why you do that? <laughs> why you do that for? If Villa don't, if Villa don't put this, put this pressure on Man United to go and win this game now, man, come on, let's go, let's go. I've cleared it. McGinn, sorry, McGinn's not on, is he? I don't think he is. Here's Bailey anyway. Go on, Bailey. You got DRB over there to help you now. Now we now I'm seeing doubles. Now I'm seeing doubles. 
McGinn is still on, isn't he? Yeah, McGinn's still on. Yo, this this Villa team's got the reinforcements. Man United, you better be careful, you know. Man United, you know, you better be careful. He left McGinn on. So he took off Kamara. Oh, you better be careful. Listen, he's got the whole lot of them out there, you know. Ramsey, McGinn, Diaby, Bailey, Watkins. Yo, you man better sleep with one eye open right now. Shit. He's got everybody out there. He's got everybody out there. He said, I'm leaving with, I'm leaving with something. He said, I'm leaving with something. I'm leaving with something. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. That's trolling. Oh, no, no touch. Ooh. Villa, come on. Villa. Villa. Come on. Come on, Villa. I smell. I can smell something cooking at Villa Park. Finally. I'm awake now. He subs that substitution's woken me up. He's taken off Cormari, brought on DRB. That is a very attacking substitution. He is going aggressive. He's going very aggressive. DRB. Oh, it's gone into him now. Ganacho. We got you know what? We got a great last 20 minutes. I'll tell you that. We've got a great last 20 minutes with these options on the pitch. Here's Ganacho still going to Ganacho. <gasps> oh, I thought that was in. I really thought that was in. The way he just he just kept going and going and going. I thought he just found the bottom corner. That extra touch. Oh, he's so unlucky. He's so unlucky. Martinez left it in the end. It's just past the post. It's so close. Any closer and it would have hit the post. Any closer, man, and it would have hit the post. Here's DRB. So DRB's on the yellow card. They're going to switch it now. Right side. McGinn's in the middle. Play it into McGinn. Oh, you take too long. Took too long, man. McGinn was chilling in there waiting to get behind the press. You just didn't play it to him. There we go. Play through this team. Let's go. This midfielder got yellow cards. Let's go. They got yellow cards stacked up. You might not understand. This Villa team got yellow cards stacked up. Let's go, Luis. McGinn, I'm confident now with Villa. I can't lie. I'm I'm feeling these options. Pause. <laughs> Yo, the options on the pitch right now. Yeah. It's looking good. Here's Bailey. McGinn, DRB. I love this. This little triangle. DRB, cut back. Oh, Luis. Luis. Oh, you fucking hell. It's been blocked. We were here. We were there. We were there. That triangle over there between McGinn, DRB, and um, Bailey. Yeah, I'm sorry. Man United. Yeah, you're finished. <laughs> you must be finished. What's what's um, what's Ten Hag going to do about this now? What is Ten Hag going to do? What is Ten Heineken going to do about this? Because this is a problem. This is a problem. There's no doubt about it. This is a problem. What is he going to do? <sighs> Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. <sighs> Come on. McTominay. If McTominay comes on, then yeah, we know there's a threat potential of a little set piece or something. This guy's going to go and do the jammy. Jammy bastard and go and get a header and get a goal for sure.
73 minutes gone. It ain't easy. Some West Ham account said they looked at Arsenal's lineup today and they said they're beatable and then they lost 6 0 and they got absolutely cooked on Twitter. And I mean cooked. Absolutely cooked. <laughs> 30K likes. <laughs> Yo. 74 minutes gone. Ball in Dallo. Ganacho. Kobe Mino brings it down. Casemiro shot from distance over the bar. 15 minutes to go. We're going to find out in a minute. We're going to find out. Tielemans on now. We're talking. I don't know if Tielemans can. I don't know. Because the way that they're playing now, Douglas Luiz and McGinn. Um, hmm, Tielemans. I don't know. Who would you bring Tielemans on for? Who would you bring him on for? That's the thing. Ramsey's got a stout on left. He's got a stout on left. Um, McGinn, McGinn is more industrious than Tielemans. Douglas Ruiz is not even a combo. So I don't know. For the balance of the midfield now with all these attackers on, I don't know if, if Tielemans is, is the one. But then energy levels as well. So Tielemans might just be fresh. Here's Diaby. Unless they take off Bailey and bring on Tielemans, that might, that might make more sense. McGinn. Oh, Dallow's got a clear. Found a way through. Fucking hell, man. Watkins. Sorry, it's not Watkins. Bro, you got to connect. You've got to connect. How many more of these opportunities is gonna it, it, Aston Villa going to get? They're not taking them. It's Louise, isn't it, again? Oh, my days. He's already on. Tielemans was on for Bailey. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Well, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, fair, fair. Bailey. Dave Bailey's been on the whole game. Um, yeah, it's got to be for Bailey. I thought he wasn't on yet. He was talking about bringing him on. Yeah, if it's on for Bailey, that makes sense. Um, bro, you've got to take these chances. Come on. Oh, my days. So that just, that again, look, it just pushes McGinn back far, further forward next to Watkins. Diaby and Ramsey on the wings and then Tielemans in the midfield with Luis. Makes sense. Oh, dear. This is mad. Can't believe this Villa team right now, man. They need to win this game. They need to win the game now, I'm sorry. They've had too many chances to win the game. Both the midfielders are on yellow cards. Both the midfielders are on yellow cards. You have to win this game. Come on. 11-point gap. You are finishing off United's hopes of Champions League football. Saeed, brother, you must prepare for Thursdays. You must put Emmerdell on record. Put Coronation on Coronation Street on record. Put EastEnders on record. Put Hollyoaks on record. Put Home and Away on record. Am I missing something? <laughs> can't remember. I can't believe I remembered all those shows. Put them on record. <sighs> McGinn. Nice pass. Nice pass. Bring it back. Bring it back. Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? Take this fool off. Take him off. I'm telling you now. Take this left back off. He's stupid. He's dumb. Take him off. Bring on Lucas Digne. Take this scrubbity dub dub off the pitch now. Take him off. I've had enough. I've had enough of this guy. Take him off the pitch. It's done. I'm sick of his shit. I've been watching him for 78 minutes and he's pissing me off. I've had enough. Take him off this pitch. Oh my days, man. Could have just played the pass and he's just gone running off into some wilderness. 
Like an idiot, bro. What's going on now? DRB and behind. So annoying. DRB. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, what is going on here? What is going on here? These men need to calm down in front of goal. Oh, DRB. What kind of shot was that? Man kicked it at the crowd. Man told the crowd to hold that. It's like they, yeah, it's like they want to lose. They're doing what they did at Old Trafford, only different now. This time they're doing it in in the sense of they're they're trying to miss chances. Last time they were trying to give the ball away, and they and they and they did it. It's like they want to give United points. Oh, it's so frustrating. They should be like three one up. Minimum. 3-1, it could even be 4. If they don't put an 11-point gap in between them and this team, they're going to be they're going to be kicking themselves because they should. They should be they should be going 11 points clear them today. And Saeed TV should be starting that title of his video with a rant. I want to see rant in the title. I want to see rant. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. Here's Casemiro, Lindelof, Dallo. Ganacho. Ganacho still going. Very weak tame effort at the end of that. Very, very weak tame effort. Very, very weak tame effort, guys. Both both these teams don't have their shooting boots on at all. They do not have their shooting boots on at all. Eighty-one minutes gone. These two teams can't shoot. These two teams can't shoot, guys. This might this this actually might end one-one, and I might get the correct score, but it should have been should have been a high-scoring game. Should have been fours and 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 you know should have been fours four-two or something like that. It's just mad. It's crazy that this is one-one. Never seen never seen two teams shooting like this. Um, in the same game, bro. Literally, <laughs> only Chelsea can match these misses. I think both teams want to lose. So you know when Jose Mourinho says, "We cannot lose. We cannot lose. We cannot." And then for these two teams, like we cannot win. We cannot win. We cannot. That's where it is. That's where it is. These two teams, they don't want to win the game. That's what I've clocked. That's what you've clocked. Fair enough. It makes sense. They don't want to win. They don't want to win. So, it's just, yeah, it may as well just be a draw. Just end this game now. Just let that man draw because they don't want to win. What is going on here between DRB and Fran? We can't have a stinky AFCON final, by the way. All right? All the eyes are on now. It's been a great tournament. Brilliant goals. That goal from Kamara, I remember watching a couple of days ago. Bro, it's been some be beautiful goals. Some beautiful goals. There must be a great game in, in the final. Must be.
Martinez clears. <clears throat> it's a madness. It's a battering. It's us now. It's mad. What happened earlier today still stunned me. I can't lie. I really was not expecting that. <laughs> I was really not expecting that. Really wasn't. I'm I'm kind of taken aback. I'm reassessing many things in life after watching that. <laughs> really, I'm reassessing craziness. Um, Man United coming forward. Dallo out for a corner. <sighs> I don't know. There could be a late winner in this game, but very, very odd, odd football match. Exciting, I guess, to a degree. Definitely, definitely not boring, but just very strange. Very, very strange performances. I was expecting better finishing today from... I don't know if Man United I'm expecting better finishing, but, you know, I think they're capable of, of, of being clinical for sure. With... Um, their attack attack has been having a pretty bad season. Oh fuck off! Oh my god, I've just looked at this. Oh my days! Oh my fucking god! Is is it McTominay again? Do you know what? If I don't fucking break something, in, I'm sick. I'm sick of this man. Every single fucking game I watch, this McTominay tap twat. Every time he's always got to have a say. Why can't you just mind your business? Why can't you just mind your business? Nobody asked you. Nobody asked you. This guy's got main character syndrome. Fucking hell. Every single time. Nobody asked you. You Man United fans will never... Listen, if you don't rate him, then tough shit because he's not going anywhere. I'm sorry. With all of these goals that he'd be scoring, he ain't going anywhere. He ain't going anywhere. If you don't rate him, then tough shit, bruv. Because he's got you too many points this season. I don't know how many... Someone needs to find the stat. I don't know how many points he has accumulated for Manchester United this season, but it's it's going to be a good amount. How many winning goals, how many late winners, equalizers? Yeah, listen. This brother, he's here to stay. I don't give a damn because I've had enough. He's here to, he's, he's there to stay, bro. I don't want to hear no more McTom slander. <laughs> Grizz was right. No more McTom slander. No more McTom slander. I don't give a damn what he does in general play. This is ridiculous. Fuck this guy, man. Every time I watch this team, he's always around. Oh. I've had enough of it. Honestly, this is this is it. <laughs> this is this is my breaking point with McTominay, bro. I've had enough. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, bro. I might have to stop watching my United games now because I've had enough of this shit. I might have to stop watching United games. That might be that might have been the that might be it for me. That might be the final straw. That might be the final straw, guys. <sighs> what an annoying bastard. And I had 1-1. One, one. I have 1-1 one, one as a correct score. Leave me alone. <laughs> I have 1-1 one, one as a correct score. Leave me alone. Jeez, man. You can't even let me leave with something. I don't even care if Villa equalized now. They've already done me a disservice today. McDagger. McTominay over Bellingham. He is the reverse Joe Linton. <laughs> Suffering Sunday continues. Bruv, lock the thing off. Against Wolves, I I I I waved the flag. I waved the, the, the flag. It's over. We're not getting we're not getting top six, bro. We're not getting top six. You heard me against Wolves. That's why I was triggered. That's why I, that's why I said what I said, bro. Because we're done. We're not getting we're not getting top six. We're not we're not getting Europa League football, bro. 
We're too inconsistent. It's not happening. Not when bullshit like this is going on. Not when this rubbish is going on. There's these these are the sixth prop. These are the sixth. They are the sixth at the moment. That's why we need Villa to win to make that gap between top five and then leave that sixth place hanging, bruv. Man United trying to go. <sighs> can't be asked, bruv. Can't be asked, bruv. Can't be asked, bruv. I can't be asked, bruv. Can't be asked. If I could hit the end of stream button, I'd end the stream, Dave. I'd end the stream. I hope there's not much injury time because I'm not here for this. I'm not here for this. What a shocking, sacrificial Sunday this has been. What a shocker. What a shocker this has been. Abysmal. Had to change this to suffering Sunday. Man's come here for a late McDagger and an Arsenal blam. An Arsenal blitz. What kind of foolishness? <sighs> AFCON stream starts at 7. Probably 7.10. Because i got to get lineups and everything. And i got to recover from this disgusting, suffering Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so peak. This is so peak. Seven minutes. Six minutes. Bruv, leave us alone, man. We don't want no part in this, man. I'm not even going to be happy for Villa if they equalise. Like, they should have won the game. I'm fuming. This is the second time I've watched Aston Villa come up against Man United this season and bottle it. Second time I've seen them bottle it. You disgraces. Absolute disgraces. Absolute disgraces. I don't want no part in this. As soon as this game's over, I'm gone. <laughs> you have been betrayed by Flex in the mid-table mafia. Probably need to contact Wolves now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, bro, that stream was lit. 100%. You're going to see some great games. You're going to see some great transfers. Drama at the end. Yeah, man. Go for that. Go for that, bro. Because um, I'm not going to be doing another one until probably not next week, Monday. I'm talking about the week after that week because I'm in Italy for most of next week. So I'm not going to be able to do any gaming really. So it'll be a while till we get to the next episode. Listen, this, this is some bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, bro, I'm so angry. I'm not even going to try and mask up the triggered. I'm not even going to try and mask up the triggeredness. I've just watched Aston Villa, blam, pam, this, this goal. And the shooting has been so wayward. So just, just nasty, nasty shooting. All game, not having any conviction on the shots, no placement, no nothing. And then they let McTom. They let McTom get another late winner for United. Oh, honestly. Honestly, get me out of here. Get me out of here, man. What a, what a disgrace. I ain't calling Saeed. My Discord is closed. <laughs> my, my Discord is closed. Closed. I've deleted the I've deleted the app. I've deleted the whole Discord app. If we don't win tomorrow, oh my days. <laughs> if we don't win tomorrow. Apparently, Nico Williams has got a 43 million release clause in his contract. Ses um, Sesco.
Man said Osherman. Man, am I still talking about Osherman on Twitter? Would you just give it a rest? <laughs> we do not have the capacity. Nico Williams, 43 million release clause. Sesco, 40 million release clause. These two brothers are going to get absolutely snapped up in the summer. It'll be interesting to see by who. But any man them still talking about Osherman? Bro. I don't know. This is not good today, guys, but it is what it is, man. What can you do? I'm going to wrap up soon. We're only a minute, about a minute left of this game. Yeah, I mean, both of those two players combined are 40 million less than Osman or 30 million, right? So if you want a winger and you want a striker and you want a fullback and you want this centre-back, bro, how many times do I have to tell people, if you want all these positions covered, you're not signing Osman for that release clause. It's not happening. I don't know how people are not understanding this. If we needed one player, then cool. One player, go and blow your transfer budget on one player. But if you need, you're talking about three, four players again, you're not buying Osman. <laughs> you're not buying Osman. It's not happening. Um... Eight, 95 minutes gone. Is this game over yet? Some bullshit. Full time. All right. Full time. Man United, screw you, yeah? Sick of your shit, yeah? You got absolutely blattered. <laughs> this is blattered. You got blattered, bro. Oh, you still won. No, I can't be asked. Get me out of here. I'm not even I'm not even doing pleasantries. But I'll see you in half an hour anyway for the AFCON final. I'm not doing this. Can't do this nonsense. What a shocking Sunday. Shocking! Fuck. I'm going to fucking do the league, league judges. I can't believe it. Oh, 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 oh,